Hello? Hi there. Hey. Is it good? Are we live? Is it actually happening? Is it real? I think, I it's think, real. I it's real. real. Oh, God. Mike, make him talk again. Do the thing. No, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what? Just say something and then make him what? talk. Hi. <laughs> 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 nice. Creepy. It's What's so fucking on? creepy. Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is our first our intro session of Cyberpunks. It's a um, tabletop RPG. Lots of dice rolling, lots of explaining what you're doing and imagination usage. Um, our resident GM is Dave over here, Henley. Hello. Say hi. We just lost Bike Man, and now the fucking whole Skype thing is going to be ruined. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> At the very beginning, I fucking hate you, Bike Man. I'm off to a great start. <laughs> Lido killed my Skype. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just too God. amazing, you know? It's cool. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't, it didn't fuck up the, uh, like the, 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 the layout too much. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Amazing. We'll get you it back. It would not I, be a stream with us if something didn't take be, it if it's going to be I knew this difficulties. I knew there were going to be technical time. difficulties, but it, as long as they're not like my computer doesn't explode or something, that's totally fine. Um, so I guess we should let Dave explain this game to people and what's going to be happening. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, as as Nick mentioned, this is and a tabletop. I can't. No. I, don't interrupt him. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, as Nick mentioned, this is a tabletop RPG. If you guys aren't aware what tabletop RPGs are, think Dungeons and Dragons, but this one's a lot more hardcore. Uh, no more fantasy, no more elves. We're talking gritty, cyberpunk, future reality, where everyone has more chrome in their bodies than they have actual bodies. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting game. I I've got a little introduction here written up. Uh, that I'll go through. Um, this is pretty much verbatim from the actual uh, booklet, but I'm going to go ahead and read it anyway because I think it sums up the universe quite well. I'll give you some music in the background for you. Oh, shit. Booty thumping. Yeah. All right. Yeah. As that's a your, cyber... Wait, tell me when it's a favorite thing. Booty thumping? Booty thumping is like your favorite descriptive word. Oh, now. yeah, absolutely. Booty yeah. thumping. <laughs> Booty thumping. Yeah. Dick All right. Fiction, it did stop capturing it. Oh. <gasps> Right. No. What did Eric? it? Did you restart your Skype? Yeah. Uh oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you restart XSplit and Skype? Yeah, it's capturing on the, in an actual Skype right now. I'm looking at it. It's fine, but on your stream, it's just. Oh yeah, just leave the call and come back in, and I'll fix it. So. Oh god, I fucked yeah. everything up. I fucked everything up. Right, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Right. Is he back? Yeah. Now it's press the little on. turn on video button. Turn your camera on. There, there you we go. go. There you Up. go. Wait for yeah, it. There, there he is. is. We got him back. back. So, I know. Put on the stream. Okay, yeah. Let's yeah. get it. As much as I don't want to look at that fucking <laughs> face staring <laughs> daggers at my soul. Just it's going to get worse, trust me. <laughs> the worst is that he's got red Yay. hair, too. Because it makes it so much worse of just like he's taking your soul through his eyes. <laughs> Right. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm already full up on guys. souls. So you don't shit. have to worry about me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Dave, All right. go ahead. So, uh, as, uh, as a cyberpunk, you grab technology by the throat and you hang on. You've got interface plugs in your wrists, weapons in your arms, lasers in your eyes, biochips in your, uh, biochip programs in your brain. You become the car you drive, the gun you shoot. With cyborg fingers, you pick locks, and with enhanced sensors, you can see into the future. Uh, there are a lot of rules in Cyberpunk uh, since it was produced back in 1988. You can imagine how well those rules have aged. Uh, <laughs> the answer is horribly for everyone <laughs> playing at home. Absolutely horribly. Uh, not only is there a mismatch of ideals and concepts, but also very detailed breakdowns of just the dumbest things. Like we're talking like wounds and how long they take to treat and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, everyone's an 80s guy. Yeah, everyone is an 80s guy. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> as you can expect, uh, it will make very simplistic tasks extremely complicated. We're talking uh, the breakdown in combat uh, is three seconds per round, which is everyone gets a turn, and then that breaks down even further. And that it, It's going to be a very complicated, very drawn-out process, but that is pretty much what Cyberpunk 2020 is. Um, 
Uh, I, as the game master, have taken it upon myself to simplify a lot of these rules down to just their core functionality. Um, so if you are a fan of Cyberpunk 2020, chances are I'm going to be butchering the shit out of it. Yes. So, no purists allowed, please. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> With that in mind, there are a couple of thematic rules that I'm going to implement that our players should follow in order to keep uh, the theme and the feeling of cyberpunk alive within tonight's game. Uh, the first rule is style over substance. It doesn't matter how well you do something in cyberpunk, only that you look awesome when you do it. The way you look <laughs> is important, the way you dress and the people you associate with are just as important as the gun that you carry. Uh, number two, attitude <laughs> is everything. It's the truth of this world. Think dangerous, be dangerous. Think weak, be weak. Remember that everyone in the year 2000 is loaded to the teeth with lethal upgrades and weapons. So no one will care that you have an USMG unless you swagger into the room with it, looking like you're itching to take someone out with it. Uh, and the last rule is live on the edge. The edge is the nebulous zone where risk takers and high riders go. On the edge, you'll risk your cash, your reputation, even your life on something as vague as a principal or a job. Fight the big issues, never, dr never drive slow when you can drive fast, and throw yourself into danger. Take it all on head first. Never play it too safe, and stay committed to living on the edge. Too fast, too furious. Living on the drift. edge? Exactly. Too fast, too furious. That's what future I want. Future drift. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we have um, gone ahead yesterday and... We did a bit. We did the the boring parts of character creation. Yeah, uh, which was uh, buying shit. Uh, and uh, there's a thing in this game called career points, which um, you can associate with the character classes that you play. So at this point, I'm going to start running everyone uh, through the character creation process. And the reason why we're doing it on on um, stream is because that. The stats are randomly rolled for the most part, and the histories of the players and their core concepts are also randomly rolled, uh, meaning that <laughs> you will get to see just how badly or how godly these characters will come out <laughs> as we do it on the stream. Um, so to start off with, why don't you guys go around and introduce who you'll be playing and what their names are? I guess we'll start off with Eric since you're the first one. Right? Sure. Let me start off with Nick because it's his stream. Yeah. Okay. All fine. Right. Fuck it, Nick. You're up. Fuck it. All right. You can He's go nice. last. Then. Yeah, he fine. goes last now, Eric, for being so courteous. <laughs> fine. Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Dresden Wrecker. I'm a fixer. I've uh, grown up in orphanages and on the streets a lot. Um, I I knew right away that I, the corporate lifestyle was not for me, so I went and made my own way by selling drugs. Hook it up with mobsters, playing sides. I'm kind of like Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. I know everyone's little secrets, and I use them against them whenever I can. Uh, my nickname or handle is The Punt, because <laughs> I have a nasty habit of punting people in the face when they're on the ground to let them know I mean business. Yo, are you a curb stomper? No, 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 no. That you could kill someone doing that. I want them to wake I want them to wake up the next day <laughs> learning a lesson, okay? <laughs> You want the valuable display. lesson about fucking with the punt. Yeah, all right. All right hashtag right. no one fucks with the punt. <laughs> That's a long ass <laughs> hashtag. It's I'm okay with that. Well, by trending. Uh, bike man, let's hear what you have to say. <laughs> my name's Weldon Sharpie, and uh, I was a techie for a big corporation. And uh, my job was IT and keeping people off the pornographies when they were supposed to be working. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, one day. I decided to make a female out of the computers, and uh, many lost their lives, so I've been fired. <laughs> <laughs> it was a horrible day. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ. So how did, how did you, so where, where are you at now in life? Yeah. Currently unemployed, uh, looking for work anywhere I can get it uh, so I can afford my, my synth coke addiction. I mean, uh, <laughs> donations to charities and various uh, means and causes. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Very good. 
And last but not least, uh, let's hear it up for Eric. What do you got? What's your All right. So, uh, hey, everybody. My name is Preston Mayflower. Uh, I'm the corporate of the group, which means I'm the super 80s guy. Uh, I came from money, uh, private schools, private tutors, um, lots of back alley abortions because we couldn't have the family bloodline being soiled with the help. Um, I got a job straight out of uh, straight out of college in Connecticut, where uh, I was picked up by a corporation called. Let me see, Dave. You want to tell us what the corporation is? Because I don't remember. <laughs> uh, where was I hired again? Uh, the corporation you were hired by was the Cybernetic Reform Syndicate. Cybernetic Reform Syndicate, or the CRS. So they're a brand new sort of in the game company. Uh, and I kind of worked my, I scummed my way up through the ranks, uh, and they gave me a, uh, they basically, one of the, one of the main investors out of the New York office, uh, started grooming me to, to kind of start my own, own branch of the CRS. Uh, so he sent me to Night City where I started the, uh, Reprocurement Acquisition and Delinquency Specialist Branch, AKA RADS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where Best I now am. I'm trying ever. to I'm trying to like figure out all the ins and outs of the city, uh, grease whatever palms I need to, uh, look snazzy as fuck in my shoulder padded business suit, and uh, just be the most suave scumbaggy motherfucker in the room. You, you know, you could probably you could probably get an implant to actually have broader so shoulders if you wanted. No, 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 no man. You got it. You got to stick. Instead of, with, wait, instead of stick getting a suit jacket that has like the puffy shoulder, shoulders, he actually gets <laughs> implants in into his shoulders. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? I don't want to know what that looks like when he's naked or shirtless. I don't want to call it the, the office quarterback culture. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I, with that, uh, we got a lot to get through for character creation. So let's go ahead and get started. I suppose. Sure. Um. All right, so we'll start off doing this uh, one at a time because there's going to be a lot of die that needs yeah. to get rolled. Um, so we'll start off with you, Nick. Um, if you okay. could please roll me um, 9d10 and do it one at a time. Actually, no, roll them all at once. Just, just go roll slash roll 9d10. All of us? All right, so me. now re-roll re -roll two of them. Just roll 2d10 now. Okay, yeah, I got two ones. Jesus fuck. Uh, please, 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 no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, All right. Okay, I'll take it. So now go ahead and apply each of those stats to, um, uh, so a five, a six, an eight, a five, a six, a six, a six, an eight, and a seven to your core stats. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> while Nick's doing that, I'll, I'll go ahead and read out what the statistics are for everyone. So the nine stats that we'll be playing with today is intelligence, uh, reflexes, cool, technical ability, luck, attractiveness, and movement allowance, and empathy. Uh, so intelligence is what you think it is, um, remembering information, figuring out problems, that sort of thing. Reflexes is an important statistic. Uh, it combines uh, index, uh, basic uh, dexterity, physical coordination, uh, for feats like driving, piloting, fighting, athletics. Um, it also allows you to shoot well. It allows you to uh, just be a better at combat. Um, so reflex is pretty, pretty much governs all of that sort of stuff. Uh, call is a measure of how your character stands up to stress, fear, um, pressure, physical pain, and or torture. Uh, determining your willingness to fight despite wounds, or your ability to fight under fire. Um, it's also a measure of how together, in quotations, your character is. Um, so people with high cool see, appear more relaxed. They appear to be uh, more under under control than any other character, especially in stressful situations. Sure. Uh, technical ability is how well you relate to hardware and other technically orientated things. In Cyberpunk, uh, the ability to use and repair technology is paramount importance. Um, so tech will be the stat used for when fixing, repairing, and attempting unfamiliar tech. All characters should have a decent tech stat. Uh, potential techies should always opt 
for the highest score in this area. Um, uh, just so, uh, just uh, not to uh, cut you off. I have mm -hmm. a couple negatives already from some of the uh, tech I've taken or the uh, cybernetics I've taken. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to put this on the the new overlay for when we swap over to combat. Should I just yeah. put what the what the total is, or six with a negative one next to it, or something like that? Uh, six with a negative one next. to okay, it. Okay, gotcha. Because. You know, there'll be other things that affect the stats later on, too. Uh, i to fix my webcam, by the way. No worries. Uh, luck? <laughs> You're floating, Eric. You're floating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying to fix it. Uh, luck is that intangible something that throws you throws the balance of events in your favor. Luck represents how many points you have in each game to influence the outcome of a critical event. You can use luck. Um, to use luck, you may add any or all of the points in luck a character has to a critical die roll. Uh, declaring your intention to use luck before the roll is made until all your luck stat is used up and luck will always come back at the start of the next session. So, for example, if it's a very big important roll that you need to do, you can use one of the luck stat um, to add a plus one to the die. And uh, attractiveness, how good looking you are in Cyberpunk, it's not enough to be good, you have to look good while you're doing it. Attitude is everything. Attractiveness is especially important to meteors and rocker boys, but that's not so important because we won't have any in the game. Whatever, da whatever. Bikes I get all the ladies. <laughs> no, whatever your, whatever ladies da have less. <laughs> whatever bike's lowest roll, he has to put that towards attractiveness because we know what he looks like, <laughs> <laughs> and we're all scared shitless of it. <laughs> uh, so movement allowance is how fast you can run, leap, and uh, walk in a turn. <laughs> He's crying. Yeah. <laughs> and, and empathy. <laughs> Uh, this is an important one because in this game, if you have too much cyberware, you actually turn into like a crazy zombie sort of thing. So uh, the empathy stat represents how you relate to other living things. It's a measure of charisma and sympathetic emotions. In a world alienated, future shocked survivors, the ability to be human can no longer be taken for granted. Um, so that sort of thing is like, you know, if if you have far too many uh, pieces of technology in your body, you'll do the whole like um, what was that game called with Adam Jensen in it? The Deus oh, Ex. Deus yeah, you have that. Yeah. You have that whole Deus Ex thing where you're like, oh, am I even a human anymore? <laughs> blah blah blah. So, and uh, I people go a little crazy. Yeah, little people with game. especially low empathy stats will start to like not give a shit about humans, uh, they'll start to eat humans, they'll start to do weird shit like that, so... Um, Tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I hear! Yeah, uh, so the, let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's go ahead and roll bike stats now, so bike, if you could roll 9d10. Alright. I have rolled one, hold on. <laughs> Alright, roll 8d10. Keep it, that's now. a good roll, keep that one. Uh, uh, okay. Also, Eric and hey. Mike, when you guys, when you, oh my God, you got a fucking Not nine and bad. a ten. Jesus Christ, All right, so we'll, Jesus, we'll, dude. So here's what we'll do: we'll take away the two, and you can use the seven that you rolled previously because you re-rolled twos and ones in this game. So, so you got a, a ten. Fuck. That's pretty good. Uh, either put that towards your tech or your body. I would recommend one of those two. Uh, tech. And uh, yeah. if I can, um, Eric, when you're done putting all your stats, can you just like uh, send me a message giving me all of them so I can put it into the uh, overlay? Okay, I think I just crashed my Xbox. Like my character sheet? Jeez, you're, you're all frozen. You look really <laughs> yeah. concerned. You're like looking off to the I'm side. I'm like, I'm really concerned. Yeah, I definitely think I crashed my exploit because I tried to I send my uh, webcam Body higher. type? Wait, uh, where is it? On this character sheet. Uh, so body is just... Um, oh, tech. I was going to put yeah. in tech. Body, Are you going to put tech? So it's at the top there. So how it says tech, then zero. I see body type modifier. Where's tech? Uh, it's at the very top next, on the first Very page. top next to intelligence. Yeah. This look any better? Do I look less blurry uh, now? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So I put like all of it in better. there? Yeah. So okay. you just put 10 in that one and then the, the other stats wherever you like. Okay, hopefully that's better. Like it. And, um. So yeah, just double click on it and then you'll be able to edit it. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> perfect. Okay, what am, what am I doing? Sorry, I missed. So you need to roll uh, 90 10. And roll nine D ten. Yep. 
Okay. So I have 46 more points to spend, or how's this work? No, no, no. You put the the actual numbers that you rolled in each stat. So you got a 10. So you got a you got a nine. A so I, Eric. You oh need my to god, roll. Eric! That roll, those rolls are fucking awful. <laughs> you need to. Roll. I told you. I told you. <laughs> roll, roll me 3d10 now. Uh, I'm still confused. 3d10. No, okay, okay. So, like, put all what you just rolled. Put <laughs> yeah. each of those individual numbers. You see in the in very the top stat? where it says stats. Yes. No. Put, take one number and whatever you want to put into a stat. You yeah. take okay. that number. You put it in that stat. Yeah. So it's like out of numbers. Yeah. So you have a two. Just ignore that one bike and just use a seven that you had before. So Eric, you got a eight, a six, a three, a six, a ten, a three, an eight, a four, and a six. They're actually pretty decent. You guys Wait, are pretty I low didn't get a, I didn't get a ten. Time. So. <laughs> so he what? He did get what? a ten. He did. He had to re-roll the twos and ones that he got. So. So what am I? What am I putting in? Re-rolling. I re-rolled the twos and the ones. Yeah, you've already done that. Looking at his by accident. Yeah. Okay. So, so take like your numbers eight. that you got. Yeah. Take the eight and then put it into a stat. Then take the six and put it into a stat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can it be any stat or what? Any stat you want. So you can put uh, ten in body. You can put ten in reflexes. You can put it uh, any way you like. And the first person to finish will get to move on to the next one. Okay. I'm so glad I found this artist to do the music. This yeah, is the Enigma on? TNG. If you scroll down, I have a panel, uh, the cyberpunk panel that has a link to the rule book, the glossary, and uh, the musician's uh, SoundCloud, I believe, where you can buy his albums. Do you have a link to the song that I can play while I'm listening? You want just like the, the whole album? Yeah, I just want to listen to the music, man. Okay. Get in the mood, because I can't hear it, so. What if I put a number in each one of those things, but I have numbers left over? <laughs> What, what numbers do you have left over? Well, I put like, you know, like 10 into tech and 9 into int and 4 into luck and 5 into move and cool and body. You have, you have an attractive score that you haven't put anything in yet. Oh, where's that? Oh, there it is. And you also have reflex and EMP. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. It looked different. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it just, uh, makes, just put the ones in the zero spots. And then that'll give you your scores. So you, you want a pretty decently high reflex, I, I'd imagine. Um, intelligence will be good as well for a high person. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got EMP as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Just trying to figure out which stat I didn't like put in. Hold on. Yeah. Go five and five. Remember, put your lowest one in attractiveness, or else you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> His attractiveness is... I mean, like, it's, it's subjective, right? So... I mean, yeah, to like a gutter punk, he's pretty fucking fly, but... <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, then. Uh... I will, I'll switch this to four and then this to five. There you go. Yeah. All right, then. I'm a four. <laughs> yeah, four out of ten. <laughs> Backman looks as good as usual. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm <laughs> missing something. I, think you want to check I linked it. Uh, you're missing your empathy. Uh, sorry, your your reflex. Uh. Oh. Okay. Cool. I've got a ton of empathy. Uh, if you actually See? come to do any sort of combat at all, uh, Eric, you might want to put higher reflex there. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. See what Nick's doing. Yeah, Nick's on 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 hizzy. So I didn't do I didn't have very many like good rolls, but I I think I put okay. everything. That, that you got reasonably good. high rolls all the way around though. So yeah, they're yeah. either medium or high. So I'll, I'll take my it. rolls got shitted on, as always. Your well, roll is good though. It's pretty good. So mm. all right. All right, I think I'm done. So, Nick, you got 57 in total. Eric got uh, 56, I think. And then Bike, you got 56 as well. So you both, you all, you all have reasonably the same amount of Not statistics. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Nothing exceptionally high, which is great. Uh, so the next step that we got to do.
Um, we can skip Origins. We can skip Family Background because you guys have already done all that. Um, motivations. Let me just double check what that is. God, if you guys have ever seen the manual before, it is a nightmare. The thing is so big. Just try to scroll through that rule book. Go, go right to hacking and yeah, understand the nightmare that is hacking. Yeah, yeah. that is. Yeah, it's it's which is it's, something we won't be doing a whole lot of apparently. All right, so now <laughs> we will be rolling up everyone's age. Um. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Nick, starting with you, let's get a two d six plus sixteen. All right, so you are 20 years old. 20. Yeah, yep. dude. So that means we Fresh get Fresh out of the orphanage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we get to roll uh, four life events for you. Four whole life events? Yep. So, all right, so... Okay. All right, roll a 1d10. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Choice. Big problems, big wins. All right. So, all right, roll another 1d10. Oh, God. Please don't tell me I got, like, molested or something <laughs> by these rolls. We'll find out. We'll right, certainly one. find out, won't we? All right. All right, so you took a hit. Uh, roll a 1d10 for me. Took a hit of what? As in, you got, there's, a, there's a disaster when you turn 17. Oh, God. 1d10, you said? 1d10. You just press up if it's the same die that you need to roll again. Press up. Yeah. All right, three. So <laughs> you, you got an illness or addiction. You have oh, contracted either an illness or a drug habit in this time. Uh, lost one point of uh, reflex permanently as a result. Fuck! Damn. Try the synth coke. It's amazing. God <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so take away one one reflex. Are you serious? I already have a negative. Fucking god. Damn. Wow, you are you're literally the punk. How do I how do I just brick wall? So you got a empathy six, stat. Just take, just take one away. No, on the um actual top part. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Down. I got I got four damn. reflex. I'm not gonna do shit in combat. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get so much cybernetic, so I have like cyber legs and arms. I won't I won't need that reflex anymore. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You can you can get uh, whatever you fall down. In terms of stats, you can replace with cyber. Oh, I forgot to mention, I have a cyber hand, and my middle finger has a bomb in it. And so I flip <laughs> people off, I throw a bomb yeah. at them. All right, so no, roll me another 1d10. Also, you should write down somewhere um, that you got a... Uh... Well, well, actually, let's work it out. What they was your, what was your uh, addiction? Let's All right, so... Uh... Or do you want it to be an illness? It's up to you. Gambling. <laughs> why would that fuck with my reflexes? You're just a shitty gambler. <laughs> I got I beat up by arms, mobsters. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You just got beat up by by bookies and stuff. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was actually. Uh, um, I was actually a uh, a wirehead. I got I got severely addicted to uh, the net and uh, hacking and, and and stuff like that. I wasn't very good at it. That's why mm. I'm a fixer. But uh, I got really drawn into VR. Um, lots of sexual promiscuity prostitution in the in the matrix and stuff like that and uh it kind of fried part of my brain and so now i try not to use computers as much as possible when i do i'm very careful i try not to go too get too deep into it he drools and, uh, a lot yeah no it's uh it's a it's a it's, it's a trigger <laughs> for me it's a trigger i see someone open a laptop i'm like oh god get a little, <laughs> get a little tick in my eye <laughs> i'm glad i have a laptop then Perfect. All right, I just put addiction to sexual internet activity minus one. <laughs> <laughs> minus one reflex. All right. uh, okay, so roll me another one d ten. Just jerked it so much it fucked with his, <laughs> it fucked with his hands, and so now his reflexes are terrible. I, li I like that he hit age seventeen. He's like, yo, porn, woo! <laughs> 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 Does he, uh, he has like lightweight sciatica now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my cyber arm replaced my arm that I weren't, I wasn't using when I was jerking off, so that now they're even sized again. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. So now he just has a fleshlight <laughs> attachment for his robot arm? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um... Future fleshlights, lasers yeah. and stuff. You roll another 1d10, did you? Oh, you did. Yeah, sweet. Alright, yeah, three. three. So... Uh... Big problems, big wins. Alright, roll me another... 1d10. Oh, another disaster. Roll oh another 1d10. God! <laughs> Just getting pooped oh, on. Oh, man. Right? All right, six. Well, that was a high, okay. though, so it can't be that bad. All right, so lover, friend, or relative killed. You lost someone you recent you really cared about. All right, roll me a 1d10. Addiction's going to be like the boom. Nine. All right, nine to ten. They were murdered, and you know who did it. You just Ooh. need the proof. All right, so tell me about what happened here. All right, well, poor I met this girl online. Um, <laughs> of course you did, yeah. So All right. <laughs> we really hit it off, and uh, yeah. she was... What was her name? Was, and it was uh, uh, Jamantha. <laughs> Jamantha! <laughs> Jamantha. <laughs> and so we so we met. She lived in Night City, so, of course, I, I we made plans to meet up. Okay. Really hit it off, and, uh, and she was actually a big part in, like, helping me kick my addiction... And uh, after after I moved past that part of my life, we were we were, you know, like hanging out together. We would work together on jobs and stuff like that. She was a really really efficient, uh, you know, like talker. She could convince people to do anything. So we got away with a lot of really great heists and, and cons and shit. And then uh, uh, someone straight up killed her on one of our jobs. And uh, it took me a while to figure it out, but it was actually the guy that hired us in the first place. Mm. And it, what was the guy's name? His name is Jim Sterling. <laughs> Jim after after he did it, he fucking disappeared. I have no idea where yeah. he could be, but I talked to people. Sources tell me that he's still in Night City somewhere. <laughs> Story touches my heart. <laughs> <laughs> my empathy stat is triggered. All right. Never forget Jamantha. All right, Stag. Never forget Jamantha. Let's let's uh, see what else happened. Uh, Romeo one d ten. There's still more? Yeah, you gotta go all the way to 20, bro. Eight. Ooh. Alright, uh, romantic involvement. Interesting. Mm. Well, did right. we just describe a romantic involvement? Or is this a Yeah, but this is a different one. Okay. Uh, you have more than one. It's okay. <laughs> I can? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. okay. Eric, give me your uh, stats that you rolled. If, if you attributed them to your stats or whatever just oh, link, me uh, your, link me your google doc okay if you put them all in there okay roll me a 1d10 okay Ooh. Link to Ooh. fast affairs and hot dates yeah all right Ooh. vast affair ladies man Oops. the punt why is it everybody likes the girth <laughs> 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 All right, can you access that, by the way? No, I just requested. Okay, all right. Boop. The Chamantha is immediately replaced. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so what happened here? Tell me about your new lover that you took for one night. Um, or, I mean, or several nights, but you never went further. This, uh, I mean, it's not unusual for me to you know, <coughs> sleep around after Jamantha's death. I got pretty down on myself uh was, you know just kind of mostly back just... into your addiction maybe but this time in 3d <laughs> exactly yes exactly <laughs> i was i i just was trying to get over as quickly and efficiently as possible so there's a lot of one night stands a lot of uh chlamydia um, <laughs> 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 it's okay it's okay we can treat that within like two hours now okay yeah, it's like absolutely. not even a big deal Two hours. That's yeah. a, two hours. Too long of a wait for me. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so let's uh, do your last year. So roll me 1d10. What did you get? Six. Also Friends check the uh, second one next. I just linked it. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, roll me a 1d10. Ooh, you made a friend. All right. Uh, okay, so roll me a 1d10. It's 
So this new friend is like a kid sister slash brother to you. And uh, I'm assuming that maybe we can bring in uh, BTE. I was, th I was just thinking the same thing. Like, what? This is perfect for our uh, fourth player. Or all right. So NPC. tell tell me how you you met BTE at age twenty. BTE. I met I met her in a club. Um, I was just kind of you know I was hanging out, working my angles, trying to get some new new jobs, any gig mm -hmm. I could find. And she comes in and starts this fucking crazy scene acting drunk as shit. She wasn't, and ends up pickpocketing about 14 fucking corporate douchebags oh, yeah. before piecing out with me. Um, she tried to pickpocket me, but then I made it like pretty obvious I don't fucking carry a wallet on me. I don't really have anything on me. And we hit off, and, you know, like, she, she shared some of her score with me. We went and got fucking blasted and been friends ever since. Yeah, so you treat her like a kid sister. Um, is there a relationship both ways? Does she treat you like an older brother? Yeah, yeah, we got a playful relationship. All right, cool. I can get down with that. So that is your history. Uh, one more thing before we move on. You need to roll your motivations. So, um... Oh, I'm motivated. All right, so either... I mean, you can either choose here, or you can, um... So go to page 36 of the um, uh, main uh, manual. Okay. You can either choose or you can roll. It's up to you. We, if you'd like to roll, we can do that too. I feel like I, I should I should know my motivations. Sure. Um, but these will help you sort of decide things like who you value most, what you value most, that sort of stuff. Which is why you can choose. So. Um, origins and personal style? No, no, uh, motivations. So you want to go to 36, page 36. 39 uh, if you're using the... the okay, yeah, I'm on, okay. Motivations, okay. I'd probably go with uh, four. Moody, Rash, and Headstrong. Okay. Moody, Rash, Headstrong. All right. So, what uh, what about your um, person you value most? Ah, uh, friend. Friend. Friends. And who, who might that? Uh, friends. Okay. Well, or or friends in general, but BT obviously is is one of my closer friends. But okay. Um, what do you value most? Money. All right, I can down with that. And uh, how do you feel about most people? Dramatic pause. <laughs> people are dumb. Um. Uh, I go with eight. People are untrustworthy. I don't depend on anyone except for obviously my closest friends. Okay. okay. And your most valued position? Um, the old punt in boots. Yeah. Go with a uh, <laughs> piece of clothing. A piece boots. of clothing, yeah. Jamantha's old panties. <laughs> They smell fantastic, don't you dare. Ah! <laughs> you like a charm around your neck. <laughs> so he, just wear, he wears it no, like a sweatband, so he can just be like... He has like a locket, exactly. and he opens uh. it, and the panties go poof right out. <laughs> Gross. It's in one of his fingers, he's just like... <laughs> oh no! <sighs> and then it just goes right back into his finger. I thought you had one Alrighty. in your finger, but it's panty. Bike, <laughs> let's do your life event. So first, oh, no, I'll give no. me 2d6 plus 16. Alright. Wow. 25. Yeah. All right. So you got a lot of years to roll through here. All right, yeah. so roll me a 1d6. Uh, sorry, 1d10. Sorry. Oh! All right, roll me a 1d10. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Seven. All right, so that is... Dissolved. So we have to re-roll once, thank God. 
All right, roll a 1d10. Four, all right. Betrayal, you have been backstabbed in some manner. Roll Four. another 10. <laughs> Why? Seven. All right, you are being blackmailed. Ooh. Ooh, you should have made I that should have erased my girl. browser history. <laughs> <laughs> should have turned that computer into a woman. <laughs> yeah. All right. So tell tell me about how you're being blackmailed. This is that age seventeen. Well, I was on the job, you know, and I was monitoring the uh, the servers of the so corporation you, that I work at, so you and had uh, a, you had a job at age seventeen. Sure. Of course, right. I was a talented young individual. Uh, cool. Brilliant. Uh, maybe not the best socially, but you know, I did the best I could, and. Uh, I uh, would monitor the servers, and uh, unfortunately, I uh, was a little bit too busy looking at certain websites when I accidentally sent the wrong attachment on the wrong email. <laughs> okay, and what are they blackmailing you for? <laughs> Most of my entire paycheck. <laughs> all right. So, so every month. Every month. All right. So, so what what exactly do they have against uh, over you? What did you send them? Uh, let's just say that uh, certain things shouldn't uh, have dicks, but they did in this fictional artwork. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, unbelievable how this game has turned out so far. Sen <laughs> sexual girl with dick pics. So what are you what are you doing now that you're that you're unemployed? Or wait, no, this was when you were 17. Never mind. Yeah, it, it, they might work it out, and we might work it out in these next few years. Mm, okay. Him <laughs> for money. Okay, roll me a 1d10. Seven. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you get betrayed again. All right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You get betrayed uh, once, I think. Okay. Roll me a 1d10. You betray me once, Five. shame on me. <laughs> betray you me twice. A, I should have erased my browser history. You have, <laughs> oh! you have a tragic love affair. <laughs> what? Uh, roll, yeah, roll me a 1d10. With his with his uh, anime yeah, waifu. With, with his, yeah, his waifu. Yeah. His waifu <laughs> pillow. All right. At, at age 18, <laughs> you had your lover kidnapped. Jesus. Jeez. Well, I was a young man, and she was a lamp post. But then I came, and the city had been doing work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so tell me about your lover. Who? What was her name? Or oh, his name? Your choice. Glowy. All right. Glowy or flowy? Glowy, because she was a lamp post. <laughs> <laughs> okay. City lamp post number eight two one. So um. Tell me about Glowy. She the actually one time the city her? workers do their jobs. <laughs> well, city, I mean, Night City is sort of always open for business, so there is no, like, time and night where they do road work. If that's what I went to our usual meeting place, and there was a brand new Luxo light lamp post there, but she wasn't the same. Are you, are you actually saying that you had, you had a love affair with a lamp post? Just as human as you and I. I mean, they talk. Okay. Uh, I, I asked where I was in the city, and she guided me. And uh, I made a little a comment, and she she sat there silently, but I knew she appreciated it. <laughs> Taken away by road workers. <laughs> Issues. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Man, the past future is fucked up. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. People get attached to the weirdest thing. All right, roll me a 1d10. He got electro aids. Six. All right. <laughs> friends, <laughs> Cyber aids. Sorry. Friends and enemies. Call <laughs> glowy Savini. Glowy Savini. All right, roll me a 1d10. A four. You made a friend. All right, uh, roll me a 1d10. Uh, like a little kid sister slash brother. All right, tell me about your new friend and why you treat them like a little kid. Hmm, well, you see, uh, I was wandering around without purpose at that time, uh, wandering various places. Uh, I was going into the, the park and I would, you know, 
dismantle the jungle gyms. Unfortunately, the disappointed looks of the children when they came back uh, tugged at my heartstrings. So I built them a, <laughs> a mech platform that they could stomp around in. <laughs> <laughs> One one particular little guy took a liking to me. Uh, what was his no, name? I'm not the best. I'm not hit. It was a Hubert. <laughs> like H U E dash B E R T. <laughs> like sure why not. And then, <laughs> man, your your affection with light fixes. Is, is, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Hubert, and he was just a neighborhood kid. I'm not sure where his parents were. I mean, he was hanging around with me, after all, and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Met on the... Usually, usually there's a concerned adult to usher them away from my presence, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, this time. <laughs> roll me a 1d10. That's like a weird version of the crow. A 10, or huh? just like nothing. a random... All right, so... Uh, at, uh, this year, nothing happened. So, how lucky for me. Yeah, how lucky for you. <laughs> you had one, one year of nothing. Just a boring year. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Another another roll. Give me 1d10. A 1. Ooh, big problems being wins. Roll oh me a 1d10. Oh, God. A 7. All right. Disaster strikes. Roll me a 1d10. A 1. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Financial God. loss or debt. Roll a 1d10 times 100. <laughs> Alright, you lost 104... No, times 100. So you lost 400 uh, euro bucks. Oh. Euro bucks so wait, like dude. right now he has to deplete that from his, like... Yep. If you, <laughs> if you Holy can't, shit. Okay, so if you can't pay this right now, you have to pay a debt in cash or blood. How much was it? Four hundred and four dollars. No, just four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred. How much do I even have? Let me see. I have forty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you convince me to buy all those cybernetics at the beginning? <laughs> Yesterday, he's like, "No, get." He's like, "Get your eyes replaced with a telescope." There's no big deal. <laughs> It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Man, now you I can just, see your it, crippling debt from miles away. My, my cyber <laughs> arm and finger bomb didn't really cost that much. You should have gone with a cyber finger they arm bomb. They said the first thing. three hollow discs were for a penny. <laughs> <laughs> but the deal didn't stay the same. They That's altered. how they get you. That's how they get you. Yeah. Every All right. Fucking so, time, dude. so who's who's his debt to? It was uh. To uh, Time Warner CD life set box set CDs. <laughs> <laughs> it was wait, what was what was the thing? It was like uh, something like Westinghouse or something like that. The <laughs> CD subscription company. What was oh, what yeah. was that? Back in the day? <laughs> Fuck! What was it? Was that what it was called? Oh, that's it's, what it is it's, now. it's called Cyber uh, Westinghouse now. Okay. <laughs> Cyber Westinghouse. It was yeah, for laser made, laser it's, discs. It's yeah, VR discs. Uh, <laughs> One euro buck per Def Leppard and Boy George album. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I but can't I didn't cancel. You didn't cancel. I can't imagine they're just going to let that slide, too. Time Columbia House, business. that's what it was called. <laughs> All right. Time Westinghouse, I think we'll go with. Uh, so, roll a 1d10 for me. <laughs> it's not like the early 2000s. They send guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, roll your what? 1d10? 1d10, yeah. A 3. Alright, so roll me a one, uh, another 1d10. Alright, you get lucky this time. Roll me a 1d10. You get the bunny back. At 5. Find a teacher. Add a plus 1 to any int base skill or begin a new int base skill at plus 2. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Nice. Damn. That's real good. Yeah. So, int based skills are Let me see accounting, here. accounting yeah. anthropology, awareness slash notice biology, botany, so I get plus chemistry, two for one of these? composition, diagnosis, illness, education, general knowledge, expert, gamble, geology, height of aid, history, any language you want, library search, mathematics, physics, programming, shadow slash track, stock market. All these are plus knowledge. nine already. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. add. Um, so you can add anything you want to that. How much? Fuck so points. add um, 
two? You can either get a new skill for plus two, or you can add to an existing uh, skill. Okay. Um, I they all it. say plus nine already, so like... Yeah, that's because you're, you're int. Yeah. Oh, because I'm amazingly smart. Because mm. my autistic level of intelligence, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, For example, if you take a language here, you can learn to speak a language fluently. Yep, yep. yep. Who knew Don't fucking electronics rush me. Just mm. really increase and stimulate your brain? Look at my general knowledge. It's plus 15. I know everything. Jeez, yeah, I can see right. through time. Yeah. <laughs> Morty, oh, this is amazing. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go mathematics on this shit. Cool, found a mathematics teacher. Tell me about this mathematics teacher. Well, uh, all right. I watched the movie uh, uh, Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe, and it was the most <laughs> learning experience I've ever had. This is like 2000, man. <laughs> was that movie out of that when did When did Beautiful Mind come out? It was from the Hollow Discs like that I owned. 1999 or some shit. Oh, oh perfect. Okay. Good. Fantastic. All right. So tell, <laughs> I think tell I me. I find a real life teacher. <laughs> so tell me. I watched tell me a if... fucking, you know, pop culture reference movie and then it taught so me about the world. <laughs> so you watched the movie and. Well, I mean, it has to actually be a person. So maybe you got. Um, Doesn't really. Yeah. I am. I, I hallucinated uh, <laughs> Russell Crowe out of the movie, just like he did in his character. <laughs> I was so inspired, he came and taught me like Obi Wan Kenobi, the mathematics. All right, so you found a homeless guy that looked like Russell. <laughs> there you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Was his name Russell Russell Moe? Really certain it was really Russ him. Russell Moe. With more beard and and bum stench. Russell Moe. A homeless mathematics. Russell Mo. It was a street rapper named Russell Doe. <laughs> uh, I swear, when he talked math. to me, I could hear the the James Horner music, and the numbers flew around in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually right. saw them like cartoon numbers flying. So around. You added mathematics, right? So I'll add a plus two to your mathematics points. So now your mathematics is at eleven. Ooh. Uh, roll me another one d ten. Two plus two is plus fun. Yay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm a math magician. Okay, what do what am I rolling? One D ten. One D ten again, okay. Yep. How and many more? Cool. Alright, nothing happened this year. <laughs> okay. Whew. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and at five, huh? Uh let's see. Five is friends and enemies. Alright, roll me a one D ten. Alright, you got an enemy? Oh! Ooh. Hang on, one second here. Let me just Make sure I keep everything uh -oh. up to date. It's Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Turns out he didn't appreciate that all those damn old photos Henderson you were sending from him. Next door. <laughs> all right, <laughs> uh, Mr. Henderson, so, I took apart his dog. You've got an enemy. You've gotten in someone's face. Enemies are a little way of life in cyberpunk. Uh, for each enemy, choose or roll six. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to do that. You can choose. Uh, roll me one d ten. All right. Seven. Uh, partner or coworker? So maybe the guy who was uh, blackmailing you. Yeah, probably. Tell me about this uh, this guy that was blackmailing you. Oh, hang on. Let's uh, roll a one d ten again. Sorry. All right. Oh, foiled plan of the others. So maybe you got you finally got back at your blackmailer. And so roll me another one d ten. I used my amazing tech skill to intricately take apart his skull with a crowbar. <laughs> uh, okay, you hate them still? And roll a 1d10. Six. You backstab him indirectly. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you ruined his uh, presence online or something like that? I don't know. Where, where, how, what do you think about that? Hmm... I think that uh, everything that uh, I was being blackmailed for suddenly appeared that it was uh, belonging to him. Oh, okay. Uh, so now roll me a 1d10. Okay. Oh, Lord! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is super bad. So, um, you might have got rid of this blackmail that happened to you. However... Uh -huh. He is now a government official. 
<laughs> so you're gonna have to give me this guy's name right now. Oh god. Oh god, his name is um Uh let me see here. Charles Fentis. <laughs> Charles Fentis. Are you using like a baby name generator like on <laughs> my brain? Charles Fentis. He works for the government. He has he he works for a government agency. Oh my god, this is perfect. Oh, and he oh, took god. away Glowy. He ordered. He's the, the one who worker. ordered the construction where it's all coming together like it's a freaking web. This is interesting. Well, no, this, Holy this shit. Is, this is uh, this happened like uh, yeah, when you turned twenty four. So this was like five years after Glowy. Uh, yeah, or six years. Um, uh. And he will use it against me. <laughs> Goddamn Charles Ventus. Charles Ventus! Ventus! Okay. Right, well, <laughs> roll, roll me a uh, 1d10 here for your last right. stage. A 1. Alright. Roll me a 1d10. A 7. Alright. Disaster strikes. Roll me a 1d10. Goddamn. A 4. Alright. Betrayal. Again. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. Oh, let's let, actually let's change it up. Let's roll another one d ten here. It's a this. hard knock life for Six. you. <laughs> All right, lover or friend or relative killed. Maybe this. <laughs> God damn it! You look like uh, fucking terrible. Bro, it's either it's either something horrible happens to you or nothing happens to you. <laughs> it's like there's no middle bro, ground. Bro, well, he awful. I don't In know. Real life. Uh, so roll a one d ten. Oh my God! All right. <laughs> Uh, they were murdered, and you know who did it. You just need to prove. <gasps> yeah. All right, so tell me about who was Fentus! murdered. Fentus! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Fentus murdered someone that you care about. That seems legit. Yeah. Fentus murdered who? He murdered my kitty. The kid? My my cat. Oh, your cat. Maybe, okay, so maybe he was intending for you to get killed with uh, whatever he was doing. And then the cat, the game like is Fibble Dickens. The cat, Fibble Dickens. <laughs> Fibble. <laughs> Fibble Dickens. I feel like there's right. like some pattern of dicks going. All right, so, so here's here's what I imagine happened, right? Since you're homeless, you've been eating a uh, kibble, which is literally like dog food, and you've been sharing it with your cat. And uh, Charles Ventus decided he would uh, ruin uh, ruin you up by, you know putting uh, poison inside of your kibble. And uh, that kibble was the kibble that uh, Fibble Dickens ate. And I blame Purina all these years. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that is your history. Now we roll your motivation. Fantas! So go to page uh, 36 and tell me your motivations. Yeah. Page 36? What? Page 36 on the rule book. Uh, the rule book. Oh, God. Let me fucking open the rule book. Luckily, it's in my hot bar here. Is it the second edition one we're looking at? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, it's the same one. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Loading. I have, I have the one Hold on the on. web page and I have the one you sent me, which is the Chromebook. Do, yeah. do, da, do, do, de, 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 da. Loading PDF file. Like, we haven't even like, actually started playing the game. We're just rolling our backgrounds. It's already getting like fucking juicy. Ah. Yeah. This is this is juicy why, drama this, happening this already. This is why I wanted to do it because this shit's fucking. This great. is cool. Yeah, no, I we didn't even do this with Pathfinder at all. It was all just like we kind of made up bullshit stories. There was no. This is this is fun. I like this. Holy shit! Could this load any slower? <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So well. So why don't you just write them down, and we'll come back. So just go through each of them and pick them, and then t we'll go back to you when. You all right. Cool. Done that. Okay. I, how so, many am I picking here? A uh, one from each box. So On page what? 36. Okay. Yeah, just follow it and you'll get there. All right, okay. uh, Eric. Yes, sir. And. All right. Roll me a 2d6 plus 16. Hope you're just yeah. 17 years old, like a young, nubile baby. Okay, so <laughs> 2d6 plus 16. Yep. Oh, you're 22. All right. <laughs> so roll me a 1d6. Hey, yeah, you're a young little fucking upstart, aren't you? Hey, <laughs> money, money, money. All right, so what was I rolling? Uh, 1d10. 1d10 plus nothing, right? Plus nothing, yep. Hey. Oh. All right, nothing happens when you turn 17. Sweet. 
Except for being affluent and attractive. Yeah, he's Episcopalian. Nothing would happen to him. <laughs> All right, roll me a 1d10. Jesus Thanks. Christ, are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> I have a very boring life. I'm yeah. just spending money. Dude. You I imagine this is you live and walk in between the rain Dude, rocks. So these are is, the best rolls I'm going to have all game, by the way. So I imagine this is you going through college or university or education or something That's like true. that. That's true. All right, sure. roll me another 1d10. There seven. we go. Getting interesting. Uh, romantic involvement. Ooh. All right, Ooh. so roll me a 1d10. Seven. Love affair with problems. All right. Roll mm. me a 1d10. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh. Aids. Super AIDS. Super AIDS. Right. You got super AIDS. <laughs> super AIDS. <laughs> Bonitis. I got Bonitis. <laughs> regular AIDS. Uh, all right. So your lover's friends slash family hate you. Oh, well, that's, that makes sense. that's old hat in the Hamptons. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> you know how you know how many CEOs' daughters I've impregnated over the years? <laughs> Countless. Oh, God, Countless. Countless. All right. So tell me, place. tell me about this uh, this lover you have, Eric. So uh, the last one that I had in this instance was the daughter of a United States senator, um, and it turned out that being that um, Charles Fentis, it was <laughs> it was it was not Charles Fentis. It was it was Blake Worthington's daughter, <gasps> uh, mm. and her name was Chastity. Mm. And so uh, chastity fell hard for me because I was considered the bad boy of uh, of my section of the <laughs> yes, house. I spent my money recklessly this year. I, I did. It was it was because I my butler drove me around on my motorcycle that I was considered the bad boy. Um, and so through working my various charms at the at the country club as one does. Uh, I impressed her with my golf swing, where she could see the the finely shaped musculature of my buttocks, and that just drove all the girls of uh, the West Hampton Country Club just wild. Um, so one night at our usual cocaine outing, uh, we ended up uh, giving her a little roll in the hay, as it were, and uh, it turns out that uh, just my my wealthy super semen was just too much for her her pedestrian womb to handle um, so <laughs> pedestrian through the, womb. so through that uh, she ended up uh, getting pregnant and uh, to save the sake of both of our family names she had to get I'm sorry I don't want to say this for any baby years a schmushmorshin <laughs> and so we went to the schmushmorshin clinic uh, which torsion. was what's that? Cybertorsion, they shoot a laser in. Beep. Yes, as, as whatever you just said. Um, except we had a family doctor who did that while we were all at a barbecue in Cape Cod. Um, <laughs> and so we did it on, on, on a private yacht so no one would know. But unfortunately, her father, Blake, did find out. And so now he has a vendetta against me and my family. Mm. Wow. Okay. So people in chat saying he rolled one d six. Oh, you did. Not two d two d six. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep the age though. The age is still within reasonable bounds. So. Okay. Well, hang on. You know what? Yeah. Reroll your uh, your age. So what am I rolling? Just roll two d six plus sixteen. Okay. Two d six. He can keep you his backstory and everything. Yeah. D six. So plus. Actually, just roll another roll another one d six and that'll be fine. Just one d six with no plus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so you actually, you're actually 23 years old. Okay, 23. Right. <laughs> problem solved. All right, uh, problem solved. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. Well, that was a nice little tangent you had there. Roll me a one d ten. Let's see what other fucking shenanigans you get up to. Okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Roll me a one d ten. Here we go. All right. Uh, roll me a one d ten. Fuck. All right. Financial Sweet. loss or debt. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's perfect for your character. It's like All a right. Kryptonite. <laughs> Roll me. <laughs> Actually, this probably won't be a lot of money for you, but you know what? We'll, we'll bump it up. We'll bump it up so it makes oh, a lot more thanks. sense. Character. Fucking. Well, I'm, yeah. I mean, you're rolling around on fucking yachts, man. So, all right. Uh, roll me a one d ten times one hundred. All right. Ooh, wow. Times one hundred. So that's a thousand euro bucks. Fuck. Uh, and you just bought all those fancy cybernetics, didn't you? But I still, I still have like, 
I think I actually have enough to pay this off. Yeah. Uh, so, um, like left. do you have do you have any money right now? Uh, uh yeah, I have fifteen hundred euro bucks. All right, take a thousand off that. Oh, me in the face. Well, I was that's my pocket money. money. That was my walking around money. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna buy lunch with that. God. <laughs> So tell me about how you lost this money. Um, so, being that, um, you know, we needed somebody to supply our coke outings, uh, uh, okay. we had a, a gentleman that hailed from uh, the inner city of Connecticut, uh, uh -huh. which a lot of people may not know about because we try to keep it on the hush, uh, but it was a man named Cranston Blankenworthy. Um, <laughs> he, Cranston, what a great name. Cranston has a bit of a temper. Uh, he once uh, punched a horse at a uh, at a polo match, uh, so he kind of got a rough and tumble reputation. Um, so Cranston had various connections uh, through his father, who was an import or import export specialist, um, and uh, so he made various connections through there through a couple of uh, Colombian fellows. And, uh, <laughs> them, Colombian do-gooders. <laughs> through them, uh, he ended up getting his connections. And so he was my connection, being that he was a childhood friend of mine. Um, but unfortunately, one day uh, when I ended up um, impregnating chastity, uh, he, it came to be that that was his childhood sweetheart, and uh, he didn't very he didn't cotton to that. Let's just say that he didn't cotton to that very kindly. Uh, so we got in a bit of a tiff, uh, and he <laughs> ended up telling one of the Colombian fellows uh, that I uh, reneged on some of my my money that I was supposed to give to him. Um, so needless to say, uh, a very rough, uh, gruff looking fellow showed up. Uh, showed up to my water polo match one day and uh, <laughs> demanded a thousand euro bucks to make it all go away. And this is nothing new in, in my, in my, in my circles. So, uh, I took, I took the pocket money that, uh, my servant Wentworth had given me and, uh, I, I just kind of threw it in his face. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to listen right. to you anymore. And he was like, sweet right thousand euro bucks, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And that was it. All right. Cool. All right, age 21. Let's see them rolls, big boy. 1d10. Okay, let me get rid of this. Oh, my God. All right, roll me 1d10. Oh. All right, you get lucky. Roll me 1d10. Financial windfall. <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you your charmed life. All right, roll Jesus. me 1d10 Press times 100. <laughs> what is it? 1d10 times 100. That's 100. Alright, so you got... You got 200 euro bucks back. Nice. Maybe you checked under a couch cushion. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I found it in my other pants. Yeah, hey. exactly. Oh, oh. Shit, he found oh shit money. <laughs> for rich people. <laughs> oh, what's this, a gold watch? Oh my god. Oh, wow. I, I had this. <laughs> Okay, how did you find the 200 euro bucks? Uh, I found it, um... <laughs> you want a scratch up? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. I, I won a friendly bet with a, a colleague of mine in college that, uh, we could, uh, or that I couldn't hold the new kid out of the window for a minute by his shoe. And uh, it turns out that I was a lot stronger than I thought I was, and he was a very scrawny Jewish boy, so it was no big deal whatsoever. Uh, I just held him by his foot, and uh, I ended up winning the $200 for our small wager. Cool. Age 22, roll me a 1d10. Okay. Fucking. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, roll me 1d10. All right, roll me 1d10. That was four twos in a row, let me just say. <laughs> All right. Uh, everyone's going to love this one. Fuck. <laughs> Mental or physical in, in, incapa incapacitation. Yeah, shut up, I can't read. But you have experienced some type of mental or physical breakdown. Mm. Roll a 1d10. Yeah, that's why I had to get cybernetics. Nine. 
Oh boy, it's a major psychosis. You hear voices are violent, irrational, depressive. Lose one point from your CL. Oh, okay, one point from your reflex stat. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, um, I would love it if you can, if you, if you role played that you had voices in your hand. But no, that's that's the whole reason why I got the the cybernetics. I have uh, I have two cybernetic enhancements that uh, I I suffered a, uh, oh, another water polo trauma when I was, when I was a, a young boy. So I got water, water in polo my ear. accident. Yeah, I got water in my ear that never quite came out. So my hearing was always well, always mop, a bit off. Mop, so I, yeah, mop, 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 mop. mop, mop. <laughs> so, so I I I always I always. I, I, I couldn't hear people very well, so as a child, I developed these voices so I could still talk to someone in my mind. Um, so through the through the glory and, and majesty of, of cybernetics, uh, I ended up getting increased hearing, which suppressed the voices. But only with the cybernetics are the voices suppressed. So if, if I, for some reason the cybernetics ever get turned off or damaged or I have to replace them, the voices come right back. Okay. Yeah. Voices. It's a hard knock life for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! For, for everyone oh, wondering, morning. I'm trying to make this like the quintessential '80s wealthy person. So this character in my mind is what they're all like. <laughs> okay. And finally, for age 23, let's see a 1d10. Uh, 1d10. Yep. Fucking Jesus. All right, roll a 1d10. All right. Roll a 1d10. Alright. Local nomad pack befriends you. You can, pull, you can call upon them for one favor a month, equivalent to a family special ability of plus two. Oh, nice! What? Why would That's the nomads want anything to do with this fuck face? I don't know, you tell me. He's a torpid chode. That is <laughs> awesome. Um, so, when I was younger, at the at the country club, we had a, a bunch of... of Kids around my age that used to used to go to so, uh, hang on. If are they local to where you are, or are they local to Night City? This is important. Uh, they're local to Night City. Okay. So they ended up getting they ended up getting jobs out there because you know we needed we needed help at the at the country club. Mm -hmm. um, so we hired we hired these these kids that were around the same age, but they came from a gruff neighborhood, and uh, no one paid them much mind. But me, I I can always see the worth in everyone. How how what's the dollar value behind that person? I so uh, I ended up uh, investing uh, in them. Uh, I I bought them um, new hoverboards and and I would, <laughs> I would <laughs> hoverboards. Well, and and I would. I would pay for their their little their little hovel style meals that they would all have around around the campfire out back behind the country club where no one could see or smell them, uh, yeah. sure. and and so over time we developed trust between myself and and their little group, and uh, it turned out that they were actually uh, a, a pretty serious inner city gang that was peddling all sorts of of, of weird. Uh, uh, hallucinogenic drugs and and illegal illegal tech and small arms, uh, and so uh, I ended up going. Okay, I'm going to continue to fund them whenever they need a little stipend, just in case. But they're always they're going to owe me whenever I ask. And so they they agreed. They agreed that that whenever they were called on, they would come and 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 rally to my banner and to my cause. All right, tell me, tell me the name of someone from your nomad pack. Uh, his name was Rat McGonagall. That was the name, the leader's name. Uh, then there was, uh, there was um, Chance uh, Barfley. Uh, there was um, how many people should be in this pack, by the way? Um, let's just say that. Um you had uh, two people. We'll leave it at that. Okay. Um, two, two of your main contacts. Like, um, <clears throat> you didn't really interface with the other people so much, and they had like uh, someone who would come and talk to you. Okay, so those two. That was like their first and second. Yeah, first, first and second. Okay, I can get down with that. All right, uh, that pretty much 
finishes up everyone's description now. Uh, Black, did you go ahead and get to that page yet? Yeah. Yeah. What were your What were your traits that you picked? Uh, okay. It was traits. There, I was so waiting. Personality <laughs> trait. Yeah. Yep. Personality traits. All right. It was. Um, let's see here. It wasn't motivations. All right. Yeah, it's under motivations. Yeah. Okay, okay, it is motivations. Okay, I was like so confused. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, then I chose them just in case that was that. Yep. Uh, where did it, where did it go? Here we are. Uh, a bit of, uh, intellectual and detached was one, right? Okay. And then. Um, Hang on a second. Let me write this down. Okay. What's person uh, the value person you value most? Yeah. Can it be the pet if it's dead? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, that was uh, Fibble Dickens, right? Fibble Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> oh. who, what do you value most? Um, I'm gonna say friendship for this character, even though no one really approaches it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, the cat's good friends with you. Sure. Uh, and, the, and that kid, he thought you were pretty And, and rad. various st street utilities. Yeah. <laughs> How do people feel about you? How do people feel about me? Oh, yeah, there it is. Um... Or isn't it? How do you feel about most people? Yeah, sorry. How yeah. do you feel? Yeah, about yeah. People? Sorry. Right. Um, mostly neutral. Take it or leave Too it. Too busy like taking things apart. Yep. And your most valued possession? Uh, I would say a tool. Probably mm. my my very first um, multi multi tool. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I upgraded my Xbox 360 into an Xbox One. <laughs> and then no games came out for it, which broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and Eric. he fucked it. What? <laughs> That's we also true. Then he turned it into a woman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. I really the lives were lost. I really hope throughout the game. Bike is just randomly turning electronics into women. <laughs> like, that's just, like, his thing. <laughs> oh, went I improved Fine. it with metal breasts. <laughs> <laughs> and a laser vagina. Anyway, here's your iPhone back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Eric. Touch interface. Let's go through your motivations, fella. Uh, oh, tell me about your personality traits that you pick. Uh, so I only choose one, right? Yeah, I only choose one. Yep. All right. Uh, I would say I am friendly and outgoing because I have to be. On the surface, I am very friendly and outgoing because that's how you fucking charm people. Okay. Uh, what's the person you value most? Uh, I would say public figure. Oh, shit. Who is it? Uh, his name was Donald Trump. Uh, he was just the, the pillar of... Of Republican moral values and just what a shrewd businessman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> only I could be like him. All right, what do you value most? Uh, money. Yeah, that's an easy one. <clears throat> how do you feel about most people? Uh, how do I feel about most people? Uh, pretty neutral. Just uh, they're all they're all kind of cogs in the machine, and everybody has an eight dollar sign attached to them. Well, then um, wouldn't that be like? Um, uh, people at tools use them for your own good. But that's the thing is, I don't see the value in discarding them. Mm. Someone can always, always have another use to me. Oh, uh, what about every person is a valuable individual? That's good. Every yeah. person's a but valuable. Not, but it's not a positive thing. Exactly. It's like the <laughs> negative spin on that. Oh, uh, you're all very valuable to me. Mm. <laughs> it would cost so much to replace you. Okay. These robots. And rest uh, of them. Your most valued possession. Most valued possession is uh, actually my sword that I carry around with me. So, eh, sword. Got it. Actually, you know what? No, that's that's incorrect. Uh, my most valuable piece, or my most valued possession, is my cell phone. Mm. My cell phone is my most valuable possession. Because that's how you get shit done, kids. It would yeah, make never, it deals. Never, it would be. never found Lubin a cell phone. All right, Just lubing deals, lubing them. <laughs> Okay. ABC, always be closing. Exactly. <laughs> I need that uh, call. Okay. So. Uh, all right. So now we need to do your uh, reputation. So let's see here. For Let's start with Nick's reputation. So, um, so disaster strikes, negative one. 
Um, God, if this is just the character creation, the actual story is going to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you fucked up ride, man. All right, so your starting reputation was... Well, do you remember how many negatives you got for disaster strikes? I think you only got the one, right? Yeah, I only rolled yeah. one below, like, five, I think. Yeah, so your reputation is negative one going into the game. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bike man, I think he had a lot of negatives. He had uh, a tumultuous, like, early 20s or whatever, how old he is. Yeah, so you, you had, had raging neg- hormones. <laughs> negative one. Um, I was very moody. He essentially got his male negative version of the period. Net plus one. <laughs> That's not what you did there. <laughs> All right, so you come in at negative one as well, because you had a you had a positive in there as well. So. And Eric, my man, let's take a look at yours. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, so negative one, positive one. Positive two, no, negative two, negative, yeah, you're at negative one again. Uh, you're at zero, you just start at zero. Zero Fuck what? Lucky. Zero reputation. Nice. True. So, <laughs> A clean palette. Clean Can't palette. Get no fucking reputation. <laughs> okay, so off. here's how we work out the extra money that you guys start off with. Um, Aren't I in so, debt? Yeah, but now this is where you are right now in life. Um, so let's see. Uh, you are a so starting with Eric. You are age twenty three. So Eric, I need you to roll one d six divided by three. Oh wait, did we already do this? What? Hang on, I'm just trying to work it out. Okay, yeah, one d six divided by three. Please. How, f- how the fuck do I do that? Just one. Just roll one d six. Okay. What did you get? Six. So you, you've been employed for three months before the start of the game. So you get an additional. Uh, You said it was like 9k a month? So you get $27,000. Okay. 1,000 euro bucks. Um, Plus my 700. Woo! A second. Oh, sorry, no, that's wrong. You only get 18,000. 18,000? Okay. 18,000. You've only been employed for two months. Only eighteen thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. poor you. I know, right? That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> you guys could have picked high levels, but you didn't. What so. a tragedy! <laughs> All right, uh, bike man. Your age is twenty-three. Roll me a one d six. Oh my god! All right, sorry. One d six coming right up. All right, what did I miss? He was, oh, he was a little distracted. He was a little oh, okay. just, a little bit. just a little bit. <laughs> I'd say. All right. Yep. Glowy lives again. All right, so you get an additional 3,000. <laughs> and Nick, roll me a one Oh, six. fuck. <laughs> All right. So you get... Um, <laughs> Good to see he saved those sexts she sent him. <laughs> do, you, do you remember how much money I started you off with, Nick? Uh, at the very beginning, before I yeah, bought was, all that shit. Was, yeah, was it three thousand? Yeah, it was three thousand. Okay, so you get four thousand five hundred. Not bad. Oh. And if you guys wanted to purchase anything else, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, when we get in the game, it'll be harder to find and more expensive. Okay. So, is there anything else you guys wanted to purchase? Uh, I'm gonna probably get a pistol of some sort. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, absolutely. What are you looking at? You don't have a pistol? No, I don't. I only, have, I only have my, my sword. <laughs> uh, where are the pistols? Where how are you? Ammo, how much is ammo? Is it, is it depending on... Ammo is just whatever. Okay. I'm not going to... I don't know if we're going to get that deep into it. Yeah. I'll, Unlimited I'll, ammo! Ammo for everyone! Yeah, basically. I'll be tracking your shots, but, like, you know, so you have to reload, but other than that, like... Who the fuck is... What, what, are you, what are you looking for? A pistol? Yeah, like a pistol. Uh, like can... heavy, medium, light? Um... Something that I can keep within, like, tucked in my, uh, my Alright, so you want, you want high concealment? Yeah. So, Federated but... Arms X-22, um, is a 1d6 plus 1, and it has 10 shots in it. And it's rate of fire is 2. Okay. That, that, I mean, that sounds good. Alright. You want to paste me what it was? Uh, I won't be able to copy that. <laughs> it's in the machine. Uh, I'll the... write, I'll write it for you, though. Okay, alright. I got you, bro. Sweet! All right, so now I have my sweet little tucked away pistol and then my sword. Um, it's a P type. Yeah. Is it really I good? Find... It's a good pistol. Is it a good? Is it be good for shooting? Shooting, just in case I have to. I plan if I'm good and I get good rolls, I hope to never be in combat. I just oh, hope I'll to shoot be you if you don't fight with us. I'll, I'll just shoot no, no, myself. no. I'm just saying, like, I hope to like negate as much <laughs> of of that as I can by through my fast talk and bullshit. And then while <laughs> while you guys are fighting, I'm gonna fire off a couple rounds. But uh, just like the only way that I can I can get off is through watching violence. So I'll just be in the <laughs> corner, like. <laughs> okay. Any other any other purchases? Oh, did you remove that um, uh, reflex, by the way? Uh, I don't think I ever added it. Okay, I'll remove it for you. You're down to full reflex now. Oh, no, no, I did. I did. did? Yeah, the minus the reflex roll. Yeah, I did. You did? Okay. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, any other purchases? No? Um, should I... Mm, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll come back to me. Okay. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, come back. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep looking. Okay. All right. So uh, that pretty much does it for character creation. Um, that was quick. It only took yeah. an hour and a half. Wait, do you, 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 you guys want to buy anything? No, I, I, I'm I, saving my money. Yeah, I'm saving. I, I got, I got enough for whatever the hell's gonna happen first. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, please. Hopefully. Okay. Well, um, if you guys, uh, do you want to get straight, straight into the game, or do you want to, what do you want to do? I want to we buy can a do uh, an intermission. Yeah, yeah, we can do an intermission. Rate, grab, grab drinks, food, yeah. stuff, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They're all haunted by my past there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, Maybe, you may want to move the lamp a little bit more into the frame. Oh, yeah, I can't even see the lamp. There you go. <laughs> I haven't been looking at Skype at all. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see it. Ridiculous. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll be back in a take moment. A, take a, like a three-minute break. Yeah. All right, cool. Sounds good. Okay. Can you guys talk into Skype just to make sure that they can't hear you? All right, cool. Good. All right. We'll be right back, guys. Uh, just taking a little intermission, and uh, we'll get right into the story. Stay tuned.
devastation. Oh, you guys are losing your reflex stat there. <laughs> Fuck it. Right, so we're back. Much. What's going on, guys? We're back. Hi. From missions. Hi. So, uh, yeah. How's it going? Game. Yeah, welcome back to Shits and Gigs, the cyberpunk adventure. <laughs> Is that our official name for it? <laughs> I like shits best. I like shit I'm gigs. done with this game. All right, whatever. <laughs> well, that uh, was... <laughs> That's all of Cyberpunk, by the way. There's no other story. It's just yeah, no, characters it. and backstory. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, all right. So let me let me just jump into this real quick. Um, so you turn on your TV at home and you switch over to the Cyberpunk channel where Cyberpunk is currently being aired, and uh, the first shot you see is a establishing shot of New York City. Yeah. We zoom in onto a uh, high-rise uh, office complex. Uh, on the front, it has big, bold red letters that simply say CRS. Uh, we zoom in even further into an elevator where we see our main man, uh, Preston Mayflower, waiting in an elevator. Uh, the familiar sound of a uh, advertisement jingle starts up while Preston is riding the elevator. He's done this hundreds and hundreds of times before, so to him, this is absolutely normal. But over the radio, we hear uh, a sweet little jingle. In the dawn of the cybernetic age, man has wished to become faster, better, stronger. When our bodies die out and our organs give way, what is man supposed to do? Replace them, of course. The Cybernetic Reform Syndicate is making all of this possible, right here in our own backyard, good old United States of America. Giving back to this great country. Don't let the ticking of time hold you back. Visit a clinic today. And then the jingle plays once more. Uh, yeah, Preston <laughs> is in the elevator for a bit longer. As CRS, he, uh, we make you. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he arrives at floor 27. Uh, the doors open up and uh, Preston, you're greeted by the familiar faces of the secretaries that uh, uh, I obviously the had sex with. Yeah, all right. Well, why don't you... Uh, it's like, hey, Preston. Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Shannon. Morning, Gladys. 
<laughs> you're so charming as always. Uh, they're waiting for you up in meeting room 13 if you want to make your way over there. Thanks, doll. No worries. Drinks later? We'll see how the day pans out, babe. God, he's so mysterious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Complex. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we see Preston making his way down the meeting room hall. He's uh, accentuating his buttocks as he does. You know, that's, that's what Preston does. He accentuates the buttocks. Kegels, uh, bro. Yeah, Kegels, yeah. Uh, you make your way over to meeting room 13 and uh, you, you walk in. The room is pretty dark. This is normal for you, by the way. You uh, close the door and you make your way over to the single chair that awaits you. Uh, you sit down and after a moment, uh, two screens flicker on in front of you. On the left, we have a, a man that you know as Baxter James. Uh, he is the CEO of uh, the CRS Corporation. And uh, on the on the right, we have Ali V. May, who is uh, the major shareholder of CRS. And uh, they look at you for a moment in the darkness, sitting there. And uh, what are you feeling right now? Uh, this is total normal for me. You know, I meet with these gentlemen pretty frequently, so mm. I greet them. Hey, boys, how's it going? We had a hell of a round at the club the other night, didn't we? Boys? I need to remind you that I'm actually a woman, don't I? You keep forgetting that all the time. <laughs> Says actually the, the woman's face from uh, the right alley. Uh, looks over you and just, just fucking just, guy. Just, um, Smooth, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, because he never. He, it was like Ali, A L I dash. He, I thought it was like Ali. Like, I didn't think it was like A L L Y. Don't Back, get a game, uh, just roll with it. Baxter sort of uh, okay. leans back in his chair and he goes, mm, Yes. We've uh, called you in here, not for pleasantries. Uh, hope you understand, Mayflower. I'm going to get right to the point. Of course, of course. Yes, we are. Uh, we're having a bit of problems with uh, customers negging on their payments. Do you know anything about this? Mm, yes, I read the quarterly report. Troublesome stuff. Yes, uh, Ali here has told me that uh, you're responsible and you're trustworthy. So we hope that you won't bring this to too many people's attention. In fact, we actually want you to bring it to no people's attention, if at all possible. Of course, of course. Mum's the word. Absolutely. Fantastic. Good job picking him, Ali. Well, thank you, Baxter. <laughs> 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 uh, <clears throat> Ali addresses you. Um, <clears throat> as you know, Mayflower, we have uh, decided to start up another uh, subdivision of CRS, uh, at which you will be responsible for. Uh, you will be the head leader of this division. Um, it will be responsible for the acquisition and uh, retrieval of our products from the customers who have refused to pay mm. or have stopped their payments. As you can uh, as you can see, they, she pulls up a chart and shows you. Uh, <clears throat> the lifetime customer service happiness seems to be dropping after about six to seven months. After that point, they generally stop paying, and up to this point, we actually never thought it would be a problem. Uh, Baxter then turns and says, Yes, uh, <clears throat> they are simply renting these organs from us. We wish to get them back because they are, in fact, ours, and we will be using them in other people when they come in. We believe that it will save a tremendous amount of money by recycling these organs into new people. Hmm. And Ali, Ali sort of nods her head, and she's like, Yes. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. Uh, how do you feel about this, uh, Mayflower? Well, in terms of dollars and cents, uh, it makes all the sense in the world that we would refurbish these these organs, especially if we're getting delinquent payments, because one thing that I absolutely can't stomach is our bottom line being affected. And in order to put us back in the black for this quarter, uh, let me develop a, a four-point plan to fully fully flesh out an idea that I'm going through in my mind right now and bear with me uh, with this with this new uh, offshoot of the company or new branch of the company rather uh, what do you say I get some various individuals in my employ 
and actually take charge of the repossessions themselves. Hiring the third party would only only affect our bottom line. Let's take care of this internally, especially if, again, mum's the word. Mm. So you're telling me that uh, you wish to hire reputable people? Like, who are we dealing with here? What type of people are we dealing with with these hires? Leave leave that to me, babe. Don't don't worry about the finer details. <clears throat> Just he, like, worry about the bigger a little bit and readjust his necktie when you call him babe, and he's like. Worry Have about you forgotten the who you're talking to? Of hey, course, of course, sir. But this is why you hired me. This is why you picked me for this task. Let me deal with the fire details. You guys just worry about the big picture, which is counting those dollars. Ali, <laughs> <laughs> Ali sort of like smiles and nods. She's like obviously impressed with the way that you're dealing with the situation. Uh, she uh, sort of flicks over some papers and she's like, um. Uh, Preston, we are going to be giving you an allowance of 20,000 uh, euro dollars for your first month. Uh, this is to cover all costs that you might experience. Uh, you are free, obviously, to request more money. However, any money that you do request, you will obviously need to make up with the prepossessions. Uh, is this acceptable? Of course, of course. I wouldn't, again, want anything to affect our bottom line. Fantastic. Uh, we will be stationing you in uh, Night City, since this has the highest number of delinquent payments in all of our capita. And we believe this is the place that will be affected most by having uh, your team. By the way, what did you end up calling it? Oh, um, hmm. Just going over my head right now. What do you guys think of... Rads. We'll call it the Reprocurement Acquisition and Delinquency Specialist Division. How does that how does that strike your ear? <laughs> I sit back and light up a cigarette. <laughs> so Baxter sits back a little bit. He's like, Yeah, I can see the advertisements now. Rads. Ensuring the safety of our customers. I like, like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh good man. Uh, when do you think you'll be available to head over to the United City Division? Uh, give me about a day and a half to wrap up all of my uh, all my dealings here, and I can be on the next plane out of there this Wednesday. All right. Well, uh, Ali, I think you've done great uh, bringing this gentleman to my attention. Um, Ali just sits there and nods, and she's like, Baxter, I believe that this is the best decision we've made in a long time. Uh, Preston, I hope to see you real soon. And then she like turns off her camera and Bax is the only one there. And he, he sort of like, all right, now that we're alone, just know that uh, your ass is on the firing line if you do not deliver. You have a month. Don't worry about a thing, babe. I've got everything under control. He the winces. Only thing, the, you only, yeah. the only thing you're going to see out of this is more of those dollar signs. I take a long puff of my cigarette. He sits back and he's like, I hope for your sake because I hear being homeless in Night City is very rough. And then the camera fades to black. I cough under my breath. What a shit. <laughs> Pompous douche. And the camera refades back up <laughs> <laughs> on our other two. Pl oh, on um, let's see, what's your character's name? Oh, uh, on <laughs> oh he means the camera yeah. for the, the the viewers, of yeah. course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. The, the microphone's still on, dipshit. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Dresden, uh, what are you doing right now? Time of day is it? about uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm at the bar. You're at the bar? Yeah. You reckon BTE would be with you? Uh, she fucked off earlier. She's uh, making a couple scores downtown. Fair enough. This is my night off, basically. I take I take Thursdays off. Mm. Is this yeah. a regular bar that you go to? Oh, yeah. I'm a regular here. I get They, they comp all my drinks because I've done a couple favors for them to keep them open over the years. So uh, you're sitting there at the bar. You're alone right now. 
Uh, at the moment, yes, I'm alone. I'm just uh, sipping sipping my cyber whiskey, and uh, <laughs> it's it's filled with mega. It's not cyber whiskey. It's just regular whiskey, but it's it tastes goddamn good. It's got yeah. electrolytes. A lot better than most of the whiskey I've had in my life growing up in the streets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So basically, um, let's see. What's a good name? Uh, Frankie uh, is uh, standing behind the bar. He's he's wiping down a a glass, a cyber glass of all the glasses. <laughs> <in here>. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he uh, he looks you over and he goes, "So you hear about the uh, new uh, CIS guys? Yeah." They're looking for hires. He keeps the wiping the glass. Fuck is CRS. You don't know, man. CRS. It's uh, what the fuck is it called? Oh god, it's like a cyber reform uh, shitheads or something. I don't know. Cyber reform shitheads. Sounds yes. like a corporate piece of shit. I'm not. I'm not interested. Not interested, eh? No. Yeah. Well, I hear they have some big shit fuckload coming down to town. <laughs> big shit <laughs> fuckload. <laughs> I love how you've slowly turned him into like a non <laughs> non English speaking bar guy. No. Who just like yeah. only knows like a lot of like slang and swear words. <laughs> so, so uh what are they here to do? Censor more of the fucking net or uh, you know, no, take account actually, of our drug deals or what what are they trying to do? Well they have a business, it's about uh putting machines in people's guts and stuff. Make them live longer, you know, that sort of shit. You hear the jingles? They're everywhere. I hold up my cyber arm, and I just, like, <laughs> come on. Oh, man, not not outside, not cybernetics, just, like, hearts and livers and lungs and that sort of shit. Yeah, 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 I know about that shit. Yeah. Well, apparently this new division they're setting up, and you know what? They're not very good at keeping secrets because it's apparently repossession. Repossession. Repossession, yeah. Apparently, rich old white fucks don't know how to control their money. <laughs> so instead of instead of a, a bike or a car or or, or 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 a tank or something, they're repoing a heart and a liver. Cyber liver. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like there's big money to be made in this. I uh, I don't I don't answer them. I just kind of take it in and. I right, man, enjoy it. Drink. Um, so what would um. What would Weldon Sharpie be doing right now, a.k.a. Ramble? What time is it? It's about three, uh, 2 a.m. still. So I'm definitely rifling through dumpsters for parts. You have no idea what you can make fiber optic cable from. <laughs> this will do some cardboard. <laughs> so you're, you're sitting there. Uh, you're, you're up to your your waist in trash right now. Right? Mm -hmm. I imagine comically your legs are, small little baby legs are kicking out from the back of the, <laughs> <laughs> the back of the dumpster. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, a light illuminates uh, your, your back there. And is it? Like, oh my. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, crouch down in the dumpster. So you slip all the way inside the dumpster and you try and yes, hide. Yes, I do. Like a lynx. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, light, the, the source of the light gets closer and you hear this, Ah, oh, fuck, is that you, Ramble? You ain't Whoa. doing it going through my shit again. <laughs> you discarded this waste. It's, it's public property at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Get my hair and make some sort of fuck machine out of it? What do you... Twelve? Uh, that's not very likely. Those parts would probably kill you. I'd have to wire it through your skull, and uh, <laughs> it would be very painful. Uh, we could do this. Uh... <laughs> so, um... I've got some cardboard. Back, we look back <laughs> over the street, and uh, there is uh, uh, Dresden sitting inside of a bar drinking. You can see him through the window. You're, you're basically across the street <coughs> digging through someone's trash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and in a way, uh, the gentleman with the flashlight, he like pulls you out of the, uh, the trash can or attempts to. What do you do at this point? Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, attempt to scurry away from another bludgeoning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you give me a... Uh, 
a dodge escape roll here. Okay. So give me a 1d10 plus... Actually, no. Uh, let me just real quickly... Um, <laughs> gonna open up a file here. Okay. Okay. Is this just like a normal Thursday for you, Mike? No. Yeah. <laughs> Third bludgeoning this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll me a 1d10 plus 4 for your uh, escape. There you go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, so... So basically what happens is he uh, he grabs you by the shoulders and pulls you out and you just sort of like, I don't know, maybe you had like a banana peel or something like that on your <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you. And you basically slip away. You basically slip away at this point. I've smartened up. I pre-greased myself this time. <laughs> All right. And uh, what, do, what, do you, what do you do? Where do you run? Um, I have a bar over there with a light shining. Oh, okay, through. how subtle of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I run to Seattle. <laughs> you run into the I, bar. I scurry across the street dodging cars to get to the bar. All right, fantastic. You're inside Fun the bar the now. Got. Um, so basically, uh, Dresden, the door slams open, slams shut behind you. Oh, by the way, walk. garbage and, 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 and broken microchips and tech boards are fling flying out of my clothes every which yes. way. Um, <laughs> And you look over and you see this uh, shifty little man who's got like uh, a big old mohawk and he just he's just covered in like trash grease and he looks over to you and w what do you say to him, if anything? You look like an amiable sort. Uh, gotta hide me. I need to hide. Very big danger. Help! <laughs> Frank, get this guy a drink. Uh, okay, man. Shit. <laughs> what do you Sorry. drink? Milk, uh, please. <laughs> you heard Fuck the man. Get him a milk. Get him a milk. Come on. Sit oh, down, dude. Okay. Sit the fuck down. Yeah, uh, Frankie. With we'll three belts of whiskey in it, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That makes a little more sense um, now. Whiskey milk, please. <laughs> he gets mm -hmm. you a, uh, what you need, um, and he slams it down in front of you and he says, you know, this is coming off the, the IOUs. Right? No little umbrella. Fuck. Right, you. And then he walks away. <laughs> Same that kind of place. <laughs> I owe him a lot of money, so you owe me a little bit of money. That's how this works. Why the fuck do you smell like trash? Why are you Very covered expensive in cologne? You're covered in trash. Acquired in taste. <laughs> okay, it's trash. I was rifling through the trash, okay? You'd be surprised the amount of resources one can find inside of a dumpster. You could build a robot that could crush this entire city, given enough time and searching, probably a couple of months, depending on the storefronts and or backs. Are you high? <laughs> Trifle. You know, uh, wirehead? You, uh, you, you, you jack in a little too much? Just a small mixture of uppers, downers, maybe a little synth oil mixed in there for the flavor. <laughs> My kind of customer. What do you need? Well, mostly uh, the protection from brutes such as that, so I can be free to gather resources uh, at my leisure. Who? The gorilla man across the street. Like I look out the window. Yeah, he's uh, he's long gone. He doesn't. He, he after he ran off, he didn't bother chasing him. I didn't imagine so, him. Tell me about these gorilla men. <laughs> Do you want to see more of them? You want to see uh -huh. less of them? I can. Like, we can. We can tailor this to whatever you need, man. Did you ever see the old classic Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Of course. Wasn't it awesome? <laughs> You're fucking weird, man. Here At this moment, um, you. your phone rings. Uh, what is your character's name? Me? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dresden. You guy over there. <laughs> On the other other line, you, you hear the familiar sound of BTE as she, uh, he's like, Hello! Jesus. Fuck, are you in a club? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I am. I am. I am. <laughs> are there two of <laughs> What are you doing? Go outside. 
Oh, fuck that. It's fucking awesome in here. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I don't know. Some place. I just sort of walked into it. It's really good. All right, that doesn't help me. What do you want? I have a lead. I have a lead. I have a lead. You have a lead? All right, I spell. Have to uh, I, could, I could augment the uh, speakers on this phone you, you, if you hand it over you, here. Shush, shush, shush. No, 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 no. What's the lead? What's the lead? <laughs> Sorry. Have you, have you heard of this uh, CRS? Yeah, 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 yeah. Frank just filled me in on that shit. They're offering a lot of money for us to do this. They're looking for uh, reputable people to actually start up this new crew. Sounds reputable? great. Reputable? Reputable? How do you well, think we're going to swing that? Well, not reputable, but like, just have a reputation, you know? That's what yeah. I mean by reputable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, I mean, aside from lead, do you have an in? Like, how are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? Yes. Uh, there's some. Uh, Big shit rich boy coming down who, uh, you know, apparently he's going to arrive tomorrow. He, we're going to... Uh, look, I've, I've been working all night to try and get this lead happening. It's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of money on the line and actual employment. Actual fucking employment. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, no, I can't. That's a, been a fucking while. Um, okay, how about this? You find out when he gets here, uh -huh. who he is, what he looks like. Uh-huh. We'll meet up with him. We'll show him a good time. We'll make sure that we are the number ones on his list before he's even fucking got to the hotel. How about that? You're speaking my language, baby. Woo! All right. Hangs up. <laughs> um, so we can feel free to skip forward a few hours. But what is what is uh, what did you do with uh, your new friend there, um, uh, Dresden? Oh, we we get to we get to talking and, and drinking and yeah, he's a little fucking weird, but uh, my cyber arm starts acting up and he just fucking sure as shit pulls out some tools, rewires a few things and it's working better than it ha ever has. Even when he I he didn't got want the breasts added to it. <laughs> uh, so I, okay, I great. I immediately saw that he had he had complete and utter use to me. All right, uh, so Preston, you wake mm. up. On the plane, there is a, a buxom lady uh, who's shaking you awake. He's like, sir, mm. we're about to land. Mm. Would you like a, a whiskey or something like that before you get off? Sweetheart, please stop yelling. These lewds haven't quite left the system yet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just press the button if you need anything. Okay, sure thing, doll. I tap her gently on the butt as she's walking away. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's completely used to fucking 80s executives like just groping yeah um so as as the plane lands um when uh what do you do do you get off first or do you watch the the brevity leave ahead of you like what's going on i'm still on? i'm still a little bit uh i'm still coming down off of the uh 20 whiskey cokes and uh about nine lewds that i popped on the flight over so i'm just Hanging out, looking outside the window, checking the rabble that's slowly walking by, uh, and just kind of getting my lay of the situation. Yeah, you know, same old plane stuff. I mean, like, plane travel hasn't really changed that much uh, as to what it is now. So you can expect to see a lot of, like, people just, like, exhausted from being squished into a sardine. Mm -hmm. um, it, in first class, it's a lot nicer, and in economy, it's a lot worse than what it is in, in real life. So, these people, they're all sweaty and gross, and you're just sitting there in your air-conditioned, comfortable seat with, like, mm. you know, just unlimited alcohol given to you, and, yeah, private room, bathroom for each of the executives in there. There's only, like, four seats in first class these days. Mm. Yeah, I'm just kind of watching the rabble, just playing, playing with my, uh... My uh, war torn or my war diamond cufflinks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the rabble. Guaranteed arms are cut off for it. Yep, that's uh. true. It children, a lot of children died for these bloodstones. Um, <laughs> so I'm just uh, kind of watching the rabble, just mulling it over my life. Just man, how terrible their lives must be. Mm. So uh, yeah, the um, the moment you sort of land, I mean. Do you turn on your phone? What do you do? Oh, my phone was on the whole time. I don't, listen to, I, don't listen, to, I don't listen to rules of the airline. Yeah. 
So uh, the moment you get cell reception again, though, uh, your phone starts a buzzing. Uh, there's a heap of emails in there about corporate mumbo jumbo. You don't really pay too much attention to that sort of stuff. I mean, you have people to do that for you, obviously. Mm -hmm. of um, but the one, there is a few emails in there that um, stand out. Uh, there's a there's a contact request from one um, uh, one. That's a good name, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Why is Jimmy Buffett emailing me. From the grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, and Jimmy, if you open the email, it basically says, "Hey, found a contact. Let's get this started." And it gives you a phone number, and that's it. That's all the email says. Hmm. I think to myself, "Hmm. Well, I mean, Jimmy hasn't let me down as of yet, and he does play bass in my band." Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should give it a call, <laughs> but not right now. I'm going to go check into my hotel, maybe put on a fresh uh, sheet of cologne and uh, kind of get the lay of the, the area a little bit. Mm. Um, so, Nick, I want you to do me a favor right sure. now. Can you roll me a street deal check, please? What would that be? That would be a uh, 1d10 plus 6. Okay, uh, Eric, uh, Bax, no, what is your fucking name? I'm so bad at this, sorry. Let's go, let's go. Uh, Worst GM ever. Worst. Sorry. <laughs> Fired. Uh, Preston, as you, uh, as you, uh, walk, as you, you get out of a cab, basically, right? Mm -hmm. And you're, you're going up to a hotel in, uh, let's see, you can be in the Upper East Side, um, it's sort of where the executive... Oh, no. Hmm. It's probably being... Yeah. But let's say you're in the uh, the north, north Side District. Your hotel, at least, anyway. Okay. Um, and out the front, you see uh, a bunch of normal people. Except there's one person out there who stands out quite a bit. Um, she's a bald African-American woman. With a big tattoo of a uh, a wolf's paw on her head, and you can see it uh, it's sort of sh changing. It's sort of rotating through all the colors in the spectrum. The tattoo mm. is, at least, anyway. Um, and uh, she's holding a piece of paper, and she's looking up and looking at all the people that come up and pass. And um, yeah, as you get closer, she sort of like looks down at a piece of paper, looks at you, looks at the piece of paper, looks at you again, smiles. Screws up the piece of paper, throws it into a bin, misses, and uh, <laughs> just runs over to you and says, Oh, hey, 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 hi. Uh, who are you and why are you talking to me? Hi, my name's BTE. My friends call me BTE, but you can call me BTE. Um, I, uh, hmm, yes, uh, I'm here to. Do you need some you money or something? Why are you talking to me? I. Mm -hmm. I'm Money a very busy great. person. However, I'm here to show you a good time around town, and you can't say no. Uh, excuse me, sweet cheeks. Do you know who the fuck you're talking to? I can always say no. Why don't you tell me who the fuck you are and who sent you before things start to get a little bit ugly? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I didn't mean to offend you here. So, as I said, my name is BTE. Um, I am one of the crew members that... Your friend Jimmy Buffett has uh, told you about. Um, I'm. I took the advantage to come here and find you before you know you got bored and whatever. Oh, BTE! I grab her hand, interrupting her, and start shaking it. Oh, it's yeah. so good to meet you. Jimmy was telling me everything about you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, I actually just got into town, uh, so I'm gonna just real quick. I'm gonna run up to my hotel room, uh -huh. throw on a quick new suit. Uh -huh. Maybe take a shower. Maybe uh -huh. maybe just just freshen up a little bit. Oh. I will meet you right back here in about fifteen minutes. How does that sound to you? Yeah, or well, you could fuck all that and just come with us. Uh, while that sounds great, I'll be right back. Just just you stay here. You just stay here. And as I'm like saying this as I'm walking back upstairs into the hotel. Right. I, yeah, I so stop. I I turn a corner and I stop him. Oh hey, sorry. Uh, you're uh you're you're Preston, right? 
Yeah, and you are? Oh, Dresden, Dresden. Jimmy told me all about you, dude. I'm a big fan of your work. Here, and I hand him a really exotic alcoholic beverage. Oh, uh, very nice. Oh, is this the 63 vintage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight from Japan, right off the boat, man. Mm, wow. Well, normally I would question a random open liquor that someone gave me, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, toss, I toss all of it back in one gulp. Good shit, and, man. Okay. Uh, BT I know you, I know you want to throw your feet up, but this hotel, well, yeah, it's all right. I got a better place where you can throw your feet up. And I mean in the most comfortable way possible. Mm, interesting. I use my, uh, what, what is the name of this fucking cyber? <laughs> I use my voice stress analyzer to tell if he's telling a lie. Uh, well, I can tell you right now he's not telling a lie. <laughs> 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 I'm making sure. I'm, I'm very, I've been brought up to be very cautious of the lower class. <laughs> So, <laughs> wow. So, so I, I'm doing as you, Okay, so here's what happens. Also, as you, that little fellow behind you. He seems very mousy and a little squirrely. As you say that, right, as you activate your lie detector uh, enhancement, basically the loudest, mousiest voice you could ever hear. Just like, she's still where she was before, right? Like where you left her, which is like a good 20 meters away. And she sounds like she's right next to you when she says, Oh, yeah, hey! Thank you very much, Dresden, for taking away my goddamn fucking job. And she, like, Ooh. runs over, and she comes up, and she's, she's still got a loud voice, so it's super loud when she's right next to you. And she's like, Yes, you can get your feet out of yeah, I just, I cover her mouth with my hand. I was like, she's, <laughs> we're partners, we're acquaintances. She's been awake all night trying to come up with, like, the best plan to take you out and show you a good time, basically. She's super excited. You'll have to, and she's, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, and, and had, had, had a little bit, but uh, and BTE was it? Was BTE? BTE. I want to yes. I want to thank you very much for your go getter attitude. However, I do want to ask, who is that squirrely looking redhead behind you? That's uh, hey, that's uh, that's Ramble. that's that's Wesley. Hiya. Uh, so what's your deal, friend? I extend was, my was hand. Was it Wesley out or Webley? Was it? It's, it's, <laughs> it's Weldon and Shopling. Weldon. Okay, Weldon. Well, I extend my hand out. I extend my hand out for a handshake. Uh, Jenkins. Oh, hey, good a pleasure to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Give He's him a, a nice, loose noodle grip. He's an intern. <laughs> <Essentially>. <laughs> I, take my, I take my hand away and kind of go like this from the, 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 <laughs> the cold, damp sweat that was now placed onto my hand. And I, I, get, out, I get out a little Purell bottle and I'm just like, mm, yes, great to meet you. You seem mm -hmm. like you're really on top of your game. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Sheldon, was it? Uh, uh, you can just call me, uh, um, by my correct goddamn name. Uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Weldon, Weldon, Sheldon's fine. Okay, sure Sheldon. thing, Weldon. Sure thing, Sheldon. All right, uh, so where's, where are we going again? Would you say you said there was a better area? It's, We're uh, well, on we, an got, adventure. we got choices, all right? I got this, I got this, uh, day spa with, like, foot rubs, pedicures, um, you know, like, massages, full body, full oil, full hand jobs at the end of it. And then uh, after that, we can go to this awesome nightclub. We got VIP fucking status in there, of course, of that, of fucking course. All the hottest celebrities in Night City go there, and they want to see you, basically, is basically what it is. They want to meet the hot new people in town, and that's why we go there every single time. They want to meet us, they want to hang out with us, and we just going to have a fucking great time. Also, whatever you need, lewds, cocaine, heroin, fucking... I can get you. I can get you some crazy chat rooms and VR and everything. Whatever you need, dude. I I I've got the synth out. coke. Well, what the hell are we standing here for? Let's get the hell out of this pig town. Great idea. So BTE, um, only you can hear this. Uh, uh, Preston. She uh she she basically uh, she looks like she's talking to everyone else, but only you can hear it. And she says um. You smell great, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Where do you guys want to go? Show Preston a great time. 
the junkyard has some amazing things this time. Of night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, he's well to say. The, the biotech he's, corpse usually. He's not. He's our IT guy, basically. Every time my arm gets a little fucking finicky, it's always good to have him around to fix it up. Um, fix it right up. What do you want to do? You want to go to salon? We can go right to the club. We could have, hit up a couple bars on the way there. Uh, let's go to where you were talking about all those celebrities hang out. I'm, I like to, you know, get my lay of the land and know who's who in terms of the upper echelon when I first get into a city, so... Absolutely. That sounds like a video. <laughs> all right, it's, a, it's an awesome club downtown called Inner Cell. It's fantastic. You're gonna fucking love it. Or so. that. Uh, let me just check if this is actually a nightclub somewhere. I just made up a name. Made up a name? Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, keep rambling. I'll find something. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, so, uh, so I hear you're here to, to, to repossess some, some, some organs, some cyber oh, organs. Oh, that's, like that. that's very, that's, that's a very crude way of saying what we're doing. We're here to enhance people's lives. Okay. By, and I'm, I'm saying this by going like this and doing like a lot of like business hand gestures and <laughs> sell me this pen. Synergy. <laughs> we're, we're, we're here, we're here to synergize. The, the, the words are evil, but the hand gestures are heaven. <laughs> We're here to synergize the repossession industry in to a new echelon of of corporate development, social development, and most importantly, people development. What we're doing with our products is we're enhancing quality of life. Now, unfortunately for our business, uh, where we come in, or where I come in rather, is when people fail to to pay for their obligations and they fail to pay for for their quality of life enhancements we unfortunately have to do what we like to call them and it's 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 a bit of a harsh word i know uh it's called a a friendly recompense uh scenario which uh -huh. essentially uh we enter their home and uh we give them a little bit of what we call our patented sleepy time uh winky face juice and then um while they're under the patented sleepy time wakey time juice uh, we end up repossessing the organ, sewing them up, making sure everything's nice and sterilized because, you know, a dead customer is not a repeat customer. Uh, and then we use that organ for somebody that uh, won't squelch on their responsibilities. All right. When you well, say when you put it that customer, way and uh, you, you leave out all the screaming and pain, that doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, no, it sounds, sounds like exactly how I pictured it. So without the organ, though, they're sure to die. Oh, that. now, unfortunately, once once we have our product back, it's uh, of little concern uh, what happens to the actual customer. They're more than welcome if they if they manage to come up with the money. We're more than welcome or we're more than happy to, to give them a replacement heart. It won't be the same exact model, unfortunately, uh, because that model would have been taken to another customer. However, we are more than happy to give them another refurbished model because, again, a live customer is a happy customer is a repeat customer. So if you take someone's arm off because they haven't paid for it, mm -hmm. does your team actually is it is their responsibility to make sure they don't bleed out or is it the buyer's oh absolutely to, okay absolutely okay. we're we're keeping we're keeping our clients alive because again a dead customer is not a it's paying not customer a paying customer gotcha yeah mm -hmm. no I I got that part okay I just want to make sure I mean I don't care if they die I just want to know your angle out of it. Well, we also have to worry about the CRS overall public image now. Sure, now, if course. it was up to me between you and me, I'd let the trash people die the way that they deserve to die. But <laughs> as a company, you know, as I a trash I, person, I like I, clench my fucking cyber fist. I, and I produce trying I produce really hard to play along with him. I produce a cigar from my pocket and hand it to him. And I go, as you know, as as a as a corporation, I hand I hand him the cigar. Uh, and I start lighting up my own. You know, we have to make sure that our public facing and our public image uh, is that of a magnanimous and benevolent provider, which is exactly what we are. Um, on our team, we are the ones, we are the hand that reclaims stolen property because that's essentially what this is. This is stolen property. Now, gotcha. what do you, now what do you guys think? about a position like that. I'm interested to hear your take. I, uh... I took apart your phone while you were talking. <laughs> now, that's that's great, kid. 
I'm gonna have to ask you to put it back together ASAP. No, you're, you're not like you're gonna love this. He puts breasts on the phone. It's fucking. It's a <laughs> multi-touch. Actually, right. it actually enhances the experience of using the phone, though. That's the weird part. That's why we. Mm -hmm. That's why we keep him around. This guy's fucking clever, man. He for the discerning, a uh, high uh, society gentleman. As yeah. a fan of breasts, I would really appreciate that, Sheldon. Could you mind uh, putting that together? I've got some emails to check. Already done and back in your pocket. Didn't you feel them? Oh wow! Oh hey. <laughs> Very nice. I do. I do like the the size of the area. Right. Did a great job. So, <laughs> BTE interesting. Uh, excuse me, uh, gentlemen. I want to get fucking drunk. Let's go to West Side. Huh? Let's do it. All right. So I hail, um, I hail a cab. Hail a cab. All right. Make sure, I make sure to tell the cab it's on. It's on uh, Preston over here. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys head on over to uh, West Side in the city center. Uh, Westside has uh, a various number of uh, nightclubs and bars and restaurants, and uh, it's basically like a nightlife hub for the area. Um, what what particular nightclub are you guys looking to uh, transfix yourselves upon? Um, well, since I'm since I'm working at an angle here, I went for like a very trendy. Everyone's super attractive. Everyone mm -hmm. dresses like the proper way, as far as like you know what the higher class society deems um, uh, the hip higher class society. You know, people that went to college and, and are now have decent jobs and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I imagine the higher higher class of, of cyberpunk. They, they all they care about is if you have a suit with a black tie and that's it. You know, sure. So uh, the first thing that happens is um, you stopped at the door. You know, you try to like skirt the line. Obviously, because yeah. you've got Preston okay. with you. I mean, you're trying to show him a good time. Yeah, yeah. But the guy at the uh, the door, he's like, <clears throat> "What do you think you're doing?" Oh, is this not the regular guy I, I have a contact with? Okay, can I roll my street street deal? Uh, you can roll whatever you like here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's my higher stats? <laughs> so, uh, street deal is um i believe for you a six yeah uh i'll i'll use persuasion fast talk i got 11 with that okay yeah um so what are you trying to persuade him into and uh, delaying us in i this, all right this guy's uh you, you know you know crs big company they run everything basically over in new york they got a little slice of night city right now and this guy behind me preston he's their hot shit guy he's the guy that's gonna make everything happen in night city we can make things happen for you too I'm over still by the cab, just trying to figure out how to fucking dial out on my new titty phone. <laughs> <laughs> Rotate the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, he he looked. You mean that piece of trash? <laughs> All right. Well, if that's the case, then uh, why don't you roll me something? All right. One d ten plus the eleven. Yeah. And we'll say that. Uh, for this particular instance, um, since no one really knows about Preston right now, uh, we will say that the difficulty is average of 15. Oh, you fucking nailed it. All right. I did. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, so uh, he, he looks over at Preston and he goes, You know, I think I've seen that guy before. All right, I tell you what, here's my business. Uh, give me your business card. Do you have one? Do you have a number or something? I, I just get, I just grab his phone and put my number in it real quickly. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, my my mom's needs a needs a new liver. She's a bit of a drinker, you know. All right, yeah, no, I got you, man. All right, cool. Yeah, all right, come in. Yeah. What was your name again? Uh, Truxon. Truxon. Good guy. I like motion everyone like we're we're in. Let's go. Hmm. All right, so you guys uh, make your way over to... Uh, Truxon comes with you, by the way. He shows you up to the VIP section. Oh, yeah. Uh, good old Truxon. Yeah, and he goes, All right, you, you cool cats have a good time. I gotta, gotta go we'll fucking... I gotta go. And then he just turns around and walks away. And then you see him, like, grabbing some fucking idiot who's, like, vomiting in the corner and dragging him out to the street. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so Billy at this point... Why don't you, uh, you guys, uh, strike a deal here about what's going on with uh, CRS? Okay, so I'm gonna lay it on. I'm laying on full for you guys. I'm looking for a crack team that can help me get established in this city with this new branch. And uh, from the looks of it, 
Sheldon is fucking out of his mind, but I like that. I like that about him. Something, there's something about this guy. This guy fucks, doesn't he? This guy fucks. <laughs> and then I look, and then I look over, I look over at uh, Dresden. And I'm like, Dresden, you seem like you've got a good head on your shoulders. I'm interested to get to know you a little bit better, and because I, I feel like we could do some good work together. And BTE, it seems like she listens to you. Don't have her ever talk to me ever again. Deal. Done. All right. All right. Uh, let me just open my briefcase here. I take out my laptop. Uh, I, I'm typing away, typing away, and I'm just like smiling and nodding at the people while I'm typing, not looking at my laptop. <clears> and then I s turn it around at everybody. I'm like, now this is a standard CRS form. Uh, all this essentially does is just say that you're going to act in the best interest of the company. Uh, you're going to listen to all my directives. And as such, I'll give you guys a monthly stipend. I'll give you guys the tech you need. And uh, let's make this happen. What do you say? I just smile and nod and just like put my little signature thing on the you know, on the touchpad there. Did you know uh, in, in, in Great Britain, they don't call them microchips. They call them micro crisps. That's wonderful. Priceless. All right, you motherfucker. Sign here. <laughs> All right. Here, let me see. So uh, BTE grabs, uh, grabs a piece of paper and she signs it greedily and hands it back, just smiling ear to ear. Baka. Okay. You wonderful. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and send this off to corporate. And you guys are now part of the Rads family. Put her there. Rad. Uh, yeah, uh, BTE shakes your hand first in, in a uh, hardly fashion. She says, you won't regret this. You won't regret this. Not one bit. Not at all. Uh, what was the uh, monthly stipend? Uh, monthly stipend, I'm going to start you guys out at about 200 creds a month. How does that sound? Motherfucker. A and king's bounty. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. I'll be paid off in no time. Okay. 200 a month? Yep, 200 a month. That's standard CRS entry level pay. A month? Mm hmm. A month. That's, Granted, uh, that's, you guys that's, know that that is an exceptionally low amount of money to be paid I, uh, for a corporation gig. Yeah. And <laughs> granted, that doesn't in, that doesn't include all of your uh, all of your uh, commissions that you can make per job. That is just your base salary. Okay. My guy's incredibly unconcerned with <laughs> counter offer. Ounce of money at the moment. One thousand a month. Ooh, uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do one thousand. How does five hundred strike you? One thousand. I'm gonna have to check with corporate on that uh, one, but uh, I think five hundred is going to be my my final offer on this one. Okay, so we're take the mystery box. The only people in this city that you've met so far capable of doing this job and willing to do this job of reaching into people's bodies and extracting organs or limbs or what have you. And your best offer is 500 a month. I make a thousand a month selling cocaine. Mm. Like, but that's the thing though. It's 500 a month base with a $300 commission on each job you successfully pull off. We get a base. Weldon shush. Got this. Sorry. Eight hundred. Mmm. I think mulling it over. Nine hundred. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think so nine hundred. Actually, a thousand. Seems, seems don't think a thousand. I feel like you're really bad at haggling here. Uh, no, I'm not haggling. I'm straight up telling you a thousand. Uh, fortunately, we can't do a thousand, champ. Uh, my best offer I can give you is eight hundred plus the three hundred for every successful job. 800 what do you plus say? 500 per job. 400 <laughs> per job. 450. 400 final. 450. 400 final. Put her there. 450, 900 a month. Again, I feel like you're not quite <laughs> grasping <laughs> the intricacies of debate or negotiation here. So how about this? I'm just going to fill this out. We're going to give you 800 a month plus... 400 for every completed mission plus anytime you need anything on a personal matter you come to me and we'll solve it babe what do you say okay all right we shake hands okay so 800 and then 300 uh, 400 per 
pink slip, right? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so the night fades out with everyone partying together. BTE gets fucking trashed. <laughs> and yeah, well, how do you guys spend the rest of your night? What are you doing? I uh, immediately take uh, take Dresden into the corner and score ludes from him where we proceed to be hunched over with a couple of girls around us for the rest of the night. All right. And what about uh, what about uh, you, Ramble? What are you doing? I'm isolated in the corner watching Steel Magnolias on my phone. <laughs> oh, it's so touching. <laughs> that relationship. <laughs> I don't know how he could do that to her. <laughs> All right, and uh, BT is basically just... She's, she's partying. She's dancing. She's, she's doing partying. what she does best. Work in the crowd. She's Work working. in the crowd, yeah. Um, so let's uh, fade in again uh, a couple of days later. Everyone's had a chance to recover. Um, Preston, you've had a chance to, you know, get situated. You've you've been to the CRS headquarters. You've met all the people required there. Mm-hmm. You've, uh, you've put in an order for some uh, company things but for for right now you guys don't have much under the name um so what do you guys uh i'm gonna send you the uh you basically have a bunch of pink slips you have like uh 30 to 40 on your table right now Mm -hmm. however the first one that comes to mind is uh this one right here and i will send it to you okay also for everybody asking i was prepared to offer them two thousand but Gotta always save that money. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are you sending this? I sent it to you, Scott. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, should I read this out loud? You can if you want to, or you can... Oh, yeah, it's up to you. It's, it's like, you. It's your character's... Oh, so, like, going so, over it. So, basically, we, we fade up on... Um, it's sort of like uh, the docking bay area. Um, most of the work that will get done is at night uh, due to the fact that you will be doing uh, stuff where you have to make sure that they're home for the most part because that's all the personal information that you have on the on the client oh, health. Uh, whoa. whoa. Sorry, Marla pulled the fucking cord out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you little shit! All right, so, You're uh, ruining the atmosphere of the game! Yeah, so it's, uh, walk, it's, uh, it's drizzling. Drizz- what was that, sorry? I was gonna say I walk up to the three of them while they're all by this. Would you say a dock? Docking bay. Yeah. Docking you... bay. So I walk up to them with a the pink slip in my hand, going like this. All right, guys, I got our first one. This one looks like a real promising one. It's for a Henry Bates. Uh, looks like this gentleman had a uh, heart pump, a liver, and it costs quite a bit of money. Um, so we've got to we've got to recoup his CR surgery rehab in full. Medication for his pain, uh, his insurance, which was a bronze level, his silver level maintenance plan, uh, which came out to about a two-year installment of about three thousand eight hundred and twelve uh, euro bucks a month. So he owes us about uh, ninety-one thousand five hundred euro bucks. So this is Christ. this is a big one. This is a big first one for us. It's really going to establish us. Uh, so let's hear it. Let's hear it. How do you? How do you? What's your plan of attack for this guy? So, uh, let me just fill everyone in about what you actually know about um, Henry Bates. Actually, no, you know what? Let's uh, see what you guys can find out about him using these skills. Okay. Um. So, the information that you have uh, is that he lives in uh, West Hill, uh, which is a sort of housing estate for artists and... Um, they have a lot of artists over there. It's a, sort of where people go to retire. Almost, um, it's a very safe sort of neighborhood. Safe. Nothing's really safe in Night City, but it's considered <laughs> one of the most safest um, that you can have. So to afford to live there, you got to be making a pretty penny, huh? Yeah, it's also why he can afford to. Well, used to be able to afford to pay his uh, payment plan, which was quite reasonable. <clears throat> I'm gonna start working my connections. Uh, see if anyone knows this guy or knows someone who knows him. Okay. What are you? What are you? What are you actually doing? Are you gonna call some people? Like, what are you trying to do? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call some people I know who live near that district and uh, mm-hmm. anyone that might have any information possibly. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, give me a uh, street deal roll, and I will say 
uh, for this particular instance that uh, he it will be an average difficulty because he's pretty well known for the most part. What did you roll? A 13. Okay. Uh, so you're not... Uh, you, you're, you're getting some information about Henry Bates. Um, you know that he is an art dealer for the most part. Um, you know that uh, he is in fact in West Hill. But you're not sure whereabouts he actually lives. I mean, you have uh, information on his on his actual like um, uh, art front store, art store. Um, but other than that, his gallery. That's what I was looking for. You have his art store. <laughs> yeah, you have you have the address for his gallery, um, and that was on the pink slip but in terms of like personal home location you're not getting are there like public things. terminals around anywhere yeah uh they have uh public terminals in a lot of places that's where can you I, get... uh can i um whatchamacallit uh cyber security like learn about them uh you can google him if that's what you want to do google him but yeah. i can like lost into anything i'm super <laughs> fucking crazy at that shit. <laughs> go ahead you googleize him uh google so... him Yes, yeah, so let's see here. What skills do you have that you can use? What, what are you planning on using here? I, I look at the fucking page source. That's how good I am. <laughs> okay. Whoa. So I'm going to say guy. you can use. All I your... see is blonde, redhead. I'm going to say you can use your general knowledge to do a search on him. All right, cool. Yeah, what am so, I rolling? Uh, yeah, uh, roll a uh, 1d10 plus 15. Woo! Okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's not it's not well known where the guy lives, but he does in fact live on out of his on, on top of his uh, studio, and um, I don't get anything else with my wherewithal, browser history, pornography. No, I mean, like <laughs> you know that you know that he uh, that he is he used to be very successful. Um, he used to have a lot of people coming and going out of his uh, gallery. But these days, um, he's, he's falling on the hard times, as most of Night City is. And there's just not a lot of people buying art these days. And that's what you've learned about Henry Bates. All right. All right maybe BTE can give it a fucking shot. You want BTE to give it a go? Yeah, give it a go. And right, let me just pull up a sheet. I could make an exact copy of him out of robotic parts, <laughs> and then we can reenact exactly his daily routines. We can learn everything about it. Yeah, it'd be like Shenmue. <laughs> Routine uh, simulator. Show me your cyber art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, she's pretty much getting the same information that you guys have already got. So you, right, you gonna, now I'm gonna know... Go, I'm going to go down to that district. I want to go down to that district and start asking around now. Well, you know that he lives out of his gallery. Oh. Oh, we know that now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, bike man uh, passed his check that he needed. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't make that clear enough. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so you know you know where he lives. Um, now it's just a case of retrieving said liver and heart. So how do you guys get down there? You don't have a company car at the moment, um, because... Uber. Eric, Uber. <laughs> cyber no, Uber. Okay. Calling this, Cyber Uber. <laughs> this is uh, Night City, so, like, um, it's going to be real hard to find a uh, a cab that will take you that far through um, all the And you wouldn't want a cab this late. Oh. You'll be the one with the organs missing. <laughs> yeah. how, mu how much does a... Uh, where, where are the cars? Uh, the car, well, that's what I'm saying, like, you just got here, you'd need to put in an order, so, after uh, so tonight's game, you can put in an order for what you want, but for today, oh, okay. uh, you don't have any access. You just walk up to a stranger with your richness and buy their car from them? <laughs> yeah. So, like, excuse me, excuse me, peasant, how much is your <laughs> car? <laughs> You'll accept this. Um, I'll tell you so, what, um, some, here's some, uh, ideas that you could potentially do. Um, I you live, you, you currently live <laughs> out of a, uh, very expensive hotel. It wouldn't yeah, be too far to assume to get a driver. Oh, let's say, can I just hire? Can I just hire a driver from the place I'm staying? Yes, but um, you might need to grease the wheels a little bit here because I driving everyone's phones and make a car. <laughs> driving through the uh, <laughs> driving through the places you need to get to to get to West uh, Hill Gardens. Okay. Is I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna ask Dresden. I'm be like, hey Dresden, so you're you're a man about town, aren't you? You must have a, a bunch of connections out here. 
Correct. Yeah. I'm a techie. I could just jimmy open a car. <laughs> All right. Like, hot wire it. I mean, if you want a car, we can get Sh you a car. I mean. Sheldon, as much as I appreciate that, uh, <laughs> we're, we want to we want to stick within our bounds here. Um, no sense of adventure. So, um, Dresden, my man, my main man. Uh, <laughs> could you possibly uh, call one of your uh, your hooligan friends to see if they could maybe give us an escort to our uh, our destination just for tonight? Of you know, course. until I pick up uh, until I pick up a set of wheels for us. Yeah, no, I'll just look up the, the hooligans in my hooligan database and get some hooligan cards for you, no problem. <laughs> All right, sounds great, babe. I'm gonna be over here on my phone. <laughs> Oh, hooligan database. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is uh? Give me a give me a uh a, a street check here, streetwise check. And I'll say since it's you know you're just trying to get a car, it's gonna be a ten. It's gonna be pretty easy. Oh look at that. So who are you calling? I'm calling my buddy Spud. He's a uh, <laughs> Spud. <laughs> He works in a chop shop, and every so often they chop a. Someone brings in a car they don't fucking want, you know? It's like a piece of shit. Yeah. But he loves working on cars, so he just fucking will work on them and find a way to sell them off or even rent them out from his garage. So he's a, he's a good guy, and he'll just rent out cars. And, and, and he likes potatoes? Yeah. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. My curiosity satisfied. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you gave him a call, and uh, he picks up the phone and he goes, Hey! If it isn't Dresden, you old piece of fuck. What's up, uh, man? What's going on, Spud? Why does everybody curse so awfully in this game? <laughs> <laughs> you old fucking shit waggle. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, yeah. what's the word? You got, any, uh, you got any wheels in there that I could possibly procure for a night? Possibly? Oh, you want to borrow some wheels, huh? Yeah, yeah. dude. Let me take a look, see, in this uh, manual I got here so I can find a suitable car for you boys to use, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like metagaming, but okay, go, you do that. Yeah, do I'm that. just uh, scrolling through this PDF real quick. You, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things that you do as a chop shop owner, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta go, keep scrolling because it's gotta go through my hooligan PDF. Yeah, because the PDF is super fucking large, right? You gotta go past all the wound information and all that stuff. <laughs> when you get down to, like, the actual vehicle stuff, so... Fourth you know. wall! You're breaking the fourth wall! You old piece <laughs> of fuck! Hold on, 1d6 to see how much damage you take from the fourth wall breaking. <laughs> Alright, uh... Guys, guys. Right. I think I'm an animated character. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Time to get an anime waifu. Oh, no. <laughs> or build one. Or build yeah. or create right. one. Yeah. Do you guys remember what fucking page I was around? <laughs> Kriegasama! It's is in the Chromebook. It's in the Chromebook, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I could go to it's, the a, it's it's like right under cyberware, I think. Okay. You guys remember the great fire that happened a few years ago, the big disaster? Yeah. Sorry about that. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> this Sheldon guy, I like him. I, this guy fucks, doesn't he? This guy fucks. Yes, he does. Fuck, man. Goddamn. <sighs> so, Sheldon, tell me, tell me about your latest invention you've been working on. Yeah, please do. Well, I feel this <laughs> latest invention. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Um, all right. Um, you like to fiddle. You like to fiddle with shit and put titties on it. Let's hear it, big man. Sell me on it's it. True. I was making a new prototype toaster um, that no longer ever burns your toast. Interesting. Interesting. What do you call this? Unfortunately, it burned everything else with radiation around it. <laughs> it just gives you. But in a timely burn. fashion. Possible military applications. I like it. I like it. Now, what did you call this piece of tech? The toaster with the moster. <laughs> All right. I see it. I see it. I get it. I'm with you. Sell, possibly selling it to, uh, to families with a vendetta. All right. <laughs> now, uh... Now, Dresden, why don't you, why don't you give me a, a lay of the land? How do you, uh... What are some of the, the ins and outs of this part of the city? 
Oh, well, I mean, it's safe, which is, you know, kind of a pornographic word in this city. It's, it's, <laughs> you might not get stabbed here, you, you like, uh, as, as opposed to anywhere else. Mm. Uh, a lot of, a lot of artists, a lot of, a lot of hippies, a lot of people that make money by doing things that they do well for themselves. A lot of the, you know, those shitheads that found a way to make a living without having to scuffle in the dirt like the rest of us. Mm, interesting. So did you say there's a lot of money in this area? Sure, yeah, why not? Hmm. Possible possible new clientele list we could be shaking up here. Let's uh let's keep our ears and eyes open, shall we? Alright, so <laughs> let's just say I I'm what? seriously can I oh I, I think I found the cars. Woo! I found the cars. Alright, so a t Okay, a Toyota Avante shows up. And, yeah, so um, Spud, he's like, yeah, I got something for you, man. I got something for you. I gotta. Do you want me to drive it over, or you want to come pick it up? Like, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll I'll come pick it up, dude. Don't worry about it. All right. So uh, you go, you go over to Spud's chop shop, and he has a a Toyota Avante sitting there for you. Um. Uh, it's a it's a. Sort of like a sports car. It's only a two seater. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> most of the cars here are two seaters. So. I don't like this car. <laughs> Looks like my ex girlfriend. Actually, let's change it. Let's change it. I've, yep, I just no, looked we'll at it. I was like, oh, in the trunk. Seater. Can we fit him in the trunk? So the Toyota, <laughs> the Toyota Avante moves out of the way, and there's a, a shitty Toyota Chrysler Omega sitting behind it. And he says, That's the one you guys got. It's uh, literally <laughs> a car that's uh, falling to pieces. Like the uh, the the bonnet is missing on the car, and uh, it's basically just the biggest piece of shit you could ever. Well, possibly. this just won't do, Sheldon. You're handy with tools and stuff, right? What? <laughs> uh, all right, now come 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 away from the lamp, Sheldon. Here, I need to show you this car. <laughs> Shell, what do you uh, think about this? What what sort of modifications uh, can we make this to make us look more presentable for the night? Well, let me see what I can do with this. Uh, what do we have lying around? Any tools? Uh, pieces of metal wires not needed around? Uh, I'm sure. Not just fine. sort of scratches his head. Is like it's a <laughs> fucking chop <job> shop. Yeah, <laughs> but I just want to know if they're gonna you know get stabby. If I grab get any of this. <laughs> look. <laughs> Uh, I need you guys to get out of here. Uh, we actually do work here, and this one we were about to cut up, but you can borrow it for the night as long as you bring it back. I don't care if it's got bullet holes in it. I don't care if it's got any of that shit. Because we're just gonna cut it up anyway. So I've got this. As I can long make as one, it works. One improvement right now. Hold on. And I put some chewing gum that doesn't even kind of cover the crack that I put it over. <laughs> 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 Good job, Weldon. I See, I told hands. you he's useful, right? He's useful. I put, my, I put my hands on my hips and just sigh. <laughs> right, let's get the fuck out of here. Starting, right. starting to get the stench of this place on my new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's driving? Why don't you go fucking ego surf a little more, bro? Chill out. Yeah, bro, chill out. All right, who can drive? Anyone? Ah, uh, uh, that's a good fucking question. <laughs> Uh, I think the one who can drive the best is either a uh, bike or Eric. All right, I'll drive cuz I don't I don't trust uh, <laughs> to drive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, for it. <laughs> you can right, see a so lot I, better driving at night if you go towards the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I get I get in the driver's seat and I rely on uh on Dresden's knowledge of the streets since I'm still new here. I don't know what's going on uh yeah. to kind of guide me to my destination. And when we're about uh, a block and a half away, I pull the car over and tell everybody to get out because we cannot be seen in this thing by customers. This is just unacceptable. Customers so, were about to eviscerate. Right, yes. So but what again, are you bringing with you goodness. in terms of uh, uh, procurement devices? Guys, I have my briefcase, which has my laptop, my cell phone, and... Uh, well, like I mean, like, so you're the guy that's supposed to supply them with tools they can use to extract. I assume they sent you here with 
yeah. uh, tools, right? Like, so, well, how are we getting so, this fucking I thing mean, out of this person? They did give you some 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 materials to use. Like, they gave you, like, uh, surgery bags and stuff like that, which has, you know, like, scalpels and whatnot in there. Okay, so I start um, handing out uh, everybody's go bags, which essentially... Uh, yeah. I still have that tech kit, don't I? You do, but uh, BT sort of raises her hand and goes, um, maybe you should hand that to me. Okay, she, well, like, grabs, and she's like, "Thanks," and then she like puts it in a uh, like little backpack thing there, and she goes, "Okay, uh, I will probably be best to handle this." Just saying, you guys, you know, shaky hands and all that. Okay, well, all that sounds great. Please never talk to me again. <laughs> uh, now, DT, what did I tell you? <laughs> now, Dresden, I, like, I, like, I, fucking, I fucking wink at her, and I like, you know. Now, Dresden, I'm going to have you run and point on this. Uh, now, when we get to the door, let me let me do some of the talking to start, and then once the action starts, I'm going to have you take over for the actual procedure. How's that sound? Perfect. I'm into it. All Let's right. do it. Also, do me a favor. Uh, now, Sheldon, if things get a little bit hairy in there, you got to promise me that you won't start putting titties on everything. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> touche, touche. All right, I can, I can, you know, I could probably, uh, you know, do a little recon for you, Mister Condescension, because I have All telescope right. eyes with uh, various vision types and uh, camera. What's Interest up? Interesting. See, Never. Sheldon surprising me every day. All right, Sheldon, what I'm going to ask you about him? Check. What's check up? Check around. Uh, check around the front. Eyes. The sides of the sides of the building. Let me know what the layout looks like before we go in there. All right. Give me a roll. I want to roll it. All right. Uh, let me see what you have here. Whew. We'll leave the DM into a roll. Let's do this. Give me a awareness slash notice skill. And this is going to be super easy. So you need to DC 10. What was it? Awareness slash notice, which is... So 1D10? 1D10 plus 12. Plus 12. Thank you. Well, I want to see how much you see there. Wow. I fucked up. You fucked wow. it up. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah you, 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 uh, you gave it a, a quick slap on the butt. All right, so uh, you notice that there is uh, three uh, people literally just sort of camping out the front of what you assume is the entrance to um, uh, Henry uh, Bates's uh, gallery. Now, on uh, closer inspection with your uh, telescopic eyes, you notice that clearly these belong, these people belong to the Bozo Gang. And it's mm. very easy to tell why they belong to the Bozo Gang because they are dressed like clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, the Bozo no. Gang in... Um, they are bio Pleasure working with you, gentlemen. I'll be taking my leave now. <laughs> yeah. let, let, me, let me go into a little detail about what the bozos look like here, just so everyone can get an idea. No. Uh, they are a prankster gang living in the artist colony uh, between elegant restaurants and hotels. Uh, they dressed, well, actually bio-sculpted to look like circus clowns with red bulbous noses, wild red hair, and long, flat feet. <laughs> No, not shoes, actual feet. Mm. <laughs> and costume to the part. The bozos become, became impromptu slapstick theater in this already colorful area. They splash paint on street painters. They drop water balloons on parked cars from st several stories above. They snuck up behind well-dressed women in the corporate zone and slapped the Velcro on, the stocking, on their stockings. It was irritating if it happened to you. It was funny if it happened to, oh, to someone else. But it wasn't really dangerous. Then things changed. The population of Night City should have known that anyone who would voluntarily have white screen skin grafted onto his or her face to form a per per perpetual frown shouldn't be around. To, shouldn't be allowed to walk around loose. A year ago, the Bozos took uh, a new leader, known as the Great Bozo. Rumor has it that he was an Ascra research tech who went cyber psycho and now creates devices for the Bozos. However, it happened. The Bozos have since become the ultimate killer clown organization. Fuck killer that! Clowns from outer space. 
Fantastic. Yeah. So there are three of these people uh, <laughs> just sort of like, you know, doing like the Japanese gang squats out the front of this place sort of thing, looking real intimidating and tough. Hold on, uh, I have to tell them. Hold on. Bazazazoos. <clears throat> three bugas. Mm. What? Uh, Bo bozos? Are you serious? Those are the ones. Oh, God. Fucking damn it. Bozos, huh? Hmm. They're more Night annoying than clowns. anything, but they're, like, not going to like us being here, essentially. And since you rolled super well, I'm going to give you some extra information about what they're carrying. Hmm. Uh, one of them has clearly augmented his hands to be giant claws. So the other one, uh, another one has a uh, medium assault rifle, an ARC-20 to be exact. Um, and another one has a SMG with All right. a right cyber arm. One with an SMG, one with a rifle, one with claws, no breasts. Actually, mm. uh, one of them has breasts. Oh, shit. One breasts, right. hold them, hold them in. <laughs> How, All right, Dresden. How how uh, how dangerous you think these these bozos could be? Um, very. They they tend mm -hmm. to not like people in general, uh, let alone people trying to get into a place that they're currently guarding. But uh, no. Then I flip them off with my cyber hand. <laughs> I have a solution. <laughs> I'll do you. I do. All right, let's see this solution. So I'm going to... Well, uh, we're, like, around the corner from them, right? He, like, teeked around the corner, used his telescope. How far away are we from them? Well, he has 20 times, so I'm going to say maybe at least 400 meters. 400 meters? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, like, with a straight shoot? Or can we, like, can we like <laughs> jimmy around some buildings and sneak out? Oh, uh, yeah, you can jimmy around buildings, yeah. Okay, okay, let's... Uh, uh, we, we jimmy. I, I, I got everyone around. Um, and then we're around the corner from them. I take okay. out my finger bomb. All right. How far away would you say you were? Let's say I'm a good 10 feet. Like, if I lean around the corner, it's a good 10 feet to the storefront where they're hiding out. Are there okay. Uh, give me one second here. Okay. When you get reasonably close uh, to the bozos, you hear a... And the bozos are like, <laughs> oh yes, here we go, boys. Fuck and girl, shit. Got ourselves well, then why didn't you see brain. this? Woo! And uh, then basically, uh, you hear the distinct sounds of clown shoes jingling coming towards you. <laughs> slap, slap <laughs> of their feet right. as they run around. All right. I told let me... you that triple arm was there in my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let me let me let me handle this really quickly. There's no fucking talking to them, dude. There's no discussion. They're gonna kill us. Okay, well, might as well try. I mean, no. unless we can just no. get out of here. No, absolutely <laughs> not. They're coming. That yeah, bad, like, huh? I All fucking, right, well, let's I, let's I, make I, I initiate the bomb on my fucking like. I take the finger bomb out and I'm like. Can I throw it? Is it cool if I throw it? Uh, yeah. How to the the uh, the immediate corner where they're trying to get to me? Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can. Um, we can make this happen. Unless we were supposed to roll initiative before. We should now. probably. We have didn't our say roll initiative. Out, we so, well, they're are not we still. The, yeah, they, we're they, still. Okay, so, um, the pinging sound you guys recognize as a motion detector. Uh, so. They have uh, f been alerted to your presence, but they're not near you yet. So if you wanted to, you can set up an ambush if you wanted to. It's an Aerosmith brand sweet emotion detector. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so what would you no, like to do? I'm I mean, what, what, what sort of positions are you guys going to take? You're just going to wait for them to come around the corner and throw this bomb? I'm taking my submachine gun out. Yep. I'm going I got to... my pistol in my one hand, and I'm, I got the finger bomb in the other palm. Like, Very good. I'm going to get behind everybody with my pistol out. I uh, uh, myself behind everybody. Yeah, BTE pulls out her um, her AK ARK-12, and she sort of just looks at um, 
Uh, God, I got a landing tag the same. Dresden's Dresden for. Uh, can I scurry up a street lamp? <laughs> you can if you want to. <laughs> for, for the height. Stop, you, uh, no, no, no street lamps for now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Focus on killing, not fucking right now. Please. You've lost street land privileges for now. Damn it! <laughs> All right, so, yeah, what, what do you want BDE to do? Uh, I'd like for her to ready up and... Okay, yeah, she's ready. Pull out, pull yep. out her gun and get ready for And that. you see a head stick around the corner, and it's the guy frowns, and he goes, Oh, hello! All right, roll initiative. Let's do it. Okay. So it's uh, 1d20 yeah. plus... Uh, One. Plus your initiative score. Yeah. Oh, hang on, no. Initiative, I believe, is... Um, burp, 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 burp. Uh, initiative is 1d10 plus your initiative score. And the only person who would have anything different, I believe, is uh, Eric, your character. Why? Because he got uh, subnetic enhancements to increase his initiative. Uh, sure. Well, mine's at 4. Yeah, so 1d10 plus 4. Just make sure. Hey, there we hey, go. Hey, perfect. Very nice. Um, Marla, you're fat. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Where where is initiative under? Yeah. Uh, no, it's just uh, on your sheet. It's a big black box. It says initiative. Um, find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm up a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loves that lamp. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Why did that? Okay. Here we go. And, um... Well then... Hmm. Yeah. All right, so who else has rolled? I haven't rolled yet. Uh, go ahead and roll. Yeah, me neither. Uh, what is it? 1d10? Plus your... Uh, yeah, 1d10 plus your uh, initiative score, whatever that might be. Okay. I think yours is 8. So yeah, roll it. Okay, 10. What's my initiative? Where is that? It's on it's your sheet. Black yeah. box to the right of attacks. Ah, uh, thank you. Yep, the there problem. it is. Plus five. <laughs> well, fuck. All right, and uh, BTE. Fucking combat time. Fucking combat, combat. We better kill these fuckers. Your bike got 10 too. And let me just work out what uh, the bozos will be rolling. Fucking lamp, dude. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, how do I make this so that it fucking... Oh. Okay. God damn it. What does that button do? Uh, okay, this is fucked up. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll write it down. So, um... God, sorry, I don't know how to use roll 20. So. God damn it, Pike. <laughs> <laughs> Combat ready, dude. <laughs> I thought that was like you getting red in the face from masturbating furiously. <laughs> My face is right against a super hot future lamp, so... Yeah. <laughs> you think that would be some safety precautions they would put in? <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of radiation going. <laughs> but also ideas. <laughs> <laughs> from the radiation plant. Beaming ideas straight into my mind through mm -hmm. radiation. <laughs> okay. Well, 
Is Marla combat ready? She's mm. fucking combat ready, dude. <laughs> like, ready, Marla? We're gonna do this. Okay. All right. So, uh, Dresden, you're up first. Oh. Okay. So. Just ignore so the I, turn. Up. So uh, all I can see is that one dude peeking his head around, right? Yep. All right. Unless you already threw the grenade, right? No, I have the grenade in my hand. I haven't activated uh, uh, it yet. Uh, okay. Um. So he's like, what? Like, within within spitting distance of me? Uh, I'd say he's about um, maybe twenty meters. Twenty right. meters. Okay. I'm just gonna you, go ahead. And... Like basically, you got pinged right outside, so you'd probably actually probably fifteen meters. Okay, uh, I'm gonna throw the bomb, activate it, and throw it at the at that guy. Okay, let me just pull up the grenade. Yeah. It does damage to th anyone uh, within uh, three meters, so nine feet right. in diameter. All right, so you need to do your attack. Yeah. So, um, what is? Alright, uh, the grenade's area of effect is five meters. Alright, so you're within close, so I need you to roll a um your attack, which is Is it BTM? I oh, know this is your attack. Um so you need to roll a uh There's no attack. Uh reflex plus weapon skill. Do you have grenade? Oh, are you weapon skill? Where's what? I only see tech skills. Okay, so you probably wouldn't have it then. Um, and so roll reflex, which for you is four Fuck. plus a one d ten, and you need to get fifteen or higher. Shit! So I Got can't this. do it then. <laughs> well, I mean, grenades work really interestingly uh, in a way that uh, if you miss. Um, we roll You're telling me it's impossible away. for me, so why would I bother if I knew it was Well, you can, you can move closer and then throw. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, obviously, so I knew that here's, here's the <laughs> thing. Here's, here's, here's how it works. Hey, guys, I can only throw this nine feet, so I'm going to try to throw it 30 <laughs> feet away from me. <laughs> so here's, Also, here's, it says... Wait, wait. It says his reflex... Uh, oh, no, yeah, never mind. Four. It's yeah. four, because it's the minus one. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you need to... Um, you need to get... In order to decrease the... Um, the size you need to get pretty close but the grenade has a five meter burst radius so i'd recommend outside of that oh um, it says three meters uh that's three meters okay yep, so. three meters all right so three meters then so you can uh, roll up um within a couple of feet and throw it however you will be at a negative three to do this because it is your second option in your turn okay so what's the so roll uh 1d 10 plus one and I have to hit a 15? No, it's close enough, so you have to oh, pass. Oh, okay, okay. You have to pass a... Uh, oh, sorry, where is it? You have to pass a uh, 10. 1d10 plus 3, you said. 1d10 plus 1. Plus 1. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Two. All right, so roll me... Hey, I'm already dead, guys. Welcome to Cyberpunks. We're done. <laughs> we're done here. We, we're ah. finished. Thank you for watching. Yeah, roll me a 1d10. I'm one with the lamp. <laughs> the fucking lamp. All right, so you. All right, so you you threw it five meters too far. Past oh, thank goodness. Go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's like, 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 like five like, meters too. Ah! <laughs> Not far no, enough. Yeah. All right. So um, now give me a another one d ten real quick. And you want lower in this one. All right, seven. Fuck. So basically, you throw it too hard, and it goes like sort of to your left and into the middle of the street, where it explodes <laughs> and no one is uh, harmed. <laughs> um, did you want to do anything else on your turn? Because you can, you can move again. Oh, oh well, to. then I'll fucking with my other hand. I take a shot at the fucking dude's face. Okay. All right. So, are you using the it was same a distraction? The no, grenade was a distraction. Using, the using, right, so this is at a negative th six now, yeah? um, because you're, this is your third action within. Three so, a, so a negative one then, because I'm using handgun. 
Yes. It'd be a negative oh, wait, one. Wait, no, 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 no. It's a... So it'd be a three. Plus well, three. what is your handgun skill? My handgun's nine. Okay, so yeah. It'll be, uh, yeah, plus three. And you need to hit a ten to hit him. But if you hit him in the face... Good job. I mean, he's pure... It's like, yeah, he's like... I only have one... Uh, fuck. Alright, so you miss. It was uh, a hard shot. It was a hard yeah. shot. So you've moved... Um, you've moved... Let's say you've moved like six meters. Um, let's see. What is your maximum move distance here? Because you might want to get behind cover. Uh, okay, so you can run an extra six meters. All right, is there a car nearby parked on the street, something like that? Uh, yeah, let's say there is, so you can hide behind a car if you want. I will hide, hide behind that car, the nearest car to me. Sure. All right. Um, next on the list, uh, BTE. So what do you want her to do here? Oh, I feel like uh, she's going to walk She's last in line, right? Like, we're in, like, a fucking assembly line, essentially, on this fucking yeah. wall. Yeah, I, um, no, actually, I would say I'm that behind everybody. everybody. <laughs> I have height right advantage. Uh, All right, so she, what, what kind of gun does she have again? Uh, she has a rifle, medium assault rifle. Is it automatic? Yes. All right, she'll take. Uh, she can take two burst fires, right? Yeah. No. She has no weapon skills. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, she's gonna take one fire at the guy, I guess. <laughs> okay. So she was just sort of peer around the corner. Um, that yeah. she's behind, and so basically imagine like a block sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and she's peering around one corner, the other guy's peering around the other. I'm gonna say that uh, she is going to take a negative four penalty here to aim for the head. Jesus. Um, this guy's. This is in three seconds, so this guy is still like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was the loud sound that just happened. All right. <laughs> uh, she shoots and wildly misses. Fuck. Obviously. God damn. And she just hides back around the corner and just says, Fuck! Alright, uh, Preston, you're up. Oh, I'm up? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to, from behind everybody, I guess since there's no way around this combat, I'm going to take a shot with my pistol. Alright, uh, so you're going to step out from behind. So basically imagine that all of this is happening at the same time, so, um... Uh, Nick's character is throwing the grenade right now. Um, uh, BTE is taking a shot, and then you're stepping out around the corner from BTE as well, and you're going to take yep. another shot. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so. You're able to kind of get down, just like. You don't have any handgun skills, right? Um. No, okay, so roll me uh, 1d10 plus 5, and you need to basically hit a 10 to hit this guy. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck! Motherfucker! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, <laughs> oh, welcome to role-playing games. You yeah, never so you miss well. as well. No, sorry, you needed to roll a 10, so you needed to hit 15 in total. So you oh, only okay. had a 1 in 10 chance of hitting, shooting the guy, so... Yeah, alright. So you take a shot, and what do you want to do now? Do you want, is that it? Um, because you don't have a handgun skill, you can't fire more than once, so... Oh, okay. Uh, then I'm going to... Turn around... Uh, immediately get on my phone and uh, call for backup. Well, yeah. Who are you calling? I'm gonna call those those uh, those people that owe me favors. Nomads. nomads. Yep. Oh, call the nomads. Shit. All right. So here's the thing, and you would probably know this already. Um, they're not near here. They're outside of like the combat zone in Night City. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna take them like hours to get here. Oh, hours to get there. Yeah. Shit. Uh, well, then I'm not going <laughs> to call them. Yeah. Uh, and, um... Fucking bite me. I'm getting ready. <laughs> uh, then I guess I'm just going to get behind cover again, behind the wall. Sure, yeah. Um, all right, and, uh, Weldon, you're up. What my man. Downtown, I'm taking some submachine gun shots at these fools. All right, so there's, there's <laughs> only a head available right now. So he's gonna gone. be a what? The head. He, you can only see a head right now. I could shoot his head. You can <laughs> shoot his head. Yeah. Um, where you are, it's gonna be uh, a fifteen da, 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 da. hit. So <laughs> right now your uh, skill, you don't have any SMG skills, so you'll be rolling. Is it a, SMG handgun skill? No, it's not. It's what? a SMG skill. I thought I read that. No. Fuck. But um, there was no SMG skill. Where is it? You you can make it. You can make it. 
I think yeah, I just make, make shit one. up so I don't hit shoot this guy in the face because you like him for some reason because you're clowns. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I can... Australians can... love clowns. We okay, you heard it here so first. <laughs> I completely forgot about this, but you guys have um, extra points you can put into things. God, I'm sorry. A bottle? What? Yeah, sorry. Everything in a submachine gun right now. <laughs> uh, well, it's gonna take. It, so basically, um, it's your int stat plus your. Um, uh, what was it? Int in. Sorry, guys. I, I fucked this up. I mean, okay. my nine int. That's amazing. Like um, where is it? Character creation. Yeah, I knew I forgot something. I was wondering why you guys don't have very many skills. It's because I fuck. Uh, so int and reflex. So merge those two together, and that's how many points you have. To get a level one in something, it costs ten. So in order to get a level two. You need to spend one at uh, two times ten. That's how you get it. So it's the level that you're gonna go towards, and um, Jesus. yes, but you can't put it in. You can't put any of these skills in the skills that you already have right now. So you can only put them in new skills. Okay. Uh, so if you want to I've... put some in pistols or in melee, for example, because you have weapons, then that's welcome. Uh, for example, Bikeman, you have uh, fifteen points. Mm-hmm. So you can get one level in something. Um, Nick, you have wait. Uh, there is submachine gun. It's right there. Is it? Yeah, it's on the. It's on, on the, the reflex skills. skills continued. Third oh. very bottom, red right yes. tech. Submachine gun. Yeah, I got plus five, baby. There What's you up? go. That, that is your, that is just your reflex though. So. Whatever. Uh, then plus that point in it too. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna put a point in there. Yep. Okay. Um, so where is your page? Whatever I need to do to level it to one or two, whatever it is. <laughs> All right, so you put it in there. It's at one point. See, so now rolling at six. Um, uh, and Nick, your skill that you have, you have uh, you have a twelve, so you can buy one skill. And Eric, you have fifteen, so you can buy one skill. Okay, so how do I put it in the handgun again? Just put it into the points you, column. Yeah, just in the points column. Just put a one. Okay. So then, Sweet. also just make a note somewhere how many points you have left over. You have five. Um, bike, you would have um, uh, four. Okay. And Nick, you would have uh, two. So I had one extra skill point to put towards. Is what you're yep. Me. All right, so I, I now have a ten in handgun. Yay! Oh, Ooh. no, you can't put it in handgun because that was one of your um, oh, skills yeah. you started with. Because so. <laughs> that would cost you, to get a six, that would cost you 60 points. I'm gonna um, put so it into dance. dance. <laughs> oh, I have a four in dance. I want a five in dance. Those those are bewildered by your lulling dance. <laughs> the gyrations of your hips lull them to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, going back to the combat, um, Weldon, give me shoot at this guy's head. Give me a one d uh, uh, sorry one d ten plus six. All right, you missed. Could have gone better. Fuck. Fuck. Uh so hang on, you're using an SMG, right? I think I missed. Yeah. yeah. Um so let's see here. Uh so three round burst. Alright, uh so plus three, that's thirteen. Still missed. <laughs> Yeah, you miss. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Going on to the next round, we have. A I clown. can't believe I missed. Clown. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> he's point break firing the ammo. In the air. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, clown two. So, basically, you see around the corner um, a clown. Basically, he sort of. Combat rolls around a corner, and he hides behind like a little tiny like potted plant, like island thing in the middle of the street there. Mm -hmm. um, and then he uh, he takes a shot at um, Diction, his character Dresden. Um, so let's see here. I should have just gone flamethrowers. So he's <laughs> just so run up. even if you miss, you hit. <laughs> Um, 
All right, so he will hit. What? You you basically close the distance for him, and you made it real easy for these guys. Ooh. Even behind a car? Fuck. Oh, yeah, behind a car. That's right, you did move behind a car. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, okay, so 15, huh? Dresden! Now! <laughs> you barely know me! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Alright, so he does, he does hit. He does okay, shit. if he actually hit me behind a car. Okay. Yeah, so, um, let's see here. Uh, what am I need to roll here? Okay. So he will do a three burst shot, so for that, um... Three whole bursts? Jesus. No, one burst of three. Pathetic. Yeah. Fucking pathetic. This fucking nerd. I'm burst uh, firing as I <laughs> call him pathetic. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. I like just... a group of women, we taunt him and ridicule him until he has eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so three bullets hit. All and... three of them? Yeah. Jesus. You didn't even and... go to the school, clown. Now. <laughs> <laughs> what is your um okay so 1d10 okay, that is a nine so where is a nine oh, mixed buddy there is no nine that is a left leg okay so you've got 16 ac uh, hey guys welcome to cyberpunk where <laughs> one interaction takes a million years eventually eventually Dave will get super fast at this or else he's fired <laughs> okay, so you take two bullets in the leg and one in the right arm. God. Uh, and let's see, damage. Uh, 5d6. Wow. Fuck. Oh no. Ah! What are you doing? Dragging the wrong shit? <laughs> There it is. God. Oh, Ooh. God. <laughs> All right. 18 damage. To what? Uh, to... Uh, let's go with the right arm straight up. So, uh, taking away the three, or uh, the four from the car, and uh, they push you to 14, then your right arm locks it all because your armor. So you're fine on the right arm. Now we roll for your leg. Six. Twelve. Fucking God clown damn. college, dude. Clowns. Clown college. <laughs> okay, your left, your right leg is fine as well. Fucking sweet. Armor, armor up, people. So. Ooh. I have more armor on my head than I have on my fucking legs, and I still haven't gotten shot. <laughs> okay. I've gotten uh, shot and no damage. So, you are very lucky you just skirt under 16 for the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Just tanking. nothing. Nothing. Fucking armor took it all, but, dude. So, so, basically, what happens, like, uh, Nick, you throw this bomb, and then you're like, oh, fuck. And then you turn and run. And you slide behind a car as shots pepper up the car. And basically, sort of, one goes, a couple go through the door of the car that you're hiding behind. And it sort of, like, just sort of bounces off your off your leg. And and then another one bounces off your arm as well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I Except fucking, they're frowning. I fucking, I, had, I, I never learned how to, because I grew up in an orphanage, right? So I never had a dad to fucking teach me. Had a goddamn baseball throw, so I always fucking stop or I let go. <laughs> I let go here when I should let go back here, right? Yeah. So yeah, no, it fucking veers off and everything. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> so questions for chat. Uh, basically, what happens is cover takes away from damage and armor takes away from damage. But uh, the only thing that you need you need to hit someone is distance. And since Nick closed the distance pretty easily, the, the shot was pretty easy for him to take. Um, all right, so clown two. Uh, the head disappears from around the corner, and um, oh, sorry, not clown two, clown three. The head disappears around the corner, 
And you see a guy uh, with a cyber arm sort of walk around the corner. Um, and sort of like a his cyber arm opens up in, from the hand and like a big sort of arm comes out and then it sort of comes out with an SMG and puts the SMG into the cyber hand and retracts back into his arm. Fucking Christ. Jesus. And then, yeah, and then he just like, he just fucking unleashes on like um, BTE and uh, uh, what's your character's name, Eric? Um, I'm behind Preston. a wall, remember? Like yeah, um, no. but this is all happening at the same time, sort of thing. I grab so a basically... drink, so let me know if I take damage while I'm grabbing a drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, in order to hit, he's going to take a shot at BTE because she's in front of you, sort of thing. So, uh, all right, 10, 17, plus 20. He rolls a 20. He definitely hits. Um, all right, so he uh, he hits with one bullet, and uh, then the damage for this is two d six plus one, so four five. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, and oops, sorry, d ten. Oh no, come back. I need a bigger table for this. Alright, one. Holy shit. She takes it in the head. Oh, fuck! Alright, so damage gets doubled. And so four. Is BT gonna it, fucking die in the first, right? first combat? That's what she's scenario? there for. She's fodder. So basically, so basically, what happens is <laughs> she steps around the corner and she takes the. A shot with her gun, and the the clown rolls around the corner at the same time. Pop, and uh, just sort of this like the arm comes out, puts the handgun in, and as she's sneaking back into cover, she like he like fucking just sprays up like that. A bullet like clings her in the head, and she just goes bonk and just falls backwards. Oh! And then she uh she basically stands up, and a bullet casing just sort of comes off her head like that, and she goes back in the corner, and she's like, "Ah, oh, motherfucker, that really hurt." And underneath her like synthetic skin, you can see like a piece, like some metal down there. Uh, oh. Ooh, and then oh, sort thank of, God. and then the skin sort of like covers back up again. It's like, <laughs> and uh, Jesus, BT is a cyborg. Yes, he's got a uh, skin synth. Whew, thank God. <laughs> Based BT, just taking one for the team. Yeah. Damn you, BT. <laughs> I thought you were like jerking off with that metal hand for a second. No, it's, it's right, menacing. I'm back. Us. Who died? <laughs> uh, BT got shot in the face. Fuck! Are you serious? She's fine, though. She's fine. She's fine. How? She had yeah, shit. Skin Go thermal ahead. skin on her. So oh, she had like a armor under her skin, basically. But that one with the claw is still menacing us. Watch out, Victor. Yeah. Uh, so now it's. Uh... <laughs> I love you, bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now it's uh, Clown One's turn, and Clown One will, will roll around the corner, and he will run straight up to uh, Dresden. <laughs> no, he won't. No, he fucking won't. Yeah, he'll sprint up to Dresden, <laughs> yeah. and then he will. <laughs> basically, his hand sort of like he's got like claw hands, right? He's got a claw. Fingers yeah, I've seen hand. a claw hand before. Oh, yeah, I'm illustrating it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then like. He, he sort of like clenches his hand and like the nails sort of extend outwards. Sort of thing to about yay long. Does and, he go, uh, it hurts every time. And like then that anti-Wolverine like, chick from X2. Yeah, so it's oh, basically stop. his fingers that are claws. And he'll, he'll run up who? and he'll like try and get in your grill. So the way that melee works is that it's um, oh. against each other. And uh, since you're behind cover as well, he's, he's basically doing it through a car door, if that makes any sense. Oh, right. Um, okay. Uh, so, I need uh, you to roll me a um, reflex. Uh, reflex plus. Uh, do you have martial arts, fencing, melee, dodge, or athletics? I have a dodge somewhere in here. Oh, melee. Oh, wait, just a any of those three? Uh, yeah. So I have a plus seven to melee. So. Uh, cool. All right, so roll me reflex plus your melee skill plus uh, 1d10. Uh, 
Okay. So reflex plus three, uh, plus eleven. So plus eleven. Yes. Four plus seven was eleven. Can I math? <laughs> Am I a math person? Okay, there it is. Boom. No. Holy fuck. All right, so he needs to beat a 12. Please no, please no. Oh, don't you dare beat that 12, you piece of shit clown. Six plus... Fucking clown. Six plus one? Yeah, fuck you, clown, uh, right? Six plus... No, his melee is seven, so he got a... Got a 13. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus. Fuck you, Dave, and your goddamn rolls. Hang on. Hang on. Minus three because he sprinted first. Oh, oh you sprinting little clown fuck with your tiny, your giant <laughs> flat, fat, flappy, fat, flap feet. Your so fucking, basically, your genetically modified with... flap feet, clown feet. <laughs> so here's, here's what happens, right? You're hiding behind this door that you opened because of somebody, <laughs> this fucking idiot didn't shut his door or lock his door. <laughs> And you're hiding behind it. He comes up and he basically like just swipes upwards, and it cuts the door, sort of down the middle. So basically, <laughs> um, hip it misses you completely, but the uh, the cover is now broken. The cover's and broken. Now it is your turn. From him, right? Yeah, from him. But like the guy that's on the opposite side of the car still can't. Sh he, I still have cover from him, right? Yeah. So you're on. Okay. You're basically on the opposite side of the car, and as you saw this guy coming, you open the door of the car and he came up and slashed it and then all right so without the car door in between us and him uh, me and him it yeah. was a good like couple of feet uh no he's literally right up in your face okay so i have a point blank shot on him with my pistol is what you're Pretty saying much. Yeah. so i'm gonna go ahead and fucking right underneath his chin two shots now do you have uh you have uh a handgun right what is your skill? I've only shot one shot, so I'm down uh, from ten. I'm down to nine shots. Nick, All right, so God, you can take you can take two <laughs> shots a turn without penalty. Uh, with your handgun. Okay. Right. In, right so in, right, there. Uh, mm, right there. The penalty for for close range is. There's a penalty. Well, no. There's a skill that you need to pass. You need to pass it. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Do do do. All right, 10. I so you need 10. to roll uh, a 1d20 plus 9, and you need, to pass, you need to pass 10. So you need to at least get a 1. But if oh. you get a 1, it's a critical failure, so... Well, yeah, no, I know that. So, okay, all right. So it's plus my handgun? Roll, so, so yeah, 1d20, 1D20, okay. 1d10 plus 9. Oh, you said 20, I'm sorry. Plus sorry. 9. Booyah! Oh, nice. Ooh. All right. Uh, so let's do. All right. So you. Right, I'm going to roll. Shoot him in the fucking face. For the love of God. All right. You see shoot that him. Nose you shoot him in his left arm. Uh, well, I thought I called shot on that. Or if he did call shot, it'd be negative four. So, so 10. Do you want to shoot him in the head? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, we shoot him in the head. Uh, it's, it's... <laughs> I was like, I, I fucking said, I pull it right up no, to his goddamn know. stupid clown chin, and I fucking hit <laughs> twice. It's cool. It's cool. I hope uh, that guy's the one that got shot in the face. Okay, so that stupid guy. fucking hat. Uh, let's see. What is it? Put a gun up to his chin right now, Bike. Do it. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 right. Oh shit, this uh, one's in front. There we go. Beautiful. Right why here. is lamp in there? Why is oh there we go. Uh alright, so <laughs> What is your handgun that you have there? Oh Nick? fuck. Oh, all right, Romy yeah. Romy one D uh four D six plus one. Oh yeah, the damage for <laughs> that. Twelve. Okay. Um I rolled two shots, so should I do <laughs> another roll or is uh, it? Nope, you just straight up blow his fucking brains out. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Can I, can I okay, describe so, it? Can uh, I just describe so everyone it? knows, the way that head damage works in this game is that you double it, and <laughs> if if you hit an eight on any limb, it basically gets severed. So um, in one attack, that is. 
So these guys, they don't have any head armor um, because they're face. fucking clowns. <laughs> and um, with a fear is their only armor. You basically his his brain gets eviscerated out of his skull. <laughs> so good job on that. Um, I like so I like I see the door fucking slice in half, and I'm like, uh uh. I walk up, I like grab him by behind the neck, and I'm like, how's this for you, yuck? And I shoot him <laughs> in the fucking mouth. <laughs> um, and then I get behind cover again. You get behind cover again? <laughs> All right, Make sure go. to say that every time, guys. You get behind cover. Get behind I, imagine, cover. I imagine he shoots him and then just like a backwards roll behind <laughs> cover. <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 Yes, confetti comes out of his head. It's <laughs> everywhere. It makes it makes one of those pee sounds of like fucking it's like a deflated balloon, like a. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Fantastic. <laughs> oh shit! All right, so it is uh, BT's turn. So after getting shot in the fucking face, she's angry as hell right now. <laughs> oh, of course. So she's gonna drop her gun and. Um, I'm sorry. I imagine like... Pike's search history is just weird. <laughs> it's all now. The, yeah, if the NSA were still allowed to fucking track people, like like <laughs> Mike Man's on the top of a list somewhere. Oh my yeah. god! Just they're just like, look what he searched for this week: Ugh. guns, gun, fucking shots, PNG, uh, clown face. PNG. <laughs> I don't even understand. I go on. <laughs> what kind? What what list do we put him on? I don't know. Collar oh. phobia. What? What's the opposite of that? Just Ooh. being a clown. <laughs> Alright, let me just find out. Sorry, go what, ahead. <laughs> trying to find uh, what this is. Anyone? Dude, drinks are on me in the chat. Anyone drunk as shit? Oh, I'm getting there. Yeah. It's helping. It's making it a little bit more loosey goosey. A little more loosey goosey. We still got others to deal with. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, so basically what happens is um, uh, BT drops her weapon on the ground. She says, Fuck this! And then she like, um, you basically, she's got long sleeve arm uh, sh uh, things on right now because she's wearing like a tracksuit. Basically, she just sort of just clenches her fist and two swords just swing up from her arms, like shoo, like that. And then she just runs around the corner. Um, and she runs up to the guy crouching behind the, um, the little tiny uh, island of plants. And she's gonna just stabby stabby. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So reflex. The music just happened to pick up while we were doing combat too. It's like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? I, I can't hear it. So right, I give you a link to the. It was sorry the. The, the album I'm listening to is Genesis by the Enigma TNG. Okay. <laughs> uh, bop, 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 bop. And melee defense is... Yes. Okay. All right. So what happens is um, we walk around. Uh, she runs up to him and basically he puts up his... Uh, SMG to block, and she just brings the sword down. It goes through the MCG, and it just uh, stops halfway down. And she's like, "Fuck!" He, he basically it's caught inside the MCG. The MCG is sort of <laughs> half sort of thing, but it's still stuck what in there. What a snafu! Yeah, um, but she's still got her other sword. So she's gonna take another swing. Oh fuck yeah! Um, right in the face. Let's see here. Watch out, Preston. That one's kind of hot a little bit. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, a jugglet, hey, that that's one. a jugglet. You, that's not a clown. That's a jugglet. <laughs> Inappropriate, dude. Inappropriate. They're like, you know, you know, Draculas have minions and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I made a familiar in, a familiar? in Vampire the Masquerade clown Bloodlines. Familiars. I made a familiar. She does whatever I want. It's pretty great. <laughs> Is she my jugglet? Oh, my God. <laughs> my vampire. Okay. She, yeah, she's so, a daywalker. So, um... She she brings down a sword to like fucking go through the SMG and then she like pulls up her other arm and brings it down again, but he like moves the SMG over and both swords get caught inside the SMG. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucked And basically she's stuck um next to this uh, clown. Um 
Oh god. <laughs> With uh, both sword arms stuck inside his SMG. <laughs> so they're both kind of just in a very awkward position now. Yeah. Huh? Um, and uh, stop Preston, it! And stop it! You're wasting ammo. You're wasting <laughs> ammunition. Preston, okay. you're There's up. sympathy pangs. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to try to take another shot at that clown to free her. So I'm gonna try to like. All right. I guess uh, this this guy's within 15 feet, so you need to. Um... I'd say I'd, I'd run up to the car I'm at and like hunch up near me. Uh, so I tell I tell I tell him to press it the fuck over here. Wait, before Sorry. that, where's the where's the other clown? Uh, they haven't he, seen the other one. Right? The other clown. He's the one. Right, right. What? Right, uh, right here. So there's. No, he's dead. Guy. I killed the clock clown. I killed. Yeah, him. That, the clock oh, clown. Oh yeah. Is dead. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, he's an AK he goes, guy, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't see any of this because I'm too busy GMing. You fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, uh, it's on fire. I'll post it. I'll post it on YouTube tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you want to take a shot? You want to pepper the SMG guy? First, first, I want to know where that third clown is in relation. Yeah, he's he's around the corner still. It's like he's he's still around the corner. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to run up to the cover where, uh, where Dresden is. Might and I then, make like, a suggestion? Um, take a shot before you do that because you would be firing at a negative three penalty after you move. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a penalty after I moved. Okay, yeah, so, so basically take, you get one action a turn, but every action you take after that, it goes negative three, then negative six, then negative yeah. twelve. Yeah. Technically, so get, you can shoot while moving, while like running, but then you take a negative to that. So I get, I get two shots now. Since I have no, no, no. Uh, you get one. Do you, do you have a handgun skill? I do. Okay, so you you divide that in half, and then that's you how many shots you can take. Since it's only one, because uh, you've only oh, got okay. one point in it, um, it's still only one shot attempt. But it's rate of fire two, so I get two. No, no, no. You've it's based <laughs> on your handgun skill, so you can oh. you can fire two bullets, um, but that'll take one turn. I think. When it says yeah, auto pistol, it means semi-auto. So it's as fast as you can pull the trigger, yeah. which is within three seconds. If you take penalties, you can only pull it once. Yeah. Okay. So, so, you can, so here's fire, what you can do. So the rate of fire you, doesn't matter. Yeah. Not for semi-automatics, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll take a shot and then move. Okay. So you need to roll me a, uh, a reflex plus your skill plus 1d10. Uh, so... And I'm going to say that this guy is not in so much cover anymore, so it's probably going to be easy to hit. So he's a reflex plus skill? Yeah, so your skill is 1. So 5 plus 6, so 11. No, no, 5 plus 1, because your skill is 1. Oh, that, oh okay. That thing just shows you the total, so if you want to just look oh, at okay. the total, it'll just be the total plus a 1. Because <coughs> it already factors in your reflex. Where Does the fuck sense? is showing me the total? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Because your so reflex six. is 5. So I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, so a six, it, like. a six plus a one d ten. Okay, we so. need imagery while they're doing math stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got a ten. That's perfect. You shoot him. Okay. Uh, you need to roll me the damage for the weapon. Uh, Which is one d six plus one. Okay. One d six plus one. Right. <laughs> More damage. Let me just. Uh, Okay, you shoot <laughs> him it, in the left arm Stop and then it's it. completely exposed. So, <laughs> how much damage did you do? I did four. Four damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, you shoot him in the arm and his. Uh, you, you see a sleeve in his hole, and you see a hole in his sleeve, but he's got something underneath it, and the bullet sort of just like bounces off. <laughs> Oh god oh. damn it! So do you want to run over to the Kevlar cover? clowns? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run over to the cover. Okay, you run over to the cover. Kevlar clowns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we knew they existed, but we never with the, with Kevlar the Chinese clowns. were years away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do I, can right. I roll? Can I, can I roll to see that? Uh, like what do the, you mean? The, you want? The, I want to roll to see like this. To I roll. Uh, what is it? Oh no! If, you, if you're if you're in combat, you're you're seeing everything that goes on. Oh, okay, okay. We're aware of everything. Okay, so I know Perfect. that he's wearing Kevlar, so I know where to shoot yep. out. Plus, you know, there'd be like you know 
Dresden saying like "fuck," he has armor or something like that. In that's combat. what I was saying. I wanted to like make it as real as possible. Guys, he's got Kevlar or something. Aim for the fucking head or his giant clown feet, please. <laughs> yeah, his feet doesn't have any armor. On it, so. I'm on this. <laughs> Well, then, they should devise a bigger foot that we can use to crush him with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We don't uh, want to well get into then. a foot war. Well done. You're up, brother. The foot I'm race. In I'm in defeat, dude. So, basically, um, BT runs around the corner and, like, stabs this SMG, which is now out of commission, so that guy doesn't have a weapon anymore. And um, uh, He does have a sword, though, right? Or huh? both her swords went into it, right? Yeah, both her swords went into the SMG. Gotcha. And uh, Dresden uh, took a few shots... Um, uh, sorry, Preston took a few shots, and now he's run over to the car. What are you going to do? I've just been looking at my iPhone this entire time. What the hell? <laughs> are you serious? No, I mean, like, have I? My character's not doing nothing. He's just standing around. Well, this no, is no, not no, like, happening this, within like this is in like this has happened. This entire combat has happened. Oh, okay, so it's like an yeah. This is like ten time. seconds have gone by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You shot off three burst fire shots or three mm -hmm. shots, and now you're still standing by the. The wall. Yeah, you basically just sort of ducked around a wall again. Shoot yeah. him in the face. <laughs> I'd say close the distance. And oh no, he's at he's at fifteen feet. But for oh. SMGs, that's still like reasonably close. It's only pistols that have issues. Right, it? right, gotcha. Do what you want to do. I want to meta game. Go, go for it. Do what you want to do. You do you, boo boo. Mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. you, boo boo. Do you, boo boo. Who, me? Yes, yes. it's your yes. turn. Yes, oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking to me. I, got fucking, I was like still patiently waiting. I want to fucking... I'm shooting the dude, man. Shoot the man. Yeah, shoot him. Uh, shoot the, shoot the man. Give me, give me a one... Give me a... Uh, shoot the big-footed freaks. Give me a shot. Like, tell me... Shoot the guy. Let's do it. Uh, Okay, so we got, like, obviously arm protection, so, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, are you going to aim? Is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to aim. Okay, so uh, aiming with a gun takes a negative four penalty to shot. That's fine. Let's do this. So <laughs> you will need to roll. It, it'll be impossible for you to hit. If you do. Really? Yeah, because... You okay, then I don't the aim then. It's yeah, a submachine gun. Some bullets are going to hit somewhere. So basically with an SMG with a burst fire, ah. you get plus three. So you'll be rolling a one... Uh, you'll be rolling 1d10 plus uh, six plus three. Okay, 1d10 plus six plus... Th so 1d10... 10 plus 9? Yeah, sure. Okay. Alright. Wow. Alright, you didn't, you miss. You miss a little Motherfucking! <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, no! Alright, if you want to take another shot, you can at a negative 3, so you'll lose your Yeah, I may as well, you know. Alright, take another shot. Same dice? Yeah. But like, uh, minus three. They, yeah, so plus, plus 6. 6, six. alright. Fucking, come on. Guardian Angels. <laughs> hey. hey. Very nice. There we All go. right. Roll another 1d10. All right. Oh, you got a crit. With yeah. No, with no plus? Shit. No pluses. Okay. Oh, confirm that crit. Confirm that crit. There's no confirming. Basically, what oh, happens no? is uh, nine to ten. you just add an extra nine uh, to the damage that you're going to roll. Ooh. So roll me a... Um... Fuck Tim Curry. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, so roll me the damage of your gun. Which I just rolled two d six plus one. Oh, two d six plus one. Okay, uh, two d six plus what? Oh. oh, Dixon just fucking died. Yeah, see, there's that four hour limit, bro. <laughs> You've reached the four hour limit for this oh call. Oh my god! Wow! wow. wow. I told you, bro. Brb oh, intermission oh, screen. <laughs> All right, so wow. you rolled. That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Do I just have to reset it? Yeah. No, it'll come back eventually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 I put it on the intermission screen because I was worried. Right, we okay. can reset the call if you want, but... Everyone's all, like, grayed out or whatever. I yeah, just quit fine. and joined again. No, you have to reset the Okay. Blue. Sorry, Skype is kind of the worst all fucking right. program ever. Yeah, it so. really is. Why is everybody look gray now? Because we've reached our vibrant color limit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's only so many pixels Skype has available uh -huh. for each Yeah, it'll, it'll come back eventually. So, All right, so you do 22 damage to this Wait. pool. Oh, God. Nice! The fucking layout's all fucked. What the fuck? Oh, you need to turn on your uh, camera. Oh. That'll fix it. Sorry, guys. 
All right, oh, so someone there said, it is. Uh, Got it back. Someone, well, no, it's hey, still grayed out for me. I don't understand. Diction. It. Someone who right, runs these fine. games. Someone who runs these games says Zoom is way better for this shit, dude. Yeah, but Zoom. All right, well, I'll look into it. But uh, uh, it's still than grayed out. Anyway, let's get on with the game. There it goes. Um, okay, we're we good. got stuff we're to good. get through. Sorry. So uh, that's all right. Fuck hashtag fuck Skype. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> fuck Skype. Uh, so you hit him in the leg, in the left leg, to be precise. Oh wow. So, well. Uh, let's say four damage off the top. And then 10 damage of that, so off 14, so... He doesn't have a uh, leg armor, does he? Blow his leg he off, does have, He does have leg armor, yeah. Of course okay. he does! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, uh, so... But I did damage to it, say. We're chipping away. Slowly. Yeah. Da 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 da. Da 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 Alright, so you do 7 damage to his leg. And if he did one more damage, he would have shot his leg off. Oh! oh uh, but, okay, Christ. so now here's, here's what happens, right? <laughs> so, basically, he's he's being... he. You walk around the corner, BT, like, slams the things down. You take it... Dresden takes a shot as he runs over to the car. You roll around the corner and just fucking uh, unleash an SMG shot. Let's see how many yeah. bullets... Let's see how many bullets actually get. All right, so... Need sound effects. <laughs> All right, so I, knowing you, uh, right roll, man, roll you're gonna me, figure it out. Roll me another two um, uh, d six plus one. All right. All right. So nine damage and two. Uh, two is what? Two is torso. So basically, what happens is um, you the first bullet it slams into his torso. He falls backwards, and then your second bullet like riddles through the. Uh, the cement block that he's hiding behind shoots him in the leg, and he needs to roll a save, or as he goes unconscious, Ooh. which he passes. Damn um, it! Fuck. But he took uh, dice six cam. damage. Performance so, enhancing dice. So he <laughs> weighted dice. Yep. He is now. Um, hang on a second. I just need to wrap this up. There we go. One, two, Clown three, combat. Four, five, six. So he has taken a serious wound. Um, and yeah. So basically he is bleeding out of his leg now. Fucking and sweet, dude. Can I step on his wound and pee on it? <laughs> no, that would sterilize it. You don't want to do that. You don't want to sterilize it. No, no. I've got chlamydia. It won't. It won't. <laughs> I get chlamydia like every 10 minutes, okay, dude? So <laughs> Whoa, don't that even fucking hyper cyber chlamydia. Cyber Cyber chlamydia. Chlamydia. All right. Uh, so, yeah, basically the arc to the clown. T Wait, whose turn is it, is it now? It's, it's probably clown Dresden, two. Right? No, it's clown two. I'll be right uh, back clown two. Right. He's gonna basically pull out a gun, his AK, and he's gonna just his arc, and he's gonna just unload into the back of BTE because he's right there. Fuck. Um, and let's see. Uh, um, just trying to work out what I need to roll here. Okay. Roll BTE, not die. 14. <laughs> and he's going to go full auto. Which means that... Uh, full auto in a sec, guys, is... Rate of fire plus number of times it's rounded down. I think so I want you to roll for a piss crit. <laughs> rate of fire is 30. And so... Divided by one. So, yeah. So, what? 30 bullets. No. Divided by one? That's... Mm. that's what? Yeah, because <laughs> there's a number of targets in the... Oh, actually, no, two. Let's say you divide by one, you get the exact same. Yeah, like numbers. nothing happens. I know yeah. math a little <laughs> bit. So, I know enough <laughs> to know how to divide by one and zero. So hey, I know it's uh, and then roll for each target for a weapon skill. Okay, so this guy rolled a seven, fourteen, plus ten, so fifteen, twenty-four on each target, and. That hits both, obviously. Oh my god. And then 
He's gonna, he's gonna he's gonna smoke the clown too, obviously. But um, uh, let's see. And then the damage that he does. What if I don't is... like to smoke clown? Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clean. I'm fucking clean off clown. Like six years, man. I got the coin and everything. <laughs> okay. right, he's got the red nose. Six. You mean? <laughs> All right. So BTE takes one bullet, and the other clown takes uh, two bullets. Nice. At least fuck that clown. And now we roll 5d6. For the damage. Oh, do we now? Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, BT. Oh, do we? Okay. Damage. Come on. Uh, so. BT, you're my best friend. Seven. I love you like a little sister. Don't fucking do this to me. <laughs> You're fucking BA, dude. You're fucking BA. And let's see where it hits her. Four is torso. And I believe her torso is tank. Let's take a look. Oh, wait. Where did it go? Did I close it? Fuck. Come on. Uh, the torso is 30. She's fine. Bullet bounces oh. off her back. Nice. Um, Bing. Now let's roll for the other guy's damage. So. BT is a fucking mm -hmm. beast. Right? We were all like doubting her. Well, <laughs> Just, he he told me her rolls before we even started last night, and it was uh, like they're fucking high. Like she's weird. She's a weird girl. I'll give her that. Like she's fucking bonkers. She's batshit crazy. Oh my god. But she's fucking. All right, so he uh, shoots his clown brother in the head for. Oh, stupid Ooh. fucking clown. That's what you get for your pie throwing antics, you piece of shit. <laughs> so here's what happens, right? Uh, BT runs up, sword in, sword in. The guy gets shot in the leg. BT gets shot in the back. She leans forward. The second bullet careens over the back of her skull and goes straight into the clown's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 24 damage into the brain. And since he has no armor whatsoever over his head, his head just fucking. <laughs> just like a Gallagher hit. It just beats yeah. Betrayal. Betrayal, yeah. Um, Ew. At this point, the clown has wasted a full 30 bullets into the back, so he's going to take a second thing to reload, so the magazine drops out of his uh, assault rifle, and he puts uh -oh. another one in, and he's pulling back the, the mechanism to cock the gun when it is now Dresden's turn. How far away am I? The punt! The punt wants to know how far away he is from the clown. Uh, I'd say about 20 feet. <laughs> no, 20 meters. Yeah, because you ran six Critical meters away. Failure. So. so you're about 20 meters out. Oh, so I'm far away from him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty far. <laughs> but he's around a corner, so you can theoretically move up and do some stuff if you wanted to. Oh, my God. So many things I want to do to this stuff, stupid fucking clown. Uh, so I, I, can run 30, I can run 30 you. meters, right? That's my... Uh, is that what it says on your on your sheet? It does not say anything. You can run eighteen meters. Oh, okay. So I can't even get close to him. You can I, you can you can cover the full distance in one turn. Basically, you'll be you'll be just sort of you know that island that I talked about. So you can sort of hide behind that and wait for the the goober to appear around the corner if you wanted to. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do that. I'll wait for right. the goofy goobers to. All right. Uh, what clown died? That was the H and K guys at Clown Trees. Well, this is the beginning of the of our fucking game, and we're fighting clowns. <laughs> I know what the fuck. Just guys, it just, just fucking okay, imagine so like what just, we'll fucking face in a couple of weeks. Like I can't even. So the way that it worked out was I was going through the the list, and I'm like, okay, this guy's going to be in Westville. Let's check what out. What gangs are in there? Oh fuck! It's a clown gang. That's super. <laughs> <weird. laughs> so that's what we chose. We chose clowns. It's our fault. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, so I close the gap. Turn. So yeah, you close the gap. Do you want to take another shot? You got. Yeah, you can't really shoot him. He's behind cover. I can't shoot him. Completely. Can I? Yeah. Can I attempt to grapple? He's behind. Like so. Basically, you're right next to the clown that got just smoked just now, and BT is sort of in front of you. And okay. behind BTE, around the corner, is the last clown. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I can't, I can't grab it. But her. you're behind cover now, so you're, you're safe and sound. I'm behind cover and I'm behind our NPC, which is like two yeah. covers. So apparently BTE, her armor is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she's got skin weave <laughs> and... I got to get skin armor. weave, dude. I, my empathy is... I made my empathy pretty high, so I could probably get that. 
Yeah. Well, we'll, so, we'll talk about it later. So BTE's turn. She's gonna turn around and just fucking. She's gonna rip her swords out of the uh, out of the SMG, and then she's gonna turn around and sprint at the guy and come out from the side. Um, <clears throat> so she is going to do a melee hit. Um, BTE is crazy, by the way. Y'all. No, I can I'm, tell. I know her. She's I'm pretty friend. sure we know that she's batshit insane at this <laughs> point. <That's> crazy. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> I believe uh, uh, yes ooh this guy rolls a one ooh very nice ooh very good very uh, good posh right, that's so fucking posh hot, hot that's hot, hot. that's oh, hot alright so posh. BTE rounds the corner Honk my and nose. just fucking like slashes the sword out <laughs> at the guy. Um, and let's see, what does the sword do? Okay, so Ooh. what does let's that see where it hits him? Okay, four is the torso. So she just fucking runs at him and just swinging her sword. Ooh. And uh, five. Is anyone else super attracted to her right now? <laughs> I have the biggest cyber boner right now. <laughs> right, calm the fuck down. She's like my sister, okay? Yeah. So. All right. So basically, she's sorry that I'm not sorry. sorry. I'm sorry yeah, that I'm sure. a coxman. All right. A coxman. <laughs> Swings a sword right at a, at the guy's stomach. It um, cuts open his uh, shirt, revealing Kevlar underneath, and then she just fucking scrapes a sword against it, not really doing anything to the guy. Um, she. Uh, she's one. going to take another attack with her second. Um, <laughs> Go for the head. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it's the Elder Clown. So it's like clown <laughs> memes can't melt Cyberweave streams. <laughs> wow. I might give that person mod for that. Holy shit, that was good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, so uh, he just sort of, like, kicks her, and she falls onto her back when she does that. Um, and now it is Preston's turn. Okay, so how how far away am I? You're about 20 feet from the corner where the, the melee is taking place. That's okay, right, I, made it. Sorry. Can I run up to the corner and then just kind of, like, pee around and take a shot at the guy's head? Your movement is nine meters. Oh, so shit. <laughs> Mm. God, you said you wanted to stay out of combat, know, dude. Right? Yeah, fuck. All right. Uh, you, uh, uh, all what you didn't sudden, know is that combat Eric's finds you in this game. Like three hundred pounds. And he's like, yeah, she's. <laughs> I guess I'm just like, I'm so, I'm so nervous about combat. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like a roll over to the other side of the car, I guess, and see if I could line up a shot. Uh, definitely. See, like, there is too many people in. So you're saying in there's a shot. Way, and <laughs> there is a corner in the way too. So. Okay. It would be, it would be then, like, I'm, incredibly hard shot. Then I'm just going to get, just revel in everything that's happening and go like, I have an erection again, and just start furiously masturbating behind cover. Business cards explode out of his suit like just, an orgasm. Just, <laughs> 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 All right. Fair enough. Um, so you there's jack nothing off. else I could do. I'm just like, I'm just like, oh my god, what's going to happen next? <laughs> yeah, so you jack off. Um... <laughs> Wow. Uh, Eldon, you're up. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, okay, so you cool. jack off. How far like, away like, am I? Where's the clown? <laughs> uh, you are about uh, 15 feet. 15 meters. No. No, hang on. You would be 10. Oh, yeah. yeah, you'd be 15. Yep. So okay, you walk uh, around. You can, you can basically... What is your round? Let's take a look here. Mike. There's no way to like aim and then like the next round it's more accurate because you aimed that round. Uh, yes, you can. Um, you can spend an entire round aiming, but you can't is he see him. Who is he focused on, BTE or whatever? BTE, but you can't see him right now, so you'd be aiming. Oh, I can't see him. He's around the corner. But you can walk 15 meters in a turn. You can run 15 meters in a turn. All right, there you go. I'm going to get inside. So you're going to run around to like put your back against the corner and lean around and just take a shot? Got to save BTE. All right, so you need to roll me a... Uh, you're going to be doing burst fire at a plus three, but you also get a negative three because it's your second option in your turn, so you're going to be rolling... Just uh, uh, six, uh, 1d10 plus 6. 
One D10 plus six. Come on, come Me right up. Awesome. There mm -hmm. you go. That's I always get like man. the base number. Uh, so, uh, what is your damage on your Duda? Uh, 2d6 plus ah. 1, please. 2d6 plus 1, alright. Keep your shit together, okay, man? Sorry, it's the wrong scene. Right. Plus 1? I don't <laughs> care. But... Bagua! Oh! oh. Okay. Uh, oh. So you hit this guy right oh. in the torso. Oh! Um, but the bullets bounce right off. Motherfuck! He's got that motherfucking Kevlar, I told y'all! He's scanned. got tons of steel! I fucking told y'all! Yeah. Um, and what do you want to do? You can take another shot if you want, but it's going to be a negative six, so. Well, I'm fucking going to aim. Can I aim? Oh, wait, hang on. Next round? Uh, actually, you know what? Give me another... Oh, you, you can't. You... Okay, yeah, give me another D6. You got three bullets that you shot at him. One so. D6 plus nothing? One is, uh, two D6 plus one, so just press up. Two and D6 and it. plus one. All right. Hit up twice, yep. <laughs> okay, so the second shot. Uh, do it again. One more time. Well, that one sucked. Okay, so the second shot is five. That's his right arm. You did nine damage. It's not enough. Pull this bounce off. Ten is his leg. His right leg, which is definitely not enough. So basically, you just spray upwards and you get him oh. all the time, but the bullets just sort of just ricochet off his armor. Okay, do I still have that other move or no? Uh, you've used all your move, but you're behind cover at the moment, so he'd have to round the corner to shoot you, so. Okay. So I can't, like, start and aim. What was that? I can't start and aim move? Uh, no. For next round? No, all right. No. Um, all right. Uh, and, uh, it is now, uh, the clown's turn. So the clown, after kicking BT on the ground, is just going to, once again, full auto, straight into BTE, laying Fuck, on the Jesus, Jesus fucking shit! She cannot catch a fucking break! Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Full auto is... Alright, so one target, so she takes Is everything. BTE like a fucking Highlander? Like, can she not be killed? <laughs> and this is why I said, guys, cybernetics are fucking awesome, because she's, she's buffed out, and, uh... Uh, let's see, so... We gotta get them skin weaves so we don't have to do this. Right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> better explode no more combat like for us. It's supposed to just, like, yeah. uh, stop. He better stop. explode so, in the next beep. Yeah. Yeah. This one. You don't he want rolls, any of this. Just he stop. rolls, uh, 27. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. He literally rolled a 10, so I'm gonna roll it again. Mm. Fuck. One damage. Yeah. So, he gets an extra two damage. Fuck! Um, and his gun is 5d6. Three, four, five. This might be the end of BT. At the start of BT. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she takes 17 damage. Holy oh, shit! Wait, to what limb? Mm, or what body part? She takes uh, one bullet um, and five. So what is five? Five, I think, is the right arm. So she takes, okay, hang on. Let's see. Cyberpunk is serious shit, guys. Yo, not, for real. Never around. forget. What is the F in chat? All right, so he takes seven damage to the arm. What the fuck, to the right arm. Um, So basically, he just fucking, da -da 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 while she's on the ground on her back. And she basically, her body weathers it. Like, she gets shot in the face, shot in the stomach, shot in the leg, shot in the arms. But then one bullet just, like, goes between her joints and her arm sort of thing. Just goes past her skin weave, just sort of burrows through. And um, she wails out in pain. And let's see if she passes her stun. Yes. She just fucking takes a bullet in the arm. Uh, she takes seven damage, so... So she's at serious wound. Um, okay. I hope I'm close enough to run and put one in the back of this guy's dome. I really wish I could get like some sort of like line of sight on him at all. But well, you don't need to rush any closer because you're as close as you can get with the right. close range. So yeah. any closer and he would be able to just like flick you, his hand up and knock your gun out of your hands. Oh, that's right. Uh, so yeah, so she takes a serious wound. 
Um, Fuck. And now it is uh, Dresden's turn. Uh, where was I again? You were like in between. I'm behind her, right? Yeah, you're behind yeah. her. So she's sort of in the middle of the street laying down, just getting shot right now. You can take a shot at the guy if you want. Just go up and fucking choke him to death. No, I'm going to go up and use my cyber hand to choke him to death. Yeah, there you go. Woo! I have plus 10 to crushing. All yes! Right. What's do need to do? What's your melee skill? Seven. All right, roll me a uh, seven plus 1d10, please. Come on, baby. Do my telescoping eyes do nothing for aim? Uh, not really. Wow, I there we I... go. There we go. All right, so five. Yeah, you beat him. Um, so basically, <laughs> you are now in a grapple with the guy. Um, yeah. So next turn, you'll be able to choke him. You're blocking oh. my shot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Don't you are shoot. Don't shoot. Neither of you shoot. Go over and help BTE. <laughs> Don't shoot. I can shoot. bend the bullets. I, I can't get over there. And right. uh, That's fine. Uh, do what you do best. Cower in fear, you fucking corporate piece of shit. Preston, you're up. <laughs> oh. I'm taking that out of your pay, fuck boy. Oh, you already <laughs> took out a thousand from my pay, you fucking <laughs> fuck. Really, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. Goddamn here. ego surfing dwarf for a piece of fucking shit. Uh, give ego me. Ego surfing. All right. Wow. Oh, I got the glossary, dude. I got the glossary. <laughs> roll me, Eric. Roll me a one d six, please. A one d six. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh God. I pressed all the things. Okay. Ready. Beep. Okay. Uh. So that's how many rounds it takes for you to jack off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got stamina, baby. <laughs> well, not really. One round it's, is three seconds. So if, like. on, if only he would use that to, you know. Hey, I like have it. actual I like sex with so, people, but no, all right. It's so just you jack off for eighteen seconds before you jack off. Oh, really? Constantly Fantastic. <laughs> this, is the only thing, this is the only thing that gets me there, man. Yeah, man, it gets you there. It's like the one thing that you need. Um, <laughs> Do I get like so a double, you're, you're, double stamina? So you're out, you're out for the next uh, a few turns. Um, what? <laughs> you got to did say you're going to jack clean up, you dude. You got to do clean up. You did say that you're going to whip out your dick and jack off. So. Yeah, you got to do, do the like, oh. No, no, I've been oh. doing this for years. I should be super efficient at this. Hey, man, I rolled like, a game. All right, create, mm, no, go. right now, right now. We're going to do a flashback. Create a backstory for why you're so good at this. Okay, why I'm so, so good at this is... I always had to. I always had to do this. This was like my midday routine. If you ever saw, uh, um, fuck, what is that movie? Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. This is just yeah. got to do it midday. It's an old business trick. My idol Donald Trump taught me this. Uh, you just have to. You have to squeeze one. You have to fire one off right, Dude. right before lunch. Like, right. That's what you 18 do. Eighteen seconds your head. is the land speed record for jacking off. Yep. You and just gotta clear it. in Australia, and then you're but that is six rounds. That is 18 seconds and six rounds oh, to put you. it in perspective. So, like, if you want to do this, man, I'm happy to have you do it. But at the moment you say, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start you. beating it off. I'm going to roll against your cool, which was six. So I made you roll a 1d6 against your cool to see how Jesus long it takes you Christ. to jack off. So there you go, man. Yeah. I'm going to follow through with that shit. You say no, you no, no, no. That no good GM. All right. Good so GM. I'm useless, good GM. I'm useless at masturbating. Well, then you, no, you're useless in combat <laughs> because you choose to, to masturbate it. instead of fucking fight, you piece <laughs> of shit. No, no, you fucking pervert. Death, yeah, I'm going to put more points into masturbation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll, after this, we'll let I'm just going to, I'm going to like use that. I'm going to get a cybernetic. <laughs> so I'm going to, when I finish, it's going to fire off. Right, like I'll tell you what. Bullet. Dude, just, dude, get a cybernetic fucking flashlight that's always on your dick at all times. And like, you'll just, whenever you're feeling it. Here's what I'll do for you, Eric. That's will be secret weapon. I will give you, since you rolled perfectly on this, I will give you nine IP right now to put in the skill masturbating. Is that on the sheet somewhere? No, no you can create a skill right now. That yeah, is make a skill. skill. You just so, made it. my when I did Cyberpunk okay. last time. I, I made parkour was my like my uh, made up skill. Yeah. So um, basically, whenever uh, you roll, um, if I, if I could insert another cell below this, I would put it under body skills. <laughs> so it's basically it's under your cool. So here's what will happen from now on if you want to masturbate. You will roll a one d ten plus your cool plus your Skill, and if Sounds you get over, if you get over a ten, you can jack off as fast as you want. But if you get under a ten, it'll take you uh, twenty seconds. Now, can I implant a for occasions like this? Can I implant 
a one-shot bullet into my dick so that when I finish, it shoots it's off into the target that I'm aiming at. Tell you what, if you get the cybernetic implant called Mr. Stud TM, I will let you put a dot in there. Cyber jam. Yeah! Ooh, that's what I'm going for. There you go. Enjoy that's that one, chat. Enjoy that one, chat. <laughs> that's happening for real. Yep. Welcome there to Cyberpunks, go. where uh, <laughs> nothing is sacred, and uh, <laughs> leave your religion <laughs> at the door, your oh inhibitions, God. everything. Okay. Yeah, We're about right, to like, fuck you in your ear hole. I feel like the moment that you, you implant cyber cybernetic pieces here, in you, you're, just, you're giving God the middle finger. Here, here, bike man, find a PG-13, like, uh, 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 PNG of fucking someone jacking off. <laughs> Is there a PG thirteen version? Well, no, no, you find like you know, like like a oh, that's a oh, it's a nod to like oh, I get it, I get what he's going for. Here's what I want: someone make a fan art, all right, of like a dead clown next to Eric as he jacks off. Yeah, it's got to be my character. My character's got yeah, slick back kind of blonde hair with a little shitty '80s ponytail. Yep. A chiseled jaw, and he's like always oh, got that like shitty, like shit eating side grin with like a glint in his tooth. Also, there is trench a discarded coat. door. Cut We're all wearing off. trench coats, by the way. That's what yeah. we wear. That's true. All right, whose fucking turn is it? Let's get off this. <laughs> Come on, on fan art. Your turn and I, I hope you guys do, because there's gonna be some. Cra well, uh, there's already crazy shit happening. Fucking <laughs> god damn, dude. All right, so well done. Your turn. Well done. Bike. Bike man. My turn. Your yes, turn. Well, well then. Right, so I can roll up and it's shit, and like I can't do anything about that. So no, you, can, uh, you can roll up to the other side of him and just fucking blast him in his stomach. If but you then want. when I hit, uh... no, you can run around the other side and blast him in his stomach. So I basically, guess. there is a so BT is laying on the ground, wailing in pain. Mm -hmm. and He's fine. So if if <laughs> if he was looking at him, if he was looking at BT, pardon me, BT, his back would be against the wall. <laughs> and right now, um. Next character, Dresden, has walked up, got him in a grapple, and is about to choke him. And he's facing you. So basically, if you walk up to where BTE is standing, you will shoot into the wall behind him. If you wanted to do that. Sure. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. So, Please uh, don't yeah. kill me. Like, uh, <laughs> one. You walk up to him. You get in position. Um, give me a uh, plus. Uh, so just... Straight up, what is your gun? It's six, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So give me a, a 1d10 plus six. We're negating your plus three because you. this is the second move that you're making in the, in the turn. So give me that. Okay, oh. you miss. Um, oh my god, dude. For fuck's sake. So um, one second. He's going to kill me. He's going to fucking... This, this guy I took from clown. the streets, I fucking... I saved him from a dumpster, and he fucking shoots me. <laughs> Stop yelling no, no. at me. Automatic, automatic. <laughs> I'm doing automatic, my best. Um, <laughs> automatic guns, when they fail, uh, they um, they get uh, um, jammed. sort of jammed. jammed. Yeah. They don't they don't fire bullets. No, they don't fire me, bullets, right? Um, yeah. That's what Jury rig it. Drink <laughs> it. Don't. No, don't put breasts on your fucking SMG, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it now only. It only fires breast milk okay. now. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> uh, you need to roll a one d ten. All right. What did you get? Two. Mm -hmm. All right, so oh, now roll a one d six. All right. All right, it jams for three rounds. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. dick balls! No, you can do melee, and you didn't kill me. That's great. Ah, That's fantastic. Ah, Get it out right. of the screen. Get off the fucking screen. It's a piece screen. of junk. What? <laughs> All right. Now it's, now it's the turn. He's gonna spend his turn trying to get out of your grapple. So Nick, I need you to roll me a um, a melee attack again. So the same roll that you did previously. So just yeah. press up and hit roll. Eleven. All right, he breaks out. Fuck! <laughs> this is why you don't. This is why you don't try a grapple because it's a two-stage thing that you need to do. Uh, so Dresden, it's your turn. Oh, it's still my turn. Punch no, him in the now. fucking throat. That uh, was his turn. So he spent his entire turn trying to break out of your grip, basically, mm. and he did it. So okay. Guess. All right. So I still have my gun in my other hand. Yeah. Or you can fucking melee. Point blank shot. Two point shots. Blank shot? Can I do two shots or one? 
Uh, you can do three shots. Do it at his head, please. Are you serious? Everything else is oh, wait. armored. Wait, what is your gun skill? I've taken I've taken three shots so far, so I have uh, seven. Uh, uh, okay, so you have nine. So, um, yeah, let me just, uh, so you can take you you can take five shots, basically. Five? Yeah, if you wanted to. Uh, sorry, no, you would take four shots. Let's round it down. Oh, okay. Oh. All his well, so it's it's one d ten plus uh, nine, right? Yeah, one d ten plus nine. There you okay, go. so yeah, that one's a hit. Um, roll me some damage. Roll forty six. Wait, are you? Did you aim for his head? What are you aiming for here? Oh yeah, of course. All right then. Uh, yeah, roll roll two d six. 2d6 plus... No, it's, uh, your pistol is 46 plus 1. Please, Lord. So 8d6 plus 2? No, 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 46 plus 1. That's what you gotta do. Please, Lord. Sweet baby cyber Jesus. Just let him... 46 plus 2? 1. 1. Here comes. Bam. All right. Ow. Ow. Botch. His head <laughs> just, like, explodes. <laughs> When you oh, no. oh, oh, sh oh shit. Oh, okay, fuck you clowns. Yeah, so basically <laughs> if you rolled, the only way that you couldn't... Oh, actually, no, you would have killed him anyway because you have 46 plus 1. So the only way that you couldn't have killed him is if you got under a 4. <laughs> got, yeah. Ah, this clown so was doomed from the beginning. So. <laughs> all right, oh, so now all the fucking clowns are dead. What do you guys do? Uh, you hear this... Ah! From... Uh, Dre uh, sorry, uh, Preston, as he finishes. Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, when I finish, I go, uh, Shazam! Stop it. <laughs> I walk over to fucking Preston, I slap him in the face, pull your, put your fucking dick away. We're here to do a job that you're paying I us less than fucking minimum wage to do for people that are cutting other people open and extracting <laughs> organs from their bodies. Plus, apparently, facing off against killer fucking clowns. Can you put your dick away for one second? One I'm fucking second. I this is so hard. No, no, no. Is this no? You shut up. Is it so fucking hard for you to put your dick away for one second? I look second? at Tristan and just go, "Thanks, babe." All right, let's uh, let's get on with this. Shall I kick we? him in the dick. I kick uh, him in the dick. I kick his fucking penis. <laughs> uh, I immediately roll out of the way because I'm a lot faster than him, and I zip up while rolling, stand up, and then go. All right, guys, shall we go knock on the door? Yeah, yeah but can you roll I, to I do that? I don't think I'm gonna allow you guys to like do party and fighting. At least ah, you fucker. Oh, come on. You fucker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless, unless you're cool with it being kicked in the dick, Eric. Oh, well, I just rolled away from it, though. Well, no, you would have to. How about it. how about I fucking give him a good, like, right in the face with my cyber? Sure, hand. as long as it doesn't, like, you can thematically do it, but. Whatever, he's not going to He'll take neutral. He'll take fucking no, non lethal damage. For yeah, it, I think whatever. that was the point. Like, it's not, yeah. like, actually damaging us. It's just, like, this is what's okay. happening. Like, he's pissed. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm breaking uh, my facade. Like I've got the job. I yeah. signed the contract. I'm no longer gonna be doing the whole like, ha ha! I love corporate America. Like I'm. So as you hit him, yeah. you hear BT go, "Oh my fucking um, oh, holy fuck!" Grabs her arm. Okay. And, uh, All right. Yeah. Well, I walk she over to fucking. Sorry, BT. I uh, she's uh, her left arm, right? Right arm, left yeah. arm. Yeah. Yeah. I give her some uh, skin spray. Well, you don't need to do that for anything less than an um, uh, actual. Oh, okay. Well, help but she, she binds it herself. She's a she's a okay. paramedic. She can do that. Hey, BT, can I just say, you're really fucking terrible at fighting clowns. <laughs> <laughs> BT but, uh, looks back at you and just. Ally, Ally, just give her like, I give her a little fucking kiss on the head and I shove her head away and like. Yeah. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so her her big giant arm sword snap back into her arms as well. And then, like, the skin flaps that covered it, she yeah. just sort of, like, pushes it back in with her hand. <laughs> like, you know how you'd get, like, a the plastic that goes onto, like, a USB cover or something like that? It sort of, <laughs> it sort of works like that a little bit. It just... Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, and she's like, oh, I really like this jumpsuit. I should have rolled my sleeves up before doing that. Um, and, yeah... There are some dead fucking clowns at the front of this guy's office. What are you guys um, Loot. Go, huh? Loot their bodies. Right, da, da, so da, da. Loot is music. Is there like a bounty office that takes red noses? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> they're not. The feet. I'm making a necklace. So oh, God. they're not 
they're not like noses that you pull off. They're actually like their noses that they surgically altered. Okay to, then. Oh yeah. Oh, right, no. never mind. I this was thinking like they're. I was. I would take uh, the SMG that isn't broken from that. No, nah, the SMG is fucking broken. But there is an AK. Ah. Um, oh, that's what I was saying. The AK. Yeah, they are K12 medium assault yeah. rifle. So you just RK put that 12. in inventory. Celebrate everyone. Can you put it in for me. Because <laughs> you're probably looking at the stats right now. Yeah. If yeah, I tell you what, if you didn't, here's the part. Here's this the stats for it. If you didn't shoot that guy in the head, um, his, I, I really wanted this to happen, but you guys got way too good with headshots. He would have he would have shot a dart out of his eye into your neck. Oh dear lord, my I die. Fucking, fucking god. You Christ. want us to die, dude. I swear to god. You want nah, us to the, fucking the poison, die. The poison on it was um it wasn't lethal. It was basically he uses it to get high. Mildly so uncomfortable high. poison. Really high. Uh if you got hit by the dart. So how much so. XP like did a, we get and how much can I put in the weapons? <laughs> uh th this game doesn't have XP like you think it does. What the uh, fuck? I'll tell you what, I will, yeah. um, for the encounter, I will, um, give each of you a, um, uh, two IP. So you mark that down somewhere. And this IP you can use on anything. Actually, you know what, uh, Nick, use, uh, your two IP on your handgun skill. Um, oh, and, fuck. uh, Eric, use your IP on your masturbation skill. <laughs> Um, that works. Like Bike whatever we use, use the your... most in this. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. So yeah, and Bike, use your uh, IP on your SMG skill. So it goes to plus eight. No, no, no. You oh. um, it, in order for you to go up to another level, you need twenty IP to oh, go to okay. level. So it, the amount of, you need to keep your IP somewhere, like on oh. a piece of paper, a notepad, or whatever. Well, how about I just put it like right here? See. Bing. But if you do that, it'll go up. Right. So where? Not didn't didn't calculate anything. See. Uh, where do you? Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that works. I put it, I'm putting mine on, on on 67 on the fucking Google Doc. Yep. So I have I have what, what was it? Uh, you get two, two. for, for right. a handgun. Everyone, we got IP freely. So, uh, <laughs> Eric, you should have a free skill now uh, called masturbation. Where? <laughs> wow. So your 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 so the masturbation skill right now is um. I just want to check some. You have to make it yourself. It's a custom one. Oh. Oh. It. I, I just don't know where to put it. That's so hard. It's somewhere. It doesn't matter. Um. So yeah. Uh. If you put um 4.1 into like the skill, uh, and then double click it, it'll go back to being four. But once it gets to five, it'll. You know whatever. Uh, but you know, just mark it somewhere. Somewhere you guys will remember. I'll make uh, I'll make some altercations to the pages and add like a note section somewhere, so you guys yeah. can just add it there. Cool. Um. Yeah. And yeah. What do you guys do? Uh, we cautiously make our way, or I walk up to the fucking front door to this gallery, and I uh, just I check the door if it's locked or not. Oh yeah, no, it's totally locked. There's fucking clowns sitting out in front of it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to make a lock picking skill. I, I well, I ask, uh, I ask uh, Webley here. Before, before well we then. pick, before we pick the door, pick the lock. I, I kind of want to knock on the door and see if I can coax this person out. Right. Uh, look, there was just literal gunfire outside of his house. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure he's going to answer. Um, I get that. But I can't. I can't use any of like. I feel like all of my skills are going to waste. Like all my fast talk. Like all of this shit that I could be trying to use to coax it. Like trick this guy out of the house. Well, that that's gone now. All right. I, I tell you what I'll do. There okay. is a buzzer okay. there. You can press Preston. Preston. We're not gonna get this guy out of his apartment after gunfire has been fucking up. shot. I, I mean, <laughs> literally right he's outside he's of it. He's in a okay? safe room like Jodie Foster. Yeah, no, we, we, we have to fucking break our way in if we want this shit. Is that legal? Are we, is that within our contract? Is that within our legal obligations with this corporation, CRS, to do? I mean, absolutely You tell me. Not. You're the fucking guy. You're the fucking corporate show. Do absolutely it. Absolutely not. But in order to get the job done, I'm willing to, to bend a rule or two. Okay, so rule one. However, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop getting so fucking chippy with me. <laughs> okay, remember, whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm trying to get the fucking job done. Your fucking job is on the line. I looked you up, dude. I looked you up. Your job's Mommy, on the line. Daddy, you have one month. Again. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Me, yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks to fucking Weldon here. I know. I know everything about you, dude. Because Weldon's It's true. He does bro. know a considerable amount about um, the situation. Yes. Considering yes. that's his speciality, Eric, he... He is really good at finding information about people. All right, then lead on. I'm going to leave it to you, but if you don't get this job done, I'm taking it straight out of your pay. Okay. All right. No, I, I am. I, I agree with that part. The, the, the whole part of getting the job done is up to me. So I... Uh, All right, then wow. lead on. I immediately flip my back to him and start fiddling with my cell phone. Oh, okay. With your cell phone or yourself? <laughs> I was about to say. That's not, we're out yeah. of combat. That's dumb. That's long dumb. We're out of combat. I don't fuck with myself in combat. <laughs> Unless there's violence, nothing's happening downstairs. <laughs> Gross. All right. Yeah, All right. I do. So uh, you need to give me a lock picking skill here. All right, cool. I I'm going to say that. I got a this plus is... 10 to lock. Or no, yeah, plus, seven. plus 7. Plus 7. Uh, let me just see what this might be here. Um. What kind of lock we're looking at here? Yeah, that's what I'm sort of looking at. Because we got Weldon here, and he is a fucking tech junkie, and he loves. Mm. Mm. God, does he love things? I love that... Rise of the Planet of the Apes. He loves things that plug into other things. I'm gonna or... say this is this is an average difficulty, so you're looking at a 15 to pass. So 1d10 plus seven. I have a fuck ton in there. Yeah. Uh... All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, for that, I'm going to give you a uh, two IP bonus. That was a pretty hard roll for you to get. That's like a... Literally, you couldn't have rolled any lower than what you got, so... <laughs> so yeah. I have four IP. Yep. To you spend have, whatever I so, want. So basically, to, to you have uh, two IP that you attach to this skill as well. So... Um, and it's skill-specific, though. Actually, oh. you know what? Fuck it. I'm... I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, so I was to say we have to start a new Excel sheet if we want to do a skill specific. Yeah, yeah. Ideas. you know what? Just um, just take um, bonus IP. So everyone, you have uh, uh, Nick. You have uh, you have four right now. Yeah. Uh, Ike, you have two. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric, you have a new skill, masturbation at nine. Nice. Um, but you also have uh, three, and that's it. So you have three bonus, but you have a new skill as well. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, from now on, we'll just make it so that IP is generic because fuck that man, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We're doing this for other people and us, so yeah, so yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, rip GM brain, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you, you pick the lock. It takes you a bit of time. Um, you can smell the clown still oozing on the wall behind you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and you successfully open the door. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any alarms, which is good, that you know of. But we'll see what happens. I could check for alarms. Have you one? Yeah, please. Go ahead. What do you have? Right. Do you have security or something like that? I have, um, do, 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 uh, uh, you have electronic it? security. Yeah, electronic security is a uh, 16. <laughs> 16. So I tell you what, if you roll a 15 or higher, um, you'll, f yeah. So roll to see what happens. It, 1D the only what? reason, 1D, uh, roll 1D 10 plus 16. Okay. You need a 15 or higher, but you can critically wow. fail this. That's why we roll. Oh! Okay. All right. And, whoo! Oh. All right, 90. Ooh, cool. There we go. Uh, you do see a panel on the corner. It is flicking red light. Uh, you rush over to it and you you pop it open and you spend the next ten seconds fucking around with the wiring. And then the red light turns off. You turn back. You give everyone the thumbs up. You guys are good to sneak around now. What do we need to do? So let me explain what this place looks like. So downstairs, uh, you're in uh, a nice sort of well kept uh, artist gallery. Uh, there is like 27 paintings uh, throughout the gallery that you've, you've sort of wandered around taking a look at. Uh, they seem like uh, it's, it's a show gallery for the most part, but um, you, ima you imagine that if you were to purchase uh, the paintings, it would be like a inquire within sort of thing. Um, and basically you guys are just sort of walking around uh, checking out the paintings and stuff like that. Uh, the artwork seems to be sort of modern uh, you know, thought paintings, so a lot of like splatters of paint and a lot of like sort of weird 
faces and stuff like that. But other than that, it seems like an ordinary gallery. So Denny's because, art. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She can see Denny's. All right. Well, I make my way to the back. Rubber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you well. when you get to the back door, uh, you can see that it's uh, also got another set of locks on it. This one here is very simple, though. You, you can just sort of pop it open with a rudimentary skill, which you have. Um, you pop it open, and basically, it, it's sort of like a stairwell. It just basically goes straight up. So the door just leads straight to a stairwell. Yeah, what do you guys do? Uh, should sneak in, see if he's asleep or right. awake. So you go upstairs, and... Um, yeah, uh, can I get a stealth check from everyone? Oh god. Uh, uh -oh. Let's see here. Do mm -hmm. I have stealth? Stealth is a re reflex, so mm -hmm. no one has stealth, so just give me your reflex skill uh, plus 1d10, and you need to 10 to pass this. So, is that 5 or 6 because there's two numbers? Uh, it'll be the one that's the lowest number. Alright, so 1d10 plus 5. Yep. All right, uh, Wilden passes. Okay. Prison passes, Preston yeah. passes. Now it's your BT passes. Yeah. <laughs> BT does not pass. In Fucking fact, BT! <laughs> she walks into the room and she's, she's a liability. Like, she, she basically, like, her bleeding arm sort of gets the better of her and she sort of, like, slumps to the ground, making a bit of noise. And, uh, you didn't notice it before, but. There is a gentleman standing in the dark, just watching out into the street. And he sort of startles and he turns around and he goes, Oh! Oh! God! You made it inside already! And, uh... Yeah, he flicks on the light. It's just sort of a little lamp that's sitting next to him. <laughs> Hello, sir. We're from the uh, RAS division of CRS. How are you this evening? Well, you dealt with that scum out the front, but I'm a little confused as to why you're in here. Wait, did you say CRS? Mm -hmm. uh, That's correct, uh, sir. Uh, you actually have a delinquent payment. Uh, on, at that point, uh, he sort of runs over to the couch and he grabs a uh, little tiny pistol. Little tiny baby pistol thing. And he says, Oh, God, you're here for the implants, aren't you? And he points it at you. And it's, it's obviously shaking. He's. It seems like he's never fired a gun in his life. As, okay. Maybe not at a person, but maybe he has fired, but just never at a person. Is there a way that I can talk him? You tell me. What do you say to him? That's, that's you, that's well, oh, no, I was do. wondering if there was something like I could roll. You're, well, you're or is it just the, like, okay, so here's the thing. I will, I will allow you to roll this if you anecdotally convince me that you should be able to roll this. Okay. So what you say, and I'll tell you whether or not you okay. can roll. Now, sir, let's not do anything rash here. You, you see my, my larger friend over here? This man, this man is named uh, the Punt. Now you could tell that he's a he's a man of serious business and and ill intention, which we have no no interest in doing that to any sort of our customers, even even one such as yourself, where we're simply we're simply here to to take back some property that is owed to us. Um, we'd be more than happy to let you keep your keep your implants if you could pay us the amount owed. Now there's absolutely no reason for violence. There's no reason to have to, to have what happened outside happen in here. <laughs> Let's be sitting. No one wants that now, do we? Okay. Uh, so what are you trying to get him to do here? Just put down his gun. Yeah, put down his gun. All right. Give me a persuasion, and this will be a fifteen. Uh. So what do I roll? Uh. One d ten plus seventeen. But if you roll a one, then it's a fail. So that's why we roll. Okay. Plus 17, rolling. Ooh. Okay. Um, he, he he looks over at you, and his gun's still shaking in his hand, and he's like, uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put down the gun now. And he, he, he basically throws it onto the floor and kicks it over to you. Um, he snatches oh, no, the puts, gun up. He, he puts the gun on the ground and kicks it over to you. Yeah. He snatches the gun up. Okay. Oh, oh, like, okay. I make sure that it's out of the fucking play. Yeah, okay. it didn't even it didn't even have any bullets in it if you check it. Oh, okay. Well, oh. thank you very much for your cooperation, sir. I appreciate it. Now, the rest of our evening can go one of two ways. You can either pay us the amount in full own, and we'll we'll attribute this to your account, and everything will be great. However, I must warn you, you don't want us to come back here again 
because next time I may not be here and it may be my friend. I pat the uh, I pat um, Dresden on the chest. It may be my friend the punt. Uh, so do you think you'll be able to to pay CRS the amount owed or are we going to have to uh, commence with our procedure this evening? Uh, he looks over you and he goes, uh, how much how much is owed? Uh, let me check. My it's about spear. it's about one. It's about uh, three quarters of the uh, total. Uh, OK, please. so three wait, three totals of the core. What? Three payment owed ninety one. Yeah. Now that's the total that his entire plan is. That's what I'm um, saying. That's what he owes us, right? Yeah. So let me just see. I'll get you the actual number here. One second. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put it on there. All right. So he owes uh, thirty thousand five hundred. Okay, now, sir. It'll be about thirty uh, thirty thousand five hundred credits. Uh, I'm sorry, euro bucks. Um, you can make that out either to cash or check directly, or we can take it straight off of your debit card. Which one would you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> he like starts laughing. He's like, <laughs> thirty thousand credits. Oh fucking shit, man. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I don't have 30,000 credits. I... The business is going down the shitter. I mean, those fucking bozo motherfuckers, they showed up and now they're scared off. I walk right over customers. to him and I hold his head down with my cyber hand. Uh... Okay. <laughs> can I do that, or...? Yeah, you can do that. I, okay. He no, I was, I was like, I'm like, I grab him by the fucking head and I like, shove him down on right. the ground because it's, like, right. it's time to extract. Yeah, so. you get you get the. Uh, he's like, wait, 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 wait. I can, I can give you five thousand credits for you. To just go away and leave me in peace. You just now, take it and be fine. You just take it and just go. I, I look over Preston. If he offers us five thousand, I'm gonna take that as a stipend. Or say, we can do our job. I'm gonna say, are you gonna whisper this to me or say this out loud? Well, I'm, I'm saying enough so you can hear it. Like, Girl, we'll I'll, pull you, I'll pull you close. Like, if he gives us 5,000, you owe me 1,000 for this job. I'll just be like, let's discuss this after one sec. Hey, Sheldon, could you do me a favor and really quickly access that terminal over there and tell me exactly how much our friend here has in his account? I think I could do that, and it's Weldon, you idiot. All right, so let's see. <laughs> sure thing, Sheldon. All right. Uh, okay, so you're going to go to his PC? Is that what he's doing? Yep. Okay. So first things first, you need to give me a uh, uh, electronic security check to see if you can bypass his password. Okay. You just tell me what I need to roll, basically. Uh, twenty. You need to pass a twenty. So no, no. Like, what do I need to roll? Is in I, terms of one oh, d ten uh, plus. Uh, that's all I need. Just tell me that. Just every time, one d ten plus something. <laughs> you know, you have a sheet with all these numbers on it, right? <laughs> I do, but it's like I don't know which dice. <laughs> all right. Me. Exactly. So. Your, your electronic security skill is 16, so you need to roll a 1d10 plus 16, and you need to pass a 20. Come on, baby. Whoa. 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 All right, I'll let you try it again in a moment. Um, so continue with what's happening. Okay, I'm holding the guy down. I'm like, uh, okay, okay. To have a, uh, a How about you <laughs> just give us the fucking money you owe? That's an easy 30,000 is not... I don't have that money. I need to sell painting. And fucking the bozos are in the security. Yeah, they're just here. They're the casing of every single customer I have. It would cost me a small fortune to move this gallery. You know how much fucking money it takes to move a gallery? It yeah, is... no, I don't fucking care. You sell art. Art, you can fucking shit on a goddamn canvas and sell it for $30,000 and pay us off right now. But you're not going to because you're a shitty artist. Uh, you're that bad at art. You're so shitty you can't shit on the art. art. Oh my god. <laughs> so either you fucking. How about this? Okay. Give us the passcode to your fucking personal computer. We'll see how much you actually have. If you have enough, we'll take it. Dead is done. You can find your own way to make up the lost cause. But if you don't. We're gonna cut that fucking piece of shit organ out of you. Alright, uh, give me a uh, persuasion check here. 
Oh, uh, actually, no, intimidate. Intimidate, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's 1d10 plus 11. And this is a 15. Fuck. So he just, he just sort of looks up to you and he goes, I only have what I can offer and that's $5,000. That's it. That's all I can give you. Okay, uh, Mr. Dresden, proceed. Oh, wait, wait, what do you mean proceed? What? All right, I, uh, I start to strap him down. I grab, like, whatever I can find around me and fucking, like, bind his arms behind his back. Uh, BTE so, will walk over to you and say, like, ah, shit we do, right, huh? Yeah. yeah. And she, like, she, like, pulls out the, um, the surgery kit and he's like, now, now, uh, Mr. Baxter, that's his name, right? I hope it's his name. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Bates, is, <laughs> it's only gonna hurt for a little bit, and then we'll call you an ambulance, all right? I walk over and put him under with the, the, what was it, the sleepy time wink face juice? Yeah, sleepy time <laughs> wink face juice. However, I'm gonna have to get, give, uh, all right, give me a melee check here, um, because you are trying to stab him with something. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to give him a negative of five because he's being held down by a uh, lovely and esteemed Mr. Dresden. So you need to give me a 1d10 plus your... Wait, wait, wait. Who's trying to stab him? You, you are. are. You're trying to... Much... Yes, you're trying no, to... No, I was like... It's like... Range. Oh, no. I was trying to put, like, gas on him. Well, that's like, even... Like harder. a Same dentist. thing. Same thing. Okay, yeah. whatever. He can okay. struggle out of it, you know. Okay, yeah. all right. So all right. he's basically struggling against you, and you need to, you need to do your best to... Okay, so what do, I, what do I roll? 1d10 plus what? 1d10 plus what type of uh, skills do you have? Here, let me just take a look. Okay, just 1d10 plus your reflex. Uh, Which is five. So five, okay. You need to pass... Uh, yep, <laughs> 13. Let me see what he does. So he's got a negative four. I'm gonna say that his reflex is pretty low. Right. Yep, that's fine. Um, he's being held down, and uh, you just sort of walk up to him and you go, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> and you put like the equivalent of like a chloroform uh, rag over his mouth, sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> All and right, then deal. he just he, he just breathes deeply for a while, and then you see him sort of fade to unconsciousness. And uh, he, his head falls back onto the ground. And then BTE like goes, <sighs> Okay, um, let's strap him down. And then you strap, uh, you strap him down with the, the bindings that you have, maybe to his bed or something like that. Um, and who wants to make the check? Oh, God. Who has surgery? Doesn't BTE uh, have it? Yes, this is why BTE is in there. So she yeah. has a medical tech skill, and um, what is that under? Real quick. So that's tech. So that'd be intelligence. Want to say yes? All right. So her intelligence is ten plus five, so fifteen, and she needs to roll a five because it's twenty because it's surgery. So all right. Yeah, she passes. Nice. So basically, she's like. Well, you boys want to watch as she st as she stabs like the the um Duh. <laughs> the thing into the chest. So basically, she cuts straight down his uh, from the chest down to his uh, stomach, and the first thing she pulls out is the heart. Now let's see how well of a job she does to get this out. Oh, so God. again, this is a twenty. Yep, she passes. It. She gets it out. Um, basically, it's this metallic sort of pump thing about yay big, about two fists put together. Um, it's got like a bunch of arteries and whatnot coming off of it that, uh, you know, metallic in nature. They basically go inside of uh, the ephemeral arteries coming out of the heart and you basically pull them out with force and then it goes and and the blood will go everywhere. <laughs> sort of thing. Um, and you do this for all the ephemeral arteries and she uh, she puts this in a bag, zips it up like a Ziploc bag. And then she goes in deeper for the liver. For, for this one, she needs to roll him on his side on his uh, right side, I believe. And then she, uh, once again, makes another check to see if she can remove the liver at 20. Okay, this one she has a bit of trouble with. Uh, <laughs> Starts so like she, ice cream scooping it out. 
No, she's, she's <laughs> like, so she thinks she's done with the liver. You know, it's the same sort of deal. Like, um, the anything like the like the pumps that go into it. I don't know what they're called. I didn't look it up. But um, basically, the the arteries that go into the liver to to bring in like urine and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. She again pulls it out and then she starts to pull it out, but. Um, realizes that one of them is still attached and she as she pulls it out of the body um, the whole body sort of lifts up and then like it snaps the actual artery inside of the uh, the, the uh, Henry the throwing up animation and uh, <laughs> basically what happens is he has intern he, he starts to internally bleed inside right because uh, the way that these things work is that they have an internal stopper like a reservoir so that you could theoretically you know Aside from removing the heart, obviously, you could theoretically um, live without these things for a, a couple of minutes while they swap them over because they've got like, stoppers in there, right? Mm -hmm. But as she pulls it out, uh, it snaps and uh, urine and whatnot starts to go everywhere. And she's like, Blah! fuck! And so she's going to do another check to see if she can like <laughs> surgically uh, stop the internal bleeding. Okay. Uh, which she does not. It's uh, <laughs> she sucks. <laughs> Sorry, she sucks. She has to pass a twenty, man. That's like incredibly hard. Jesus so. fuck! I no, think she's just... too good at this. She is. She has a fifteen in surgery, so that's like super good. Um, so, so she's good. doing all this stuff. She's like fuck, 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 and she's like trying to like hold it together and stuff like that. But um, basically, what happens is. Um, uh, Henry is, you can see the color sort of fading from him as he internally bleeds out. And, you know, she's telling Dresden to, like, uh, you know, get out the, uh, the, the, the blood remover from the bag. So basically, you're in there with your hands, like, sucking out all the excess blood that's appearing inside of the, the body as it's hemorrhaging. What's your mouth? And, here? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a turkey paste the sort of thing. So it sucks out the. Sucks out the blood. And it's the thing they actually use. And then she's going to do one more check. And if she fails, this guy will just hemorrhage and die. Basically. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> All right. She, she passes. Um, oh, thank God. Basically, she, she stitches the hemorrhage back up as best she can. Uh, but without a heart and the amount of blood that's lost, uh, you don't suspect that he's going to last very long. So... Uh, Put a toaster in there quick. <laughs> now, um, uh, so, Eric, your character, Preston... Um, one of the things that you have said multiple times is that a dead customer is not a paying customer. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what? I've already while I was fiddling with my phone outside, yeah. uh, I started calling the ambulance to come to the house to pick him up after we leave. Yeah. So I'm I'm essentially I'm like tapping my foot while they're doing this, going like TikTok boys, we got to get out of here. Yeah. All right. So um, basically. Uh, the way that ambulances work in this game, there is a level of death, and for every minute that uh, someone is out, uh, it uh, reduce it increases their death level. When they get to ten, that's when they die. Um, okay. And an ambulance will take one d six turns to arrive. No, one d six minutes. One d six minutes to arrive. Okay. So it'll take five minutes for the ambulance to show. Okay, and I called that a while ago. Like so basically, okay. Well, before you entered the house. Yeah, like remember when he was Dresden was acting like an asshole outside. While he was in combat, he took a turn to call someone on his cell phone. Never explained who it was, so he's doing a flashback right now. Oh, no, no, this, this is when you pick. Yeah, this was after yeah, combat. Okay. Yeah, this was after combat when I turned my back to you. Uh, dial, so in that case, the ambulance will arrive as you guys are doing surgery. Um, okay. And so you got to talk to him. Yes, yeah, so you got to talk outside. to him. So basically, they 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 see the dead clowns out the front, and they like an ambulance. Yeah. Arrives. It's like whoop whoop. You know, uh, ambulance arrives up. And Hootie who? Hootie who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so I walk outside. Yeah. So walk uh, outside. yeah. So basically, you hear like the ambulance arrives, and then you hear up up the stairs. You hear BT go fuck fuck fuck. And um, what do you do? <laughs> All right. So I walk outside of the front door, and I go greetings. How's it going, guys? Uh, Preston Mayflower here from CRS. I hand them both business cards and I go, thank you very much for, for, for getting here in such a timely fashion. We have a patient for you. Uh, we're right now taking back some of our, our product as uh, you know, he was delinquent on the payments. You know how it goes. Uh, but we're going to need to leave him in your care uh, as you know, we're not cold hearted. Uh, we're going to just 
get our stuff, clean up our gear, and get out of your hair so you can go ahead and treat this man. But thanks very much. All right, so um, give me a fast talking check. Okay. Uh, so like seven. It, yeah. So you need a. This is going to be a twenty. Just so you know, uh, incredibly illegal shit you're doing right now. So one d ten plus seventeen. You need to pass a twenty. So anything lower than a two, and you won't pass. Twenty-five. There you go. All right. So, um, the guys sort of look down at the, um, business card and they look up at you and they look down at the business card again and they go, you know about CRS? Like, yeah, yeah, I think I know about CRS. You're the, <laughs> you're the, uh, organ guys, right? Yep, and I, I say, as, as I'm, as I'm saying this, I take back my business cards and I go, absolutely, um, we're, we're starting up this new, this, uh, this new program in town to make sure that these organs go to the people that need it the most. So I thank you guys very, very much. Team, come on. Uh, I thank you very much for your attention to this, <laughs> this individual right here. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Let so you do as, thing. as you say that, you hear this, fuck, fuck, no, no, God, suction, suction, suction. And, uh, yeah. And keep going. Okay. Uh... And so, I mean, that's it. I'm starting. I'm trying to like wrangle people out of the door and like push them more towards. Right, the as body. as you, as you finish your uh, your spiel, they're walking in. You see BTE, um, uh, Dresden, and Weldon come down the stairs. Uh, B, uh, Dresden and BTE, mm. just fucking head to toe in blood, just the front of them. <laughs> um, and the distinct smell of pneumonia as well on them. Um, like really heavily, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, uh, they just walk out holding these uh, gooey red bags with something metallic inside them. The two of them. Okay, and, and so uh, the yeah, the ambulance goes upstairs, and then as you walk away, you hear this, "Holy fuck!" And then that's all you hear from the ambulance guys. <laughs> right. So I close the door behind Please. me. I close the door behind me, and as we're walking back to our car, which is, I think, like a block away, I, I, I pat Dresden on the shoulder and I go, That could have gone better. First time, first time. We'll get better with, with, with each one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the clowns plus the that ambulance, that's, uh, that's too grand for that job. Uh, unfortunately, being no, that, there's no haggling. There's no haggling. Uh, this has I know to do you with wanted haggling. to pay us before, and this uh, has nothing to do with haggling. Uh, so if if so, we uh, if we go by the actual uh, rates that you guys signed in the in the contract, uh, everyone will get four uh, eight hundred credits right now mm -hmm. uh, for the two organs that were pulled out. Uh huh. Um, and. Uh, yeah, you should have negotiated a better price. <laughs> this is gonna Fuck! This is gonna no, no, Eric, because this is gonna put you in the red pretty easily. <laughs> Especially if you guys are gonna be doing like daily uh Oh, things. so Eric's in trouble. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so, fuck you then. So basically <laughs> um, No, what was the negotiation? Did you do it per organ or was it per pink slip? So it was, it was eight it was, what was it? It was like It was eight hundred for a month. Per, no, it was like per month, and then I think it was four hundred per, per jump. Per job, okay. So you guys get four. This is one job. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck off. So, uh, Eric, you lose uh, sixteen hundred dollars, I think, from the yeah. Make sure you have like a, a a piece of paper somewhere with your current. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna add this. Uh, I'm gonna just say corp bucks. Yeah. Corp and then bucks. I I started with how much? It was like twenty five. No, twelve. Uh, twenty thousand. Twenty. Thousand. Okay. We can yep. deal with that later. Uh, how should we wrap this up for cliffhanger? Uh, so uh, basically, there's no there's no cliffhanger. Basically, you guys come back to the CRS um, building, the uh, the docking bay. Uh, Eric, Eric's character, uh, Preston, as he agreed, hands you the um, hands you uh, each four hundred euro bucks, and. Uh, Says that uh, he'll be in touch when there's more uh, work to be done. Um, in the meantime, Eric, you should potentially look at hiring more people because you've got about 30 things that you need to get through. And these guys are sort of like, if you imagine, these guys will be like your tippy top uh, staff. These are the guys okay. that are really good. 
these are the guys you put into the scenarios where there's going to be combat. Mm -hmm. uh, but your other staff, you can pay a lot less, if that makes any sense, because they're going to be street. They're going to be guys basically off the street. They're going to work for nothing. Um, Sounds good. So you're going to be able to get a lot more pink since done. So yeah, uh, if you do it that way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the game as it stands, guys. What did you think? That was good. That was awesome. a good first I session. I ran out of energy so bad at the left end. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want uh, fucking yeah, more more stuff for Bike Man to do. That's all I care about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Bike Man did pretty good with the headshots of the SMG, though. Um, yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I think I'll, even if there was stuff for me to do, like my brain's just like ah. Yeah. So yeah. I'll. Well, um, we spent the first hour and a half doing character stuff. So from now like, on, we're gonna yeah, keep that's it when I was at my most three hour. Yeah. yeah, a good three hour yeah. slot. Yeah, so, uh, for example, we went over about an hour, I believe. Um, yeah, full hour. So, like, so three hours is sort of, three to four hours is what I'm doing. And you guys can pat it out with, like, chit-chat and stuff like that, too. So. Okay. Cool. Wicked. That was awesome, though. I liked, uh, really liked the rolling for fucking, like, shit that happens here in life. It was awesome. Yeah. More yeah, awesome cool. than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dixon, if you're going to fucking make your lives easier, stop being such a shit-ass to me. <laughs> I'm boss, I'm tr like, you want me to give you more money, so just... Demanding and being like, I, fuck I, you. I, okay. I'm not gonna give you that. I'm, I'm not playing my it. character. I'm fucking. I hate corporate chodes like I you. I'm trying that. to work oh, you, dude. But as I'm a street smart you. guy, you should know how to fucking work people. So here's here's a, a few things you can consider. <laughs> um, the only reason that Nick's character is probably doing this is because BTE has such high debt right now. Like yeah. she is, she has crippling debt, and that's part of the reason why he agreed to. Uh, join up a corporation because normally fixes would stay the fuck away. From I a don't. Yeah, we we agreed not to be corporate douchebags. Like we yeah, but because of the crippling debt that um, that BT is currently under, you know, something needed to change, and that was actually working for the man, which is you. I get, and I get so, that. Sure, but you should try to like befriend the man instead of just being like, "Fuck you, dude." I did. Man. I took you to a fucking bar that had and then immediately turned. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's the thing. I uh, it's it's fine the way that you guys are playing because you are basically playing the way that your characters are supposed to be played. Like I don't think you would ever find a corporate and a fixer in the same party together because that just doesn't work uh, yeah. party wise because they are really against each other and what they stand for. But um, I don't mind the way that you guys are acting. I think it's good. Uh, but one thing that you could do is maybe press uh, BT a little more if you wanted to be a corporate man and get your way because um, she needs this job more than Nick does for sure um, so that's something to think about interesting yeah but uh, yeah so I'm gonna give um, each of you another two um, uh, IP to spend however you like remember to get a new skill you need uh, one, the level times ten so, um, if you want to get a new skill, it's going to cost you 10. If you want to level up a level 1 skill, it's going to cost you 20. That sort of stuff. So, yeah. I'll, I'll work out uh, how much IP we actually do need to give out. And um, now that Eric has his masturbation skill, I don't think you need to put any more points into that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, get I, guess that that, I guess that pretty much sums it up. I mean, Crystal yeah. dick. Crystal yeah. dick. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard yeah. Time. And thanks for watching. I'm glad we finally yeah, got you. this rolling. Yeah, for real. It took a while to get it set up. I'm glad people showed up and are having a good time. Yeah, I'm glad the chat's here. Chat's yeah. good. Chat's I can't wait to, to, to start again next time. Fresh as a daisy. Yo. Yeah. Yep. Fresh as a daisy. So, how did you guys think about combat? Like, was it a little... It dragged on, like, a lot. <laughs> it did. If we get... There's a way to shorten it in any way. No, there is that. not. That's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, if there's a way for us to not be in combat more than we yeah, are absolutely i mean like that's why i um that's why i basically uh decided that there would only be three <laughs> 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 because like i wasn't sure how long combat would go for and it went for an excruciatingly long time yeah exactly so i'm oh, gonna be focusing up. <laughs> mostly on that but you guys um there will be combat but it'll be like just little tiny instances, like like what happened tonight. Sort of thing. Okay, so. that's I'm fine with that. That's yeah. fine. Wicked, wicked. All right, later, guys. Wait. Later. Wait. Later. Later. Later.